Hello there. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Ooh. How's it going today, gamers? All right, let's pop over here real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. One second. Uh, I hope I'm in the right spot when I do this. And his name is... Crimson Root! Yeah, <laughs> just for his thanks. Crimson's more of a title. Alright, let's see if this works. We all. <gasps> what? Why was that gone for a second there? That was weird. Anyway, doesn't matter because we're here now. Hi! Hi, everyone. How's it going today? Hello, hello. Let me turn up my. Okay, okay. There we go. Do I have my potion ingredients ready? <laughs> Elementary, what a question asks one such as I. Uh, a talented uh, potion seller. Ah, uh, thank you, SN, for the gifted crimber chip. Mmm, mm, that gift chip. Tasty. Wizard Ale! Like they brew on the mountains. We make it from hops, me and my little elves. We make it from hops from the fields that are far away. <laughs> Whoa, what a cool mountain! What are you doing here? <laughs> And now, for anybody who doesn't watch YouTube shorts or TikToks, like, what the fuck are you saying to me? What are you saying to me? <laughs> God, I love worthy kids. Uh, thank you, Moonshiro, for the gifted Crimber chip. Oh, man. But you can't buy it because it's secret. Thirsty for potions. <laughs> I watched TikTok and I'm still lost. Okay, go watch the newest short from Worthy Kids. Uh, they're the person we did that little watch along for when we were watching Big Top Burger. Cool? Cool. Tea time! Congratulations on becoming an axle. Hi. And so it's been a while since we've had time to just sit down and kind of just shoot the shit, huh? A lot of little event streams going on. We had like, uh, collabs and, uh, collabs and NPC stuff. And then I had a few days off because I had to work on stuff. Um, yeah, there's been a lot going on. So we haven't really had time to sit down and shoot the shit for a long while, huh? Um, but Magmites will love this stream. Oh, you're, well, I mean, I'm no, I'm no Magni, but I do think that you'll, uh, enjoy the concept behind this game. Yes. You've really been, oh, have I been neglecting you? Is that what I've been doing? Listen, I make this for you. I'm awake at this unholy hour. Good. I think you're going to, uh, genuinely, Octavia, I think you would enjoy playing this game. Okay. Okay. You hate us. That's why. I mean. Yes, I do hate you. That's true. <laughs> I do hate you. He hates us! But I wanted to show you guys this game. So I think you're going to like this game. One th cool thing about this game is that it has a lot of different characters. So I'll be able to, uh, you know, practice voice acting a little bit, which is cool because I do want to get better at that. Um, and it is a combination of like a card game slash shop running game slash economics game. Uh, slash dating sim. Does that does that sound weird? Because it is weird. Uh, so the way this game works, basically, is you are running a potion shop. Aw, you hate me to thank you, Vice. Uh, I think. <laughs> Aw, don't try to butter me up. <laughs> um, so basically, the game, way this game works is you are running a potion shop that you have inherited with a lot of debt. Uh, you need to gather ingredients by sending adventurers out, and they get ingredients for you. And you can also buy them from the Adventurers Guild. Uh, but you are not a hero. You're just a potion seller. So then you go back to your shop, you brew these potions, and you do time management while the potions are brewing to try and woo people around town and shop for new ingredients. And then you go into potion competitions with other potion sellers, which becomes a competitive card game of you trying to, like, whip out the ability to uh, beat them using your cool potions and convincing the judge why your potion's awesome. And while this is happening, every day you have to turn a profit to keep your potion shop up and running by playing a competitive card game against customers who are trying to play stress cards to make you stressed out so bad that you sell them uh, your potions for really cheap while you're trying to convince them to buy high. Uh, Estrella Draco, thank you for being a member for a full month. That's an axle right there. <laughs> 
Jazz! Late, but one month, let's go! Let's go! Uh, I forgot I could do this membership thing. That should be my least favorite whatever. Be nice to my beloved Quinn. Quinn's my favorite character, because Quinn is, uh... <laughs> Like me, he's clinically depressed. So I will be nice to Quinn. Uh, I probably will not romance Quinn. I haven't played through this game, but I played like a few uh, a few cycles of it, and I was definitely aiming at Quinn originally. But I'll probably switch it up this time. Uh, you can't you can't handle my potions. My potions could kill a dragon, let alone a man. You have no respect for knights. It's already been a month, believe it or not, green guy. <laughs> welcome back. You're the best. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm the worst. But also, hi, welcome. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch this over. Honestly, every character in this game... Okay, so... Hmm. Every character in this game is pretty unbearably uh, appealing in their own way. And it's it's kind of fucking frustrating, honestly. Uh, they, 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 I think they knew their target audience when they were making this game. Dating sim? R romance? Uh... Do I care that it's good? You shouldn't care that it's cringe. Let's go. Um, I cannot be wooed. I cannot be romanced. But if I could be romanced, this game would be putting in a solid fucking effort. Uh, we're going to start a brand new game. And I'm going to switch us over. And you're going to see the cute art style. Oh, this is so cute. Hey, no problem, Ch uh, Ch Chadilka. There we go. Damn, I almost said Chudilka. Chudilka. Uh, okay, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Uh... Oh, okay, I know. Okay, so I think this is your... Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Greetings from Rakta. It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potion shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven the Witch Queen fell in battle. Her unsanctioned experiments made this land a uh, land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Love to your mother. Uh, your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. Dearest niece, thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled a translate. Transit. Unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Oh, uh, our, wait, our uncle was kind of hot too. Wait, what, what's going on? That mustache is so well groomed. God damn. Anyway. Anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, <laughs> what could go wrong? Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Okay, Uncle Oswald, damn! Upgraded Rosader, welcome in, Irish. Sylvia, go read in this, it means I'm dead. Which isn't great. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia. Don't let this be the end of my shop. I dream. Come to Rafter. Accept your inheritance and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. Dearly departed. Oswald. <clears throat> Sylvia, please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of his property, property on the island of Rafta. However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person or else it will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. I'm bringing it back to life! Where's the revive potion? <laughs> Hold on, I made a stay with a potion before the stream. I'm gonna take a little sip. He was too hot for this world. Rip. We need more hot red-headed wizards. And witches, I'm just saying. It's very cool. I like that sort of maroon hair color he had going on. It was a very nice red. I mean, look at Sylvia. It's also very cool. Very sick. Leave her Yao Yans alone. She's just got really big gloves, Octavio. She's very animated in the way she speaks, okay? If she wants to read two feet from her face, that's fine. Or two inches from her face, that's fine. It's her business. Oh, oh cute. Man, our shop sucks. Uncle, what the hell's going on here? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a lot of spiders. I'll have to put this in the potions. Look at how cute the animation in this is. Oh, <laughs> okay. 
This place is not all I hoped for. But uh, this could still work. Uh, I can make this work. I just need to air it out a bit and chase off that bird I saw in the rafters. I think I've got a broom. Forgive me for the intrusion. I wasn't expecting to have the opportunity to act on Oswald's will so soon. God damn! Woo! Why is it so beautiful? Fuck! Anyway, uh, sorry. <clears throat> is that Helena or Hel Helene? I think that's Helena. I'm Helena, and you're Sylvia, right? <laughs> we have some business to discuss. But first, I should offer my condolences on the loss of your uncle. Thanks, but I didn't really know him that well. 3 a.m. and I am alive! <laughs> I'm telling you this game, every character you're going to be introduced to, you're going to be like, damn, damn it, damn it! <laughs> All the same, it's a pity. Particularly since he left behind such a... Substantial debt. As his designated heir, responsibility for that debt now falls to you. What? Really? I didn't know that's how it worked, but I guess that's fine. I'll be making money now that I got the shop. Excellent. Would you like to pay the full balance of one million gold now? What? I take it you'd prefer to set up a payment plan. But that's so much gold! You could build five shops with that much gold! What in the world did Uncle Oswald do with all of it? Mismanaged it, to judge by appearances. I have his contract right here, if you'd like to look it over. That, fi that fine print is... very fine. <clears throat> God damn the animation in this game. God damn! Damn! Hey, oh, Nixie! What did you just do? I've invoked a soul binding. Which transfers Oswald's rights and obligations onto you. Make your payments on time, and this shop is yours. Default on the loan, however, and you forfeit the property. And will be legally obligated to work for us until such a time as we deem your debt repaid. That sounds... bad. I'm confident that you have everything you need to succeed. In fact, here, I'll get you started. Sell me this old potion, so I can be your first patron. Sexy Uncle was making bank. No, Sexy Uncle borrowed a lot of bank and failed. Okay, so here's how the card game portion of this kind of works. I'll explain things really fast. Um, So you get a hand of cards that's based on the deck you have. Your deck is based on your relationship with other people, right? So, like, if I had a relationship with her, I could probably get cards that focused on no-nonsense, serious, straightforward plays, right? Uh, right now, all I have is a bunch of struggling and panic because Sylvia has no idea how to run a shop. Uh, this is my stress level. The higher that gets, the more bad cards I get, which are just bad inherently. Okay? Okay. Your potion uh, has certain traits from, like, taste, feel, smell, sight, and sound. It also has a quality, which is based on the stars. It's not as confusing as it sounds. I promise it'll be, it'll be very easy to pick up as we get going. All you need to know right now is that this is how much they are interested for every heart I get, it increases a percent of how much they'll pay of the total cost. So right now it's 10. If I got a heart, it would go up by 10%. So it'd be 11 gold, right? Right. Okay. I'm failing because I have nothing. Uh, it's a potion. Uh, wait, you knew that. It's uh pretty good, probably. I, I like you'll think it. Wait, no. The actual fantasy aspect of this game isn't the magic of the potion, it's the fact that you'll eventually be able to pay off your debt. That is the fantasy of this game, yes. Or that you could ever own any property. So I end my turn, and then she takes a turn. She has chosen to play no cards, and yet I'm still getting fucked up because that's how bad Sylvia is right now at this. Oh no, poor Sylvia, look at her stress. So now I have panic. If it's in my hand at the end of the turn, I increase stress by 20. I have blank out. If it's in my hand at the end of the turn, I increase stress by 20. And I have despair. If it's in my hand at the end of the turn, I increase my stress by 20. <laughs> Goodbye, Wayne, and good luck. We got 100 stress, we lose. We cannot sell this at all. I'm too stressed to function. Well, I trust you'll get the hang of it. You have a full 10 days before your first payment is due. I'll be seeing you, Sylvia. Good luck. Of course. Of course this would happen. I never should have come here. What am I going to do? Oh, what? Huh? 
<laughs> oh! My hip! Uh, I mean... Hoot hoot! I heard that! You... You can talk! Well... Well, of course I can talk! You must be new here. This is Rafter, where the strange is commonplace, and... And the birds are chatty. And what are property laws like in Rafter? Because I'm pretty sure you're trespassing. I live here, actually. If you could call it living. Eating scraps, hiding in the shadows. You live here? In the shop? I didn't know Uncle Oswald had a pet. Oh, uh... Did, he never mentioned me. How strange! Perhaps he was, uh... Just so embarrassed to admit how uh, integral I was to his shop. Yes, that's it. In fact, I was the brains of his whole operation. My name is... Owl. Owl? Really? I guess Uncle Oswald was a first idea, best idea kind of guy. Anyway, Owl. It was nice meeting you and all, but I'm getting on the first boat out of here. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. I saw what happened. That lawyer's soul binding means she'll be able to track you to the ends of the globe. Miss a single payment and you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years. Chained to a cubicle until you've worked off your debt. Uh. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I am not a caring bastard, okay? I'm just a real piece of shit. But also, I happen to be awake because of, uh, I, mm, I was awake because I... had a nightmare so i figured i didn't have anything better to do anyway <laughs> uh yeah those don't count alicia that wasn't me moving on <clears throat> there's no way i can make enough by selling potions maybe not through the traditional route but you've arrived at a fortuitous time the bastard count is three i'll update my list soon don't worry there are five competitions taking place over the next 50 days. A series of contests in which local merchants will go head-to-head -head in tournaments of artistry and salesmanship. Look, I have information on the first competition right here. You see, the initial prize money will cover your first payment handily. Purple hair debt collection lady is just like my internet company, for real, for real. <laughs> By the way, 50% increase in internet pro- Wait, oh, sorry, does she work for you? Because, I mean, like, <laughs> I've had no one come to collect internet- bills by hand, but I mean, if you I mean, I'm, if you had to send somebody, I just I, I mean, not that I want you to, but <laughs> I will put my one charisma to full use <laughs> You simply have to make a few specific potions in advance Those are what you'll be judged on Win the first competition and you automatically qualify for the next one, for which the prizes will be even better. And just look at that juicy grand prize. Win all five competitions and you'll have the money you need to get that debt collector off your back for good. Just one chance, just one chance. Uh, do you think I've got a shot at this? Probably. I mean, it's really your only hope. And I'm willing to help. Brains of the operation, remember? I know a thing or two. Well, all right then. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You and me, Al. We're gonna win those competitions. Let's brew some potions. Let's make some money. Let's do some uh, potionomics. Ooh, boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so every day, when the shop opens, you get a new event that happens in town, and it changes things, right? Uh, a potion a day keeps the healer away. A new study has highlighted the benefits of daily health potion use in shoring up the body's natural defenses. Increased value for health potions. So, we're going to start the day. I see you clean the place up a bit. Nicely done. Now the real work can begin. We need to craft some potions. Let's head over to the cauldron and get brewing. Wow, our cauldron sucks. Our uncle really did mismanage that a hundred, uh, that a million gold. What the hell was our uncle spending that shit on? This game is super duper cute. So we're gonna head over to the cauldron. We're gonna make some potions real quick. 
your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. I'll have to make do with those for now. I assume you know your way around a cauldron? You went to school for this, after all. Well, I learned how to make pretty much any potion you can think of. There's just one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. What? Well, don't blame me. Regulations are intense. I have to prove I can handle the basic stuff before they'll let me brew more advanced potions. See? I got the first stamp when I graduated. To get the next one, I have to put in lots of hours at the cauldron. Well, you cer you'll certainly get hours. Starting now, in fact. The criminal's cauldron? Ooh, I do like that. Right. My first professional brew. I'd better go over my notes from college just to be safe. Potion crafting. Potion crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalog of drinkable liquids with a variety of magical effects. A potion requires a minimum of two different eff magically infused ingredients to be combined and heated in a cauldron. Every ingredient contains one or more color-coded and letter-assigned magimins. Which is like vitamins, but magic. Ah, yes, the mighty magimin. Where would we be without it? Wherever magic has left its mark upon the world, there you will find magimins. Magical creatures, mystical plants, even the rocks of this supernatural island contain this critical alchemical compound. Heating an ingredient releases the magimins contained within it, thus infusing your potions with the very essence of magic. For that reason, a potion's specific recipe is best thought of as a specific combination of magimins. The ingredient is only the vessel. The magimins they contain will determine what kind of potion is created. Ratios are important too. If your balance of magimins is out of whack, the resulting potion will be less valuable. It sounds like a lot, but it's simple once you get the hang of it. Okay. One step at a time. I gotta put ingredients into the cauldron to make a potion. Duh. Can't go wrong with health potions. And I have the recipe memorized. Health potions require a combination of red and green magimins. Some fey berries and mandrake roots should do the trick. Okay. So, we're gonna make ourselves a little health potion, shall we? So, the way this works, right? Here, let me... Before I get rocking, let me show you how this works. Hi, ninja! You have a certain amount of ingredients. This cauldron can fit four ingredients total. It can fit up to three uh, fuels, so something to keep the fire burning or bur brew it faster. The more fuel you have, the less time it takes to brew. And then last but not least, this is the current maximum number of magimins that can be held by this cauldron. Some ingredients hold a certain amount of extra magimins in them. Like these have six red magimins. These have six green magimins. But... Some ingredients can have up to like 48, which means that just one of that ingredient would bring this up to almost like over half of what you could fit total in here. So you got to balance the amount of ingredients total with the amount of magimins that the cauldron can hold and then use fuel to determine how fast it will brew. That makes sense? If I close my eyes, it's still your voice, so it counts. Incorrect! Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start some potions. Um, what I will need is this is a one star minor health potion. Uh, it fortifies Hero's health by five. The balance of magimins in this is perfect. You'll see here that if I take one out, it's all green magimins. So the balance of magimins is too unstable. You can't brew it at all. You want to hit it on these lines exactly. This is a one-to-one -one ratio. This is the ratio here, and this is the total magimins I have. It gets a little more complex the further you go, but right now, pretty simple, pretty easy to understand. Let's go ahead and drop in four ingredients because we can have four total, which will give us a two-star potion. Well, that's everything we need. Let's get the lid on and set it to brew. Since I have no fuel, it's gonna take two turns to brew. Turns are period of periods of time in the day. I believe I have, yeah, I have up to six turns in a day. All right, nothing to do here, but let it cook. It is a very creative combo of mechanics. I definitely could recommend this game to almost anybody. In the meantime, I have some old ones in our inventory. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shelves. Okay, so another thing you want to do during the day. I have three health potions that my uncle brewed, apparently, uh, left behind. Uh, I can arrange potions on the shelf at the beginning of the day. Uh, these old health potions won't set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them will be good practice for you. And then I can sell those to customers by going into the card game mode. So you'll see that in a second. Put them on the shelf now. Once that's done, they'll be available, available for sale when we open the shop. Good. Now, when customers come in, they'll see what we have available for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which we put a potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later. Okay, we're finally ready to open the store. Let's sell some potions. Okay, here we go. How similar is this to Potion Craft? I haven't played Potion Craft, but I would tell you it's probably not that similar. 
uh, if I'm being honest with you. This one definitely balances a lot of different mechanics compared to Potion Craft, where I feel like Potion Craft leans heavily into the potion making specifically. Um, anyone have a screenshot of Oswald? No, but I know what he looks like, I believe. All right, here we go. So it says it's going to take two turns, meaning it will skip this time and this time and end me here. But that is also the exact amount of time it'll take to brew this potion. So let's get to work, shall we? We're going to open our shop. Mm. Okay. Hopefully this goes better than yesterday. It will. It has to. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Haggling. The art of conversing with customers in order to get the highest value for each potion. You'll want to use every haggling strategy you know to raise each customer's interest. The higher the interest, the more they'll pay. And keep a close watch on your customer's patience. Every customer has a finite supply, and if you exhaust it, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster! Of course, customers have negotiation strategies of their own. Try not to stress them out too much. Too much. Yippee! <laughs> I'm glad you hate me. Thank you, Seal Dead. Uh... And thanks for rooting for me. We got this. We're going to be the best idols that ever was. Mm. Ah, here goes one now. You got this. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get this day started. I love it. Let's talk money. Okay, so I should start by setting up my sales pitch. We're going to set them up, which raises their interest by four. If it's an opener, which it is, it will also apply the buff set them up. Which makes it so increasing uh, increases of interest applied by reel them in uh, by 20%. Meaning that if I follow it with reel them in, it goes up by 20% compared to the regular seven. Cool? Cool. That one's a winner. I see what you're getting at. Now that I have their attention, I can reel them in. Okay, we raised it by 20%, so now it's worth eight instead of seven. Which boosts them by two arts already, so we've raised the uh, value of this potion by 20% total. Um, that's all I have for now. I guess I should brace myself. So shield is the ability to resist stress. She's saying right here what she's going to do at the end of her turn. She's going to complain, which is going to give me two stress. Stress is permanent. It does not go away even at the end of the day, except for the amount of rest I get. So you want to avoid stress at all costs. I'm ready for anything. Okay, let's see what the customer has to say. Sleeping does take away a certain amount of stress, but it will not cure it by itself. Also, yes, these, these animations are very bouncy, um, very fun, very lively. They kind of remind me of like that uh, TikTok trend people had for a while where they did the really over-exaggerated sort of anime-esque movements, which I thought, you know, when a real person doing that, it's kind of goofy sometimes. But like when a character's doing it, it really sells like that sort of cartoony movement. It's very nice. It's very good. Yeah, like the cosplayers of 2020. Exactly, Cassie. Exactly. So it's the customer's turn. When I came in, I thought the potions would be super cheap. Uh, no need to get personal, right? Okay. So, I think I had my guard up. Otherwise, I'd be stressed. I guess I can finish up the deal now. Let's close it out. Okay, so the customer lost two patients that turn. And they're going to lose an extra patience this turn. Uh, which is a problem. They lose an extra patience every turn, stacking. So turn one, they lose one. Turn two, they lose two. Plus they're doing a, a on their turn, they're playing a minus one patience. So they're actually going to lose three this turn. So it's best I try to just close the deal. So I'm going to close the deal here. Do we have a deal? So we got an extra heart. I raised it up to 35%. That's 32 gold. There you go. That's how this works. I can't wait to try it. Thanks. Uh, come again. Who's next? This place is shaping up nicely. I can feel the magic coming off of this one. Okay, so let's set him up. We're going to reel him in. Oh, I'm warming up to it. Okay, so he's going to decrease the value of the potion on this one, which is a bummer. I'm going to try, I think, Sylvia, think to draw another card. Do another reel him in, because why not? And then we're going to end our turn. You can technically close the deal anytime you would end a turn, but closing the deal early means you can't use a closing card, and closing cards usually give you a lot more interest. Healing potions are good for your health. They give you healthy skin, apparently. Okay, so I lost a little value. Not the end of the world. 
Uh, he has four patience left. Every card you play has a patience cost, right? Remember, if he ever gets to zero patience, you automatically lose. So I'm probably, I only have three patients left to work with. So I'm going to skip all of my bracings because I'm not going to get any stress if I close out here. I'm going to go ahead and set him up, reel him in. He's down to one patience. And despite not having a closer, I'm going to go ahead and just close the deal. It's a bummer that I don't get the bonus, but I did get four hearts. That's a lot of extra value. We're fine. Welcome back in, Shiro. Thanks for being an axle. You're the best. Take care. Next in line. I had a dream this place was condemned. I have my doubts, but I thought I'd at least ask about this one. Okay, since he's gloomy, he actually starts out with two shield against any interest, which is a bit of a bummer. We're going to go ahead, and it looks like he's not giving us any stress, but he is going to give himself the debuff, which is, or sorry, a debuff, uncertain, which reduces all interest applied by 25%. Huh. I'm going to use Think Silly a Think to draw a card. Oh, wow, that's bad. Our deck's really struggling here. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that's bad. All right. You know what? That's fine. I'm going to end my turn here and just let him go. It's an overwhelming markup. Okay, so he's gone up to five. Interest is reduced by 25%. So I could set him up. No, that wouldn't work. We're going to have to... Ooh, okay. What if I play... Hold on. I have an idea. Well, hmm. Fuck. I cannot set him up and reel him in. Damn it. So we're just going to play set him up and we're going to close the deal out. Oh, well. Well, we try. Oh, we did get it up by one more. Exactly. Nice. Cool. And we close the deal. Easy peasy. That was a bad roll on cards, but it is what it is. That's the deck side of the game. He beat you with the power of depression, just like me for real. Take care. That's all of them for now. I didn't go so badly. Yes, it's clear your haggling skills are already improving. But if I could offer a small suggestion? In a negotiation, sometimes the best move to make is the move you haven't thought about yet. When you don't like your options, take a moment and scheme your way to a better path. Okay, so because our relationship is increased with Owl, we, get, we gained a new card we could put in our deck, which is our Owl card, Scheme. Draw three cards for the cost of two instead of drawing one for one, which is pretty fucking good. I can be a little diabolical when I need to be. I look forward to seeing it in action. But that's enough of a break for now. Was it break? Come on now. Back to work. So once I start showing you other characters, I think you're going to... Oh, damn. You can... Oh, the deck building in this game goes hard. I'll show you in just a second. Uh, Nunuzak. Hold on. All right. So let's go check out our brew because it should be done now. The health potions look ready. Let's bottle them up. Okay. Ooh, perfect brew. That's five stars, baby. Lucky. What a good roll. Because our brew was exactly balanced on the exact white line, we actually had a chance to get two additional stars over what it was originally. And it looks like we rolled correctly and got those two additional stars. That's the first match done. Why not make some more for the night shift? Let's diversify your offerings, though. You never know what'll be in demand. Mana potions require green and yellow magimens. I think I have the proper ingredients lying around. Okay, so we've got some mandrake root, and we've got some sack of slime. We're going to throw some cold air in here. The most basic of the slimes can be found throughout the forest, and occasionally in Rapta's basements. Mandrake root. Looking for a reliable source of magic? Dig no further. Perfect. Let's make those mana potions. Mana potions take a little longer to brew than health potions, so let's pump up the heat to speed up the prog progress. Fuel. When added to your cauldron's fire, it'll reduce the amount of time it takes to brew a potion. You can feed up to three pieces of fuel to the fire to really boost that brewing speed. Be on the lookout for different types of fuel from different areas of the island. Not all fuel is created equally. I think there's a little bit of hay left. Go ahead and feed it to the fire. Okay, we set that at the bottom. Good for you. Very calcifer coated, very Howl's moving castle. Night Jazz! Okay, so it went from three down to two turns. So now it should be done in two turns. Great! Now we can open the shop for the afternoon to sell the health potions you brewed this morning. Okay, one more selling round, and then we're good to go. Let's take a moment to think about your haggling strategy. Okay, here's where the deck building comes in. Adding new 
haggling tips to your arsenal is the key to convincing others to buy your potions for better prices. Here are your cards on this page. These are the haggling skills you had to begin with. Head over to my page to see the new haggling tips I taught you. So basically, every character you meet in the game that is a named important character is going to have their own deck. Um, and you will find that the decks themselves can be increased based on those, and you could swap them out. And this plays in a lot of ways kind of like uh, Hearthstone in the deck swapping mechanics. Lists! One month already? Hell yeah! Thank you for uh, hanging out for a full month. Recognize that one. New haggle techniques will appear here as you learn them. To add new techniques to your active deck, you'll have to make space for them. Mouse over any card in the deck and press the minus button to remove it. Mo remove it. Then you'll be able to click on a card to add it to your deck. Uh, just, just, Owl. Owl, bird brain, rank one. Owl's taking Sylvia under his wing, sharing what he knows about running a business. So every time I get a heart here, it'll increase their relationship, it'll give you new tooltips down here and tell you a little bit more about them. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out one of our things. I'm going to get rid of one of my Think Sylvia Thinks. I have way too many already, and I'm going to put in my Owl card instead. So now I've got a scheme in there. I'm going to take out two of those, actually, and put in two Owl cards. Save my deck. And we're good. So now I'm just going to arrange my potions. We're going to drop off a couple of these, a couple of those. We're going to return, and I'm going to open my shop for the day. Here we go. You want to cook Owl? Later. Uh... I'm amazed that you're on your feet all day. I can feel the magic coming off of this one. Set him up. I'm gonna go ahead and brace myself. Hopefully that, yeah, that lasts into infinity. So all I really need to do is get real him in on the next turn. I'm gonna skip this turn. He's gonna actually take a little bit extra knockdown, unfortunately, on this turn, but that's okay. I do lose two patients for it, but he's actually friendly. So it makes him a pretty easy target here. All right, let's see what we got going on. Uh, so, I could do a reel them in now. Let's start with Think Sylvia Think and try to pull a new card. Okay, not great. And he's going to give himself a debuff for Uncertain. So, let's uh, reel them in. Set him up for next turn. Hold on. How many? He's only going to lose two this turn. Yeah, okay. We'll set him up. I'll end the turn. And then he should have exactly two left at the next turn. Which gives me just enough to close it out if I draw the right card. Close it out. All right, there it is. Boom. Hey, Cat! Thanks for your business. Who's next? Whoa, they're peppy. Good to see you, and I mean it. This looks pretty great if the price is right. Ah, uh, this hand really sucks. Uh, let's think real quick and see what we got. That sucks too, but we're going to play real man, even though I don't want to burn that already. Uh, and I will just end my turn flat. The longer I look at this place, the creepier it seems. Like my nephew. Keats Kranz. Whoa! Hey, your hair color's looking kind of familiar. You talking about somebody in particular? I could scheme here. No. Hold on. If I scheme, that puts me down to three patients, which means I won't have enough. Okay, so we're going to think Sylvia think and pray that I get knock him down. Set him up, knock him down. Ah, fuck. All right, well, that's fine. Set him up. And this will give us enough to close it out. You know what? I'll set him up one more time. No. Mm. Ah, fuck it. We'll set him up one more time and then we'll close it out. Not the best we could have done, but I mean, I made 59 off that. That's not bad. Potion seller, please! We're potion selling. We're potion selling hard. All right, hold on. Let me move some stuff off my desk here. There we go. All right. It's <sighs> all of them for now. Oh, I can't wait to meet other characters to show you guys. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Nice job. And don't forget those mana potions. Oh, the nighttime music's kind of cute. Look at all these little guys just moving around. There's still time to sell them. Let's bottle them up. Okay. You've had your say, potion seller, but I'll have mine. Ooh, super. Oh, only four stars. Still, pretty good, pretty good. Great. We can sell these for the last block of the day. Before we do, however, let's brew a new set of mana potions. This time, we'll kick it up a notch. I've got some ingredients stashed away for a rainy day that'll push your potion to the next tier. Woo! We got sack of hive slimes. Two slimes are better than one, when it comes to potions anyway. 
man worm roots, a mandrake that's been allowed to really put down roots, and some more hay, of course. Let's drop these in, in and make some real potions. Okay. We'll do a little fire. Hell yeah. Brew. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. So we went all the way past five star, which meant we went up a tier once we got past that. Because these have so many magimens in them. Remember that the other ingredients we were using only had six in them total, right? So when I put two in, it was 12 and 12, that was 24. These have 36 and 36, which is a huge amount. We already have 72 magimens total, which is almost the maximum this cauldron can hold. And because it's a perfect balance, they're probably, they have a good chance of going up two stars, meaning these could come out being very, very valuable potions. Spatch will need to brew overnight, so you can bottle them up in the morning. In the meantime, let's fit in at least one last haggling session. Where's this cooking show? I'm showing you how to be a potion seller. Alright, here we go. One more time. So you have time for technically three potion uh, cycles in a day, if you really want to. But as we get through the game, we're going to start traveling in the town, and we're going to have less and less time to just run the potion shop. So it won't be the exact same game's gameplay cycle you see here. Oh, right. <laughs> All right, we got some mana potions. Let's do this. You're welcome, Burb. <laughs> I just stubbed my toe. How much is this one? Probably more than I want to spend. I mean, technically, Mecca, I guess that works, right? Mm. Ugh, too stress immediately? You suck, dude. I'm just going to go ahead and block this one. Uh, I don't want to burn a real in already, but it would break his shield early. Double stress received from all sources. Uh, I won't get that debuff until after he applies the stress, so I should be fine. I might be better off making my own. Ugh, who am I kidding? Trying to look on the bright side. Okay, so now I have a debuff, which means if I get any stress, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. But if I just don't get any stress, it won't be a problem. Let's go ahead and scheme real quick. So we've got five to work with here. So I should be able to set them up and then reel them in. If I get one more good card, I can do that. Come on, reel them in, reel them in, reel them in. Uh, I need to set them up one more time, one more time. No, I can't even afford one more time. Uh, okay, fine. We'll just reel them in. That sucks. Damn it. Bad rolls. All right, let's reel them in. And I can't reel him in again. It's undoable because he would go to zero and I would automatically lose. So we're just going to close it out and take what we can off this. 26%. I mean, you know, 30, 31%. I'll take that. Uh, really enjoying your gameplay of this so far. Thanks for all you... Well, thank you, Minty Honey. <laughs> I'm doing what I can. It's a fun game, and I just I want other people to experience it when they get the chance. Damn! Did you just fucking jump in here and dab at me? She said, huh, if this place is good enough to be for the, lo uh, for the local heroes, then I'm into it. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Easy. I got you. Check this out. I'm going to make you an offer you definitely can't refuse. I'm going to brace myself. I'm going to... Don't a gamble. This is a bad gamble. I could gamble on drawing a... Um... Set him up, and then I can do a set him up, reel him in combo, or I, I could just end my turn, which costs the same as this gamble, and I'll get more cards next turn, so let's not gamble. Okay, I blocked it. I blocked it. All right, so let's see. This turn, she's going to make me draw stress cards no matter what, which sucks, and she's going to make me get some stress. So I would like to scheme... Set him up. Set him up. Oh, this wasn't my opener, though, so it doesn't work. That's okay. You know what? Let's just burn points. Burn points. Burn points. I don't want to draw any stress cards, and I don't want the stress she's going to give me, so I'm just going to end the sale right here by burning as many points as I can all at once for a big combo and go to, yep, plus 35%. There we go. How do you lower stress? You can talk to people that are your friends and spend time with them and go out on, like, dates, essentially, like friend dates. Uh, and you can also rest. Uh, you lose a certain amount of stress for resting. Thanks. Come again. That's all of them for now. I think I could get the hang of all this. Uh, what am I gonna? You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm gonna cheat and just uh, 
voice this character because I love them and I can't help it. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's the big idea. You can't set up shop here. Sure I can. I live here. Are you invoking squatters rights? Because I got dibs. I've been kicking back in this trash heap for weeks now. You didn't clean up that weird looking mildew in the corner, did you? I was saving that for later. I think there's been some mistake. My name's Sylvia. I just inherited this place. Huh. Just when you're sure you know you condemn building when you see it. Ah, but maybe your arrival isn't all bad news. You're obviously some kind of potions witch. As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients. You know, like the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions? You should kick some business my way. Sure thing. Sure thing. I'm definitely gonna need ingredients before long. And now's when it's time. Uh, now and now, when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. I call that move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. And there we go. Our first of our deck for Quinn. Apply plant the seed for three turns. You know, I think I will use that. But where can I find your shop? Eh, it's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. Uh, I look forward to give. Uh, okay, so this kind of counts as like a date. If you answer your questions right, you can actually increase affection with them on these little like events. Um, I'm assuming he's. I get the feeling Quinn gives me the vibes of someone who's like, "Fuck you, don't try to get close to me." So I'm just gonna say I look forward to doing business. Quinn is very gender, and I do love that. I'm all about that. S tier, chef's kiss. Me too, Quinn. Uh, is a he Quinn? I believe is non-binary. They. I believe they go by they them. Uh, I'm not certain. I haven't checked, but I believe they, them. Yeah, non-binary. There you go. Uh... Are they single? Great question. Let's say I look forward to doing business. I look forward to doing business. Once I'm up and running, I'll need ingredients pretty regularly. Guess I'll see you around then. Unless that weird mildew gets you first. See you later, Wolverine. Okay. This could actually work. Okay, so here's our summary for the day. We made 399 gold. We've completed none of the potions we need for the competition that ha happens at the end of the day. We got eight customers, seven potions sold, sold, and no gold spent. Nice. I have played a little bit of this before. Uh, Isapod. I've played uh, through the first boss and most of the way. No, I think I beat the second boss, maybe. I think I beat the second boss. Oh, all the characters in this game go hard. Honestly, uh, I can't think of a character that's not like, poof, poof. They, get, they get me good every time. Even the bosses, I'm like, fuck me, damn. All right, okay. I, I want to be mad at them, but just got to take this one day at a time. Ah, oh, man. Ah, uh, this character's really good, too. Oh, wow. Is this an actual potion shop? I could have sworn it was all boarded up just the other day. And now, potions. Yeah, pardon the mess. I'm working to get the place up and running again. Well, I'm impressed. You must know what you're doing. That's really kind of you. The truth is, I'm new to town. and new to running a shop. I'm sort of figuring it all out as I go. Really? I'm new here, too. My name's Mint. I just got to town a few days ago. I'm Sylvia, resident potions witch. And by resident, I mean I literally live here. It's seriously so good to meet you, Sylvia. Now I have to ask... Does Foster the Formidable ever shop here? Or Docs the Defenestrator? Uh... Well, we're not saying that. She's a novice hero. No shot. Uh... That would be a huge honor. I'm not sure I'd recognize them. You didn't have posters of them in your bedroom when you were little? I guess that was just me. I might be a bit of a fangirl. To be honest, I've been geeking out pretty much nonstop since I got here. I mean, this island has a lot of historical significance for the Heroes Guild. This is where they defeated Maven, the Witch Queen of Rafta. Of course, the fallout from the battle left the island uninhabitable for a while. But the whole place is rebuilding now. And that includes the local chapter of the guild. They put out a call for new recruits. Oh, -ho! throw a little flirt in there. Damn. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Welcome in, Basher. She's very enthusiastic. Flirt, flirt. All right. You got the muscles to be a hero. Ever thought about joining? Aw, oh, thanks. Uh, I do work out. And as a matter of fact, joining up is exactly why I came to Rafta. 
I answered the call. Hey, that's great. Congrats on the new gig. Thanks. But I'm only a provisional member for now. They got me running odd jobs for the XP. Oh, that's slang for experience. Any day now, I'll be ready for proper adventures outside of town. After all, there's a whole island out there teeming with mystery and danger. And potion ingredients, of course. Swing by the guild hall if you're ever looking for loot. I could help you out for a small fee. Sounds promising. Thanks for the tip. No sweat, Sylvia. I know we just met, but I'm already rooting for you. That's going to work in your favor, I bet. Evoke sympathy in your customers, and they'll be more likely to cut you some slack. Sympathy. Gain two shields and apply one sympathy for a turn, which increases all interest gained by 25%. Boom. Hey, oh, Felix, welcome back. <laughs> you're welcome, I guess. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Then I have a feeling you're going to do great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got some fetch quests to tackle. You wouldn't believe how often people in this town misplace family heirlooms. Oh, <laughs> a little MMO humor, Mint. <laughs> oh, you trying to woo me? Nice. It was a good try, but I'm unrisable still. However, strong lady. <laughs> Okay, so our new daily events. Fafnir, welcome in. Is that a picture of Fafnir from Mega Man Zero? It sure is. Fuck yeah, good taste. All right. Commoner Appreciation Day. It's certainly patronizing, but this attempt by area nobles to celebrate their less affluent neighbors has at least given some people a day off. We have more frequent commoner customers and slime season. It's open season on slime. Uh oh, Coltair, watch out. It's open season on slimes. With heroes determined to prune their numbers, the market is suddenly drowning in ooze. Slime ingredients cost more, but essence ingredients will cost less. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to be doing any shopping. Well, I might do shopping, actually. I might go visit the guild to get some ingredients from uh, mint, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, you guys gotta hide. It's that time of the year. So we're out of ingredients. Can't make any more potions. Might as well check out Quinn's shop, right? Or else there's always the Heroes Guild. Uh, okay. Do it for Mint! Uh, on his birthday? Yeah. Get behind me, Coltair! First things first, let's add and subtract a few cards. I definitely want Plant the Seed. Uh... Quinn has introduced themselves uh, to Sylvia and suggested they might do business together. Quinn, the ingredient vendor, and then we've also got Mint, the budding hero. Mint's eager to make her way as a hero. She hopes Sylvia will be, the, uh, be a part of that journey. Mm -mm -mm. So, Plant the Seed is a card that... Uh, raises interest by eight at the start of customer turns. So it's a it's a stationary card. Basically, the way Qu Quinn's decks play, from what I understand from Quinn's cards, is it's investment cards, right? You want to lay, like, early roots, and then you just chill. You try to, like, outlast for multiple turns. I think that would work well with Mint's decks, because Mint's are all about, like, defense and blocking stress, so you could survive multiple turns in a row. Uh, uh, so what I want to do is get rid of a set them up and a reel them in, and I'll grab um, a plant the seed and a plant the seed. And that means I want to play a little more defensively, so I should probably grab this since you get two shield and sympathy for a turn, all for the price of one. That's a really good card. So I'll drop a brace yourself and a think Sylvia think and grab sympathy and sympathy. Save deck. Okay. Yes, James. So every turn, you would go to 10 interest instead of 8 interest, which is really strong with sympathy. All right. Uh, I'm going to grab my pro my potions, my potions real quick. No plant the seed. I do have two plant the seed. See how good these turned out. Okay. They're tier 2 plus 3 star. That's really good. Their baseline is 64, which is already really nice. As you decide what potions you're going to make, reference your recipe book. Throwing things into a cauldron and seeing what comes out is all well and good, but planning things uh, out can give you an edge when reacting to the market. 
Yep, we have a recipe book for any recipes that we know, and that can help us to narrow down what uh, formula we're looking at so that we don't have to guess. So it'll show us here. Anyway, I have no ingredients, so we do got to get the hell out of here and go check on Quinn. So we're going to head out and go check at Quinn's market. And I'm also going to check Mint's market. Let's start with Quinn, though. Hell yeah, Aura! We meet again. All right. So hanging out is a good way to lower your stress. It's also a good way to increase your relationship with that character if you're trying to fish for more cards or you just you want to like, you know, if that's your romance interest for the game. Um, you can also gift things. I have nothing to gift, so that's not going to work. But uh, give, give some ingredients to fellow vendors in order to show your appreciation. Different people like different ingredients, so try to find out what they might prefer. Uh... I'm not above an occasional bribe. Ah, me neither, Quinn. I like that energy. <laughs> Oops. Uh, return to gameplay. Return. Oh, harsh, Sylvia. Watch your fingers. This is his pet mimic. Or, sorry, their pet mimic. I'll get used to that. You get an achievement for gifting Luna a bug? Oh, that's cute. That would be really cute, actually. I forgot about uh, Luna. Yeah, Quinn's pet mimic is adorable. Uh, you'll learn more about Quinn's pet mimic later uh, once they once they once their relationship increases with you. Uh, I am pretty low on money, and I do want to save enough to do the whole adventure thing. These are actually more expensive today because of the slime market uh, increase in price. So I think I'm going to stick to grabbing these for the sake of health potions. Let's go ahead and grab five of these. Uh, you know what? I could probably just afford all of these. Let's just buy all of them. They're pretty cheap. Score. Just so we have a nice stock for later. Ooh, interesting choice. You'll be back for more. I bet. I could take the time to hang out if I wanted to, but I would lose a day. And I'm already, I'm already losing this time for hanging out with Quinn, and this is going to be going to the Heroes Guild, so I'll get back to the shop at this time. I need to brew a potion and sell, which will put me here, and then I can brew a potion. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, let me think for a second. Is the ball alive too? I don't think so. I think Quinn is uh, specialized. I think they specialize in divination magic, basically. Like their their specialty as far as what type of magic they know is they're really good at like magic of far seeing, which is why they carry the orb. Um, Sylvia is obviously alchemy as her magic choice, though I don't know that that counts as magic in this world. I don't think she's actually necessarily magical other than being able to have a flying broom, which I think the object is magical, not her. Uh, there's a lot of different, like, wizards and witches in this town who specialize in different types of magic. Mint does not have magic, as far as I know, but she is very strong. You need warriors in a town full of wizards. Um, I can afford to hang out. It would put me here. And then I go to hang out with... Then I go to where Mint is. And then I hang out with Mint, which would put me here. Then I go back to my shop, which will put me here. I sell. No, I brew. I sell, which will put me here, and then I can brew one more time. Okay, so let's hang out. Mm, guess it couldn't hurt. Blind taste test. Boost relationship slightly and relieves a bit of stress. Okay, I'm down. You can't succeed in this business if you can't tell a slimy fish from a fishy slime. Quinn pulls out a blindfold and a sack of ingredients. Sylvia's hesitant, but Quinn has a point. Sylvia uses this stuff in her crafts. She should know her materials inside and out. She dons the blindfold and opens wide, bracing for whatever Quinn has in store. Some of the ingredients taste all right. Others don't. Ugh. That's rough, buddy. That was fun. I'm not sure your palate is any sharper than before, but your projectile vomits something to envy. Sylvia feels a little closer to Quinn. Mildly less stressed. <laughs> Does poor Quinn just live on a tree? I do believe that Quinn is... This is actually Quinn's broom. Flying broom, believe it or not. It's just hooked so that uh, they can store all their ingredients that they find here. I do think Quinn is homeless, but I'm not 100% certain. They just do squatting a lot. Uh, I could rank up 
now, but it would also cut off another portion of the day. So if I do that now, I won't have time to hang out with Mint, which is a bummer. But if I don't do it now, any further interactions won't actually increase my relationship. Uh-oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna rank up. I guess I've got a minute. This is sort of an unusual location for business, isn't it? It has its perks. Uh, I'm gonna say I do like the view. I don't think I don't. I get the feeling Quinn would be a little prickly about implying that they need to need company. I do like the view. You can see the whole town. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, I can, so I can spot trouble coming a mile away. Listen, in business, you gotta use any advantage you got, whether that's the high ground or a low blow. Got the upper hand. That's when you press the attack. Ooh, chest master. Wow. Raise interest by five and draw a card. And it only costs one to do that. I'm willing to make the most of an advantage. As soon as I get an advantage. I mean, just now, I could use an advantage in the marketplace. You might fit the bill. Come on, follow me. All right. Here's the deal. There are a total of four chocolatiers in this town. Wow! Jimmy the boy chocolatier? Each one of them gives out one free sample per customer per day. What are you waiting for? Go get them! Bring them here! Spurred on by the urgency in Quinn's voice, Sylvia plunges into the throng. The chocolatiers aren't hard to find. In a matter of minutes, she has four small chocolate treats. Yoink! Hey, wait a minute! Gives. You can't be that lazy. First of all, I wouldn't underestimate my laziness if I were you. But more to the point, I've got a lifetime ban from those stalls. All four of them. <laughs> what a good expression. <laughs> oh, wait, they have a uh, heterochromia. Huh. Hey, I'm Emil. God, what good hair. What great hair. I do love the swoopy bangs. I'm going to flip my bangs up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start wearing my bangs flipped up later. <laughs> Well, in that case, I'm glad I could help you out, I guess. Hey, don't be sore. I'll share if you want. But they use some unusual ingredients in these things. You never know what's inside until you take a bite. Unusual ingredients? As in monster parts? Among other things. <laughs> Tell me more. Welcome back, Munchiro. Why use such strange ingredients? That's what we have access to. You gotta understand, this island was off limits for years. In all that time, the land was stewing in sweet, sweet magical juices. So pretty much anything you find here is gonna have some magic in it. I guess we have that dead witch to thank for that. Maven. She prefer performed some pretty out there experiments before the Heroes Guild took her out. It almost sounds like you admire her. Wasn't she evil? Better evil than boring. Maybe she could have taught me some things. Maybe I could have taught her some things. Anyway, the land maven left behind is a weird place, full of weird stuff. And I like weird. Weird's rare. Weird is valuable. The hard part is getting our hands on the best stuff. We need the local heroes to, you know, get good. <laughs> oh, Dark Souls joke. Don't mind if I do. Thank you, Quinn. They rely on potions uh, when they're out there foraging. So if you level up your craft, they get better. And you and I both benefit. We're in this together then. Sort of sweet. Yeah, sure. Super sweet. As long as you don't turn out to be dead weight. Now I gotta get back. Boxer gets antsy if I leave him for too long. And I get the impression you've got your work cut out for you. All right, we're out of here. Let's go hang out with Mint for a minute. Smell you later. Yeah, Quinn's pretty chill. Oh, hi, Sylvia. I'm so glad you decided to drop in on me. What do you think of the guild hall? Isn't it amazing? Uh, there's a lot more taxidermy than I expected. 
Yeah, heroes love their trophies. Maybe I'll be contributing soon. Because get this, I've been approved to go adventuring. The training wheels are coming off. You should send me out sometime. I promise I'd bring back some great loot for you. How does that work exactly? Hell yeah, Cata Phoenix! I could tell you all about it. Now, I've just had my orientation and I took detailed notes in my dedicated color-coded adventuring binder. Sounds complicated. <laughs> nah, I'm just a nerd for this stuff. It's actually a pretty simple system. Start by choosing which area you want me to explore. The further I get into that area, the more loot I'll bring back. Providing me with potions is totally optional, but the right potion could help me get further or might help me find better spoils. Every potion has its uses, but health potions and mana potions are by far the most important. Health potions help me withstand damage, and mana potions power my attacks, allowing me to fight my way past monsters. However, there's a limit to how many potions I can drink at a time, and all that magic can really mess with a person's stomach. That's a cute pose. Damn. Damn! Muscle lady, muscle lady, muscle lady! <laughs> oh, and don't forget there's a fee every time you send me out. Those are set by the guild. Well, that's about it. Consider me on call. Honestly, I can't get out there soon enough. I know you'll do amazing. I hope so. This is what I've been training for, after all. Oh, they also gave us a goodie bag of health and mana potions for new recruits. Let's use them on my first adventure. Nice. Health potions patch me up and mana potions to get me, on the uh, get me to the finish line. Let's use them both. And, hey, thanks for the support, Sylvia. It means a lot. Yeah. Is this an indie game? I do believe so, yeah. Okay. So the way this works is I can send Mint out on adventures by clicking adventure. You know I'm game. Uh, and I pick an area for her to go adventure in. So far, we've only unlocked the Enchanted Forest. Uh, don't worry about me. I can handle it. And she will get through a certain amount of monsters depending on what she has in her repertoire. Since she's a level 1 adventurer, she has 10 HP and 3 mana. Meaning she can make it through up to 3 different events before she runs out of energy and can go no further. So I would need to give her a mana potion to make it a little further. Now she can run through 4 monsters. One more mana potion, she can run through 5 monsters. However, each of them has a damage value associated with it, which adds up to equal a certain amount of damage she can withstand before she ends the mission because she runs out of HP and has to come back, right? So, if I were to send her out now, she'd take 2, 5, 7, 10, 15 damage. That's too much, she can't withstand that, we're not going to send her out like that. But, each potion gives her 5 extra HP. You can see the value underneath the potion's description here, right? So, if I sit her out now, she could survive up to 20 HP of damage. She's only going to take 15, and she can go through up to five different events. Meaning, if I wanted to, I could sit her out now, and she would guaranteedly survive this quest, get all of the loot, and bring it back to me. With five HP to spare. I could do that now. Or... I could also spend time with Mint to get another card. Thoughts? Hi, Alia! Alia. Almost. Alia? Alia. 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 Damn it. You guys want to go on a Mint date? She does seem happy doing adventuring. You know what? Let's send her on an adventure for now. We'll do the mint date tomorrow. How's that sound? We'll skip the mint date for now. We'll come back to that tomorrow. Because I do need to go home, brew some potions, and do a bit of selling. Or we're going to be in trouble. Okay? Well, you know what? Nah, all right. Hold on. Let's see. If I, if I hang out now, it'll put me here. If I then... You know, I still have time. Because here's what happens. I hang out. Then we go on a date. I go home. I start potions. I sell. And then the day ends. Okay, let's hang out. Bushwhacking. Boost relationship slightly and relieves a bit of stress. Don't you need time to travel? Ooh. There is time to travel home. Uh... 
We'll do it anyway. Those bushes won't know what hit them. Mostly because they're just plants. Mint leads the way into the forest, where she gives Sylvia a simple wooden sword. She proceeds to hack away at various bushes, encouraging Sylvia to do the same. Some of the bushes drop coins. One even drops a gemstone. Mint suggests they donate their windfall to the local soup kitchen, and Sylvia agrees. I don't understand the science, but this sure beats checking the cushions for loose change. Sylvia feels a little closer to Mint, and mildly less stressed. Yes, so you lose one-sixth of the clock per thing you do. So now, if I were to travel home... Sort of look at this real quick. I don't think it says traveling home would take a thing for me. I think I can do it. Yeah, I think we're good. I think I'm good. I think I can rank up. Let's do it. Let's hang out for a bit. Hell yeah, Toho fan. Welcome in. Sylvia, I love this guild hall to pieces, but let's be real. It's a death trap waiting to happen. Want to make the rounds with me? Now, I could use an extra set of eyes. Mint stalks the guild hall, her shoulders squared, and her eyes steely with determination. She produces a rough sheet of sandpaper and then sets to work smoothing down the sharp corners of every table she finds. <laughs> what a little worry wart. That's got big sister energy. That's got like, I had little siblings, I had to take care of energy. <laughs> She moves fragile vases to higher shelves. She padlocks a drawer full of kitchen cutlery, shurikens, and minor explosives. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were baby-proofing the guild hall. What's going on? It's one of the heroes, you know, expecting. Only in the sense that I'm expecting my colleagues to overindulge and start bumping into things. It happens every night, and bird shins are no fun on long heights or dungeon delves. Ah. Uh, do, do you think she'd be more... Hmm, let me think. Do we think she'd be happier if I implied she was being smart in her adventuring strategies or she's kind to shield her colleagues? I think she likes defending people and shielding is a key word for her. I feel like this would be the one, right? Yeah, kind? Yeah, I think so too. It's kind of you to shield your colleagues from harm. I want to do my part, you know? Be a team player. It won't surprise you to hear. Being here's a total dream. Should I pinch you? We're both living our dreams. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Oh no, bro! I love her. <laughs> dreams? Pinch? Dreams? <gasps> yeah, she 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 seems like a dreamer. Hold on. No, I do think the dreams things is smart. A little tease is a treat. Pinch. You get to pinch her muscles. <laughs> I know, but I am trying to max my relationship here as well. Huh. Illegal brewing is our dream. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be both living our dreams. Here we go. We're both living our dreams. Although mine's come with a share of difficulties. Mine too, actually. I mean, I'm bugging with people I recognize from trading cards. I'm eating at the same table as people I've written fanfic about. They say you should never meet your heroes. Oh, meeting your heroes is awesome. Sharing a bathroom with them is just super weird. <laughs> she writes fanfic about her heroes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. I'm glad Armist doesn't get any fanfic, but I'm sure Tempest has had, like, people who want to be like them, who want to be heroes like them, who've written fanfic, and then showed up at the guild, guild hall and be like, oh, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> Drop your AO3 username, Mint. AO3. Oh, uh, yeah. I, archi archive of our own. I've heard of that. So you weren't exaggerating before. You really are a fangirl. Yeah, ever since I... Wow, not even a bear. Look at her. She's owning it. What a fucking champion. Oh, my God. That is... Whoo! Doesn't get hotter than owning it. Good for you, champ. There is no cringe in this body at all. Yeah, ever since I was little. I grew up in a quiet port town. It was... Nice. I say nice like it's a bad thing. No, really. I had a great childhood. I was safe and happy. I had eight siblings who were all awesome in different ways. And my dads are both book lovers, so we get bedtime got bedtime stories every night. I remember fairy tales about bold princesses and fables about wildly animals. But my favorites were the stories about real-life heroes. I liked those best because they were true. I'd drift off to sleep, imagining what it would be like to be one of them. 
And now you're here. Yeah, here, with the chance to be a hero on the level of those I used to dream about. I can only hope I live up to their example. I have a feeling you'll do great. No kidding? I'm sure learning a lot. The sparring sessions are intense. I've been doing some sparring of my own. The verbal kind. Here's a pointer I learned the hard way. Keep your guard up when you go on the offensive. That's probably sound advice whether you're wielding wooden swords or savvy words. Keep your guard up. Oh, she's a hammer user, huh? Okay, okay. Blocks a set amount of stress equal to its current... Oh, raise interest by eight, gain three shield. Damn, for only two? Woo! Woo! I feel more formi formidable already. Good. Show them no mercy, Sylvia. You got what it takes to handle grumpy customers. And sharp edge countertops, too. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna send you on an adventure. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. Let's go, champ. All right, I need another stamina potion hit. <laughs> All right, get out there, mint. Uh, I'm gonna dominate out there. Yeah, you are. Bye. I'll report back as soon as possible. Okay, see you later. The kicky little legs. <laughs> oh, this game's so fucking cute. Welcome back. I probably want to get brewing soon, yes? Check your potion recipe for all the possibilities. Remember, offering a variety of potions is key. While your potions brew, consider dropping in on your new acquaintances. But traveling takes time, so plan accordingly. Well, anyway, I think you can take it from here. Remember, adapt and overcome. Okay, tutorial is over. Oh, and take an early rest if you need it. Otherwise, you might get too stressed to function. Are there game... Oh, no. It did take travel time to come back. That sucks. Okay, well, now we know. Lesson learned. Let's get Bruin. There are game overs in this game. Yes. Just gonna drop ourselves some uh, standard health potions. We'll leave those brew overnight. Uh, I will arrange my shop for the morning. I'm actually gonna hold on to these for adventuring purposes for later. Uh, hmm. Man, I'm real sad I can't open the shop. Fuck. All right, let's swap our deck around a little bit now that we got some more cards. I definitely want press the attack. That's really good. Raise interest by five, draw a card. So we definitely do not need anything Sylvia thinks going forward. Uh, I'm honestly also going to get rid of a, pre a scheme because one cost for free draw and raised interest is really good. I will drop. Let's see. Raise interest. Gain oh, yeah. We don't need any brace yourself anymore. Yeah, three shield, eight interest for only one more cost is fine. See you later, Ivory. Good night and good luck. Also, look, our, our heart went up, so the flavor text changed. Citing the, their financial inter interdependence, Quincy Sylvia is a potential ally in a turbulent economy. We're acquaintance levels now. Mint has revealed to Sylvia that becoming a hero has been her lifelong dream ever since her uneventful childhood. Mint, the budding hero. The ingredient vendor. Just owl. <laughs> Are you generally a TCG fan, Ruse, or just in this game? I dabble. I'm not huge in it or anything. I've played like Magic the Gathering and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and... Hearthstone, uh, Slay the Spire a little bit, but I've never gotten like hugely into any card games or anything. Kind of sucks that I burnt my day like that. And traveling will eat up too much time to do anything else. Oh well, let's end our day early, shall we? Yu-Gi-Oh! What's your deck? I don't know. I played it when I was a kid. Well, we lost money that day. Bummer! 
Oh yeah, I've I've heard of that. That's a uh, Pokemon game on the Game Boy would be nice for you. That was uh buh, 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 buh. that was Pokemon y Black. Pokemon Black. Lifelong skull servant and sprites? Huh? Huh? War Rock would be your deck. I don't know. All I remember is that in Magic Gathering, I specifically played blue to piss people off because I thought it was funny. And also, I like controlling the flow of the game. <laughs> uh, but I would sometimes play uh, green black or bl uh, straight black decks. So I'd play blue, blue, white, green, black, and black. So are all brooms magic? I think so. I think every broom in this setting is magic. Have I played Inscription? I have not, actually. All right, here we go. <clears throat> yes. I was the guy who made stall decks to piss people off. I would play in, uh, you know, 2v2s or 1v1v1v1s and play blue just to piss people off and play counters to things that didn't even affect me just to annoy others. I just thought it was a good time. I would play the social game more than I would play the card game. I would, like, counter to protect a different player and then convince them to work with me. And then I would, you know, eventually screw them over, of course. <laughs> I wonder what today, uh, what today has in store for me. Muktuk! Greetings, Tuskless One. I have for you a question of dire importance. The potions that you sell, do you make them yourself? I sure do. Every potion you see is handcrafted on site by me, Sylvia. It gladdens me to hear it, for potion crafting is a noble profession. A noble profession indeed. I am pleased to meet you, Sylvia. You may call me Muktuk. For that is my name. I wonder if I might be of service to you in your endeavors. Oh, well, we're not really hiring right now. You misunderstand. I do not seek employment, for I have already found my calling. And it is a great one. Like you, I am a craftsperson. My media are metal, and all the minerals of the earth. My skill is unmatched! But key to any artisan's success is access to the right tools. And I cannot help but to notice. You appear to be brewing your potions in a shabby bucket of some kind. Tell me! Do you not thrive on innovation? Do you not wish to dance upon the razor edge of progress? Uh, I like being on the cutting edge. I like being on the cutting edge. Innovations is as necessary as food and breathable air. It also tends to be expensive. Then you must allow me to be of service. Please accept this cauldron as a token of my respect and as a sample of all I have to offer. Woo! Let's go, baby! Wow! Thanks! That's so generous of you! But are you sure? Where I come from, cauldrons are pretty expensive. I only regret that I cannot offer all of my goods and services for free of charge. Truly, it is a most impossible dilemma. I view each cauldron as a work of art. And art is meant to be freely accessible to all. All right, comrade. Okay. And yet, I must, uh, I find I must cover the cost of production. At the very least. Otherwise, I shall have no materials with which to make these artworks. And to leave these righteous flippers bereft of material and idle of purpose would be unthinkable. Damn, he got that sleeve? Okay, muck tuck. In the end. To put the price tag upon my cauldrons, this feels like the lesser sin. Speaking of art, nice tattoos, dude. Speaking of art, nice tattoos. It really suits you. Of all of life's canvases, none is more exquisite than the body. Damn, Muktuk! Are you risen? Especially a body built, uh, especially a body, body that is rippling with muscle. But I hope you do not find my confidence off-putting. Such conviction is not so common here as it is in my homeland. I, f I find it necessary, however, to hold myself in high regard. Those of us who put our creations on display, who are judged so openly and so often, should be the first to see and celebrate our own strengths. Oh, we love a confident king. We must be kind to ourselves. We must pump ourselves up. 
for it is only by fanning the spark of pride within us that we can hope to ignite the flames of interest in another. Pump up! Increase the interest applied by the next interest raised card by 50%. Damn! Solid advice. Solid as an anvil. I am glad to know you, Sylvia, and I hope that I shall see you again. Please, visit my market stall. See all that I have to offer. For the world can be a cold place, and those of us who toil to bring light and beauty into being. We must stand together! We all lift together! <laughs> My skin became clearer and my life got better when Muck Tuck. Hell yeah, baby. Uh, it's what's for dinner and dessert. Celebrity chef Draven has come down in favor uh, has come down in favor of an all meat diet, leading to a surplus of unsold fruits and veggies. Flesh ingredients cost more, but fruit and plants cost less. Salt in the wound. A storm surge has flooded the mire with ocean salt water, momentarily shocking the region's delicate freshwater ecosystem. The mushroom mire has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops. However, mushroom mire ingredients are going to cost more. Ooh. Damn it. Nice of Mutt to give you a new cauldron. Hell yeah, it was. Let's set it, uh, set it up in the shop, shall we? Customizing the shop to your liking is a big perk to owning the place. Go wild with it. Is that my boy, Steven Adams? Thanks for the thumbs up. Let me get my potions out before we do that. Bam, boom, bam! Let's fucking go. Perfect brew. Oh my god, I'm nutty with it. Uh, I don't think so, Con Bunny. I don't know how that works exactly, though. The way you said Draven sounds like he's what's for dinner. <laughs> that's a that's a little League of Legends joke for the mentally ill in my chat. <laughs> Welcome to the League of Draven. Draven doesn't sign autographs. <laughs> Ew, lol. <laughs> uh, customization. Okay, let's do this. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop this bad boy out and pop this bad boy. Woo! Look at how cute it is! Yeah, it's kind of like a little plant! Damn. I thought you don't play League of Legends. I don't play League of Legends in front of you. Unlike some people, I uh, I have the common decency not to run around with my pants down. Uh, I'm not going to, like, stand in front of you bare naked playing League of Legends. I have decency and shame. I was gifted by the, the original sin of Adam and Eve or whoever the fuck first took the bite of whatever serpent uh, fruit exists uh, with the shame to say, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to stand here with my league swaying in the wind. <laughs> Maybe I'll put some pants on. <laughs> anyway, this one has a max ingredients of four, max measurements of 75. Our new one, let's check it out real quick. Ooh, six ingredients up to 115 measurements. Not bad at all. Yeah, if people want to play League, that's fine. Sometimes people can make it really great content. For me, I go into hyper-focus mode, and I'm like, I just cackle a lot. I just kill people with poison builds, and I go, <laughs> but I don't talk. I don't read chat. I don't do nothing. I sit there, and I torment other players, and that's all I do. I play Xerath and play at the longest range you've ever seen in your life, landing every skill shot possible to the point where other players accuse me of being a fucking hacker, or I play Teemo, and I ruin lives, and that's about it. I play Teemo, Shaco... Zareth, Velkaz, Ezreal, Jin, Lucian, Shin, Warwick Top, Shaco Top, Yasuo ADC. Oh, Zed, Swain, a little LeBlanc, Scion. I can't go through everything, but if I go through everybody, I'm going to be here forever. If I go through everybody here, I'm going to be here forever. I'm not doing that. I only play the worst. That's true. 
Uh, didn't hear Lulu. I would never play Lulu. What's wrong with you? What about Fizz? I don't like Fizz. Am I a mid main? Uh, when I left off, I was an ADC main. I have mained top lane, mid, support, and ADC so far. I have never mained jungle, and that is the only role I probably will never main because I'm just not going to play enough league to give a shit. ADC Yasuo? Yeah, I play ADC Yasuo occasionally. ADC Teemo. I play Teemo mid. I play... Uh, Shaco top, Warwick top. I like playing off meta bullshit because I think it's funny. Rakan? No, when I played support, I almost exclusively played Blitzcrank, Tom Kinch, Thresh, uh, Zareth, Velkaz. And that's about it, actually. I mostly played Thresh and Blitz, if I'm being honest with you. Mm 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 mm. It's probably for the best. You don't know. It's okay. Uh, do I feel at home in the verbal trash talk of League? So for me, I think that contributing to the trash talk in those communities is inherently a bad thing. And if you could try your best to be an okay person and make friends, you can make the community better. One tiny little like reduction of salt at a time. However, uh, I do get quickly incited when I see somebody being cold or cruel to people who do not deserve it uh, in League of Legends, and that happens a lot. So I have been known to say some pretty harsh, pretty fucked up stuff because I have uh, very creative ways to tell people to go check out early of life on life. Um, I've been known to say some pretty mean shit if somebody's like playing okay and then somebody else loses or does something poorly and it's not their fault and then immediately gets lambasted that drives me insane uh so i realize that uh that makes me angry and then i usually tell them to uh you know in stream irl yeah sure exactly perfect i tell them to in their stream irl uh and then they get mad at me which is always really funny because that's how i know they're talking out of their ass right like person a fucks up person b is like, hey, fuck you, you suck cock at this game, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, hey, dude, you aren't doing so hot yourself. If I wasn't carrying this, we'd be losing, so you could shut your mouth. And then they're like, um, actually, you suck at this game, too. I'm like, okay, so now I know you're just talking out of your ass. You're looking for someone to blame, because I'm carrying your ass. So shut the fuck up, take your hands off your keyboard, and either unplug your computer, or let me carry you, and keep your mouth shut. Got it? Cool. And that's it. <laughs> so that happens a lot. Uh, That happens a lot. So I stopped playing League and other games like that. Because I get real toxic real quick. Oh, those are gonna be that's gonna be a juicy potion. We like a little spicy toxicity. Typically, I say the toxicity for when someone's blaming someone who doesn't deserve it. That's about it. Otherwise, I, I keep my hands off the keyboard and I don't type to other players much. <laughs> Aside from occasional positive affirmations like, hey, good kill, champ. Uh, good job or good assist or whatever. Or like, oh, nice rotation. Solid. Um, I do need to do some selling soon. We're running out of days. Seven days left, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, for sure, Toho. That's the other thing. <laughs> I... So, this is shitty to admit, and you're going to hate me for those MOBA players in chat. And, uh, you know, not just MOBA players. Uh, while I was in training, I was playing a lot of, like, uh, competitive, uh, not competitive shooters, but I was playing, like, a good amount of Valorant and stuff like that, just killing time while I was training to be an idol or whatever when I was still in the womb. Um... <laughs> And one of the many joys I get out of games like that is waiting for someone to talk shit on someone who doesn't deserve it, and then I'll jump in, and I'll, like, intercept, and I'll be like, hey, shut the fuck up. They were doing, you know, their best. Like, relax. It's fine. And these people will often be like, no, you shut your mouth. You're also ass. And I'll be like, okay. <laughs> That's cool. Watch this, and I will just feed my ass off. I will hold that game hostage, refuse every single surrender, and I will do my best to ruin the rest of that game 
for them no matter what. I will follow them with Omen and blind them. I will smoke their line of sight constantly. If I'm playing League of Legends, I'll like fucking put wards in the wrong place. I'll lure enemies to them. I'll just fuck just anything I could do to make them have the worst 20 to 40 minutes of their life. And I'll hold it out, too. I'll make sure that I ride the line so that people are like, well, he's not being a dick. He's definitely trying his best. And then other players won't surrender because they're like, well, he's trying, dude. We can still turn this around. I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely trying. We can turn this around. And then at the very end, I'll be like, hey, bud, next time you want to talk shit, how about you watch your fucking mouth, huh? How about you stop being rude to people who don't deserve it and you just play the fucking game? Because if not, I'm going to find you again and I'm going to hold you hostage again. You're going to stick here and you're going to wait 40 minutes losing over and over and over. You're going to hate it and I'm going to love every second. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, I'm that player you don't want in your lobby. <laughs> I'm a petty little bastard. Ah, oh, man. Good times. <laughs> uh. I almost miss comp playing competitive games when I, ooh, when I think back on that stuff. Uh. <laughs> I shouldn't, but I do almost miss it. What are you doing on that nice, wholesome lobbies? I usually just keep my mouth shut. At best, I'll throw a compliment once or twice just to keep people, like, in high spirits. But that's about it. What made you so delightfully twisted and cruel? Um, I don't know. I feel like most of the time I have a lot of faith in people. But if they're just being, uh, like, un un unfairly cruel to other people, it just incenses me immediately. You know what I mean? Like, I'm an asshole, but I'm not an asshole to people who don't deserve it. And then when people are being assholes, just to, like you know, cover their own inadequacies or to find somebody to blame. Like, there's no, there's nothing that says you have to blame somebody, especially in a competitive game, right? Like, you don't have to sit there and type that somebody fucked up. Like, it's okay that they fucked up. Everybody fucks up. So do you. So does the person typing. Usually, it's some, like, low-tier motherfucker, too, who's at the bottom of the scoreboard. I'm like, dude, shut your fucking mouth. I understand you're trying to find somebody to throw under the bus so that you don't feel bad or so that no one targets you, but if we all just shut our fucking mouths and play the game... We'd be fine. So when someone does that, it just immediately enrages me. I'm like, all right, dude, how about this? <sighs> but yeah, anyway, it's whatever. If we all just played the game and were chill, I'd be fine. Nothing would happen. It'd be cool. Uh, if you ever get used to the smell, this one might work for me, but I'm not entirely sold yet. <laughs> Shut up, sir. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna lead off with this so that we get our little set em up. I'm gonna draw a card. Ooh, and we're gonna keep our fucking guard up by three, baby! We drew a card! A perfect timing. Don't mind if I do. Block! In that turn. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's it's easy to get very aggressive in competitive games. I understand people who feel that way or act that way. I do not necessarily blame them in the sense that, like, I think that, like... I think it's natural to behave that way to a degree, but, like, we're fucking adults, right? Like, we're all... You're not an animal. Like, you don't have to succumb to your base instincts. You can be above that, and you should be above that. It's okay to get passionate, but just resist the urge to drag somebody else down to be passionate. You know what I mean? Um, I get mad. I get salty. And sometimes I'll say it out loud, but I won't type it to that person because they don't need it. They don't need that uh, extra shit. And who does it help? Like, what do you get out of it? Like, congratulations. You feel like you're like a tough guy for a second or you feel like you vented your rage for a second and they inevitably get worse because either they're mad at you now and they're going to play worse because they're mad like you are or they get bummed out and sad and they're going to play worse because they're freaking out about you getting mad at them. And then they get nervous. Nobody wins. It's always a bad day if you're just calling people out for no fucking reason. Just chill. Play your game. If someone's, like, consciously being a dick, I get that. But if they're just playing the game and trying their best, let them play the game and try their best. Mm, I'm gonna close this out because I don't want the stress. See ya. Well, I could hang out with somebody today and lower the stress. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Well, perfect. You, you, a lot of people, I think, especially in modern competitive games, just always mute the lobby as soon as they get in. They just don't give it a chance. And I don't blame them for that. And I think that's a good way to still enjoy those games and just not talk to people. Hmm. I could plant the seed for more interest, but the thing is, this guy's going to lose. 
two patients this turn. That'll be a patient. So that brings him down to four, meaning I can't play anything next turn, and these are both of my close it outs in my deck. I might just close it out. I get nine. That'll put me up to the extra 13%. So this will go up to 39%, and then I'll add the extra five for the close it out percent because it has a closer. I think this is the move. I think this is the best bet. Yeah, I ban people. I ban people all the time when they piss me off or if they're annoying or if they say something stupid or if they test the limits just to test the limits if they think they're being funny. Hmm. Agreed, Pollux. Wait a minute. Is that my fucking cat? <laughs> uh, you're a little gloomy guy, but I also really want to get this potion sold because it's one of my highest tier potions. So I'm going to open with this. We're going to drop a scheme to get as many cards as we can get in our hands. I'm going to press the, that, and then we're going to drop this, and then I'm going to hit a sympathy for two shield, apply sympathy for one turn, which is going to make this a 10 next turn instead of an eight. Or I could close it out now. No, because I already played the I already played the hold there. So how much do you go down? You're gonna try and give me two. I'm gonna block that, and then you're gonna go down by one this turn, and then you're gonna apply the debuff. But the debuff won't hit until after I get the plant the seed, the sympathy. Because sympathy's combo to plant the seed, it goes to ten instead of eight. So we're in the turn here. He should go down to two, which gives me enough to play another card draw, which means I can then close it out. Raise interest by five, draw a card. Done. Boom. Okay, cool. So 92 gold. I did have a cat named Caster. Unfortunately, he's not with me anymore. Uh... Oh, hey! There she is, my secret weapon. I'm sure this will help in my quest. I'm sure of it. Okay, I'm gonna use your own cards against you. Sorry about the- Whoa! Don't complain to me. What the hell, man? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are all of your cats named after stars? Yes. Uh, you can imagine my surprise when uh, I joined, um, you know, the government or whatever, when they got me on my bounty. And I uh, found out that somebody in Tempest had a mech named Arturus because I have a cat named Arcturus. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna keep my guard up to block that with my three shield, baby. Let's go. And then since I have 11 patience on Mint, Mint has really high patience. I'm going to go in my turn here. I'm going to let this play out. All of Tippets are named after stars. So they are. Set them up. Reel them in. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so now I want to hit a plant. This well, hmm. I could plant the seed, which gives me three turns of eight, which is a lot. But since I didn't draw this on my first turn, it actually makes it a little harder here because she's going to go down by two and then another one, which is three total. So I only have two left next turn. I might be better off just ending my turn and playing out my hand with the two. Hmm. Does Arturus have an Archers? No, but that would be fucking hilarious. My cat is named Lord Chompy Bits. I love that. I'm going to end my turn here and play out my next hand and hope it's enough to crash through this. What I will need is a one cost that increases by at least five and then to close it out. We'll see what we get. I mean, there's only 13 cards left in our deck, right? Did I mention I got six active quests right now? Damn, you're really trying to guilt me, huh? Damn! Oh, no closers at all. That is a huge bummer. Bummer, 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 bummer. So we can't close her, so I'm not going to get the extra 5%, but I can still. <sighs> Drop a real... No, real them in wouldn't be enough. This wouldn't be enough. And this is only four. Fuck. Well, oh well. Looks like we're going to have to close the deal. Ooh, I almost lost the game there. That's two. I would have lost immediately. All right. Let's just close it out. Oh, well, 83 still good. A turtle named Downey? That's adorable. 
Parmesan? Great name. So I heard Wolster. I'm kind of curious about how that's going to go. Good night, LV. Or good day, I guess. Oh, chewy. Cute. The royal fatness, or chonk. <laughs> I believe Betel is named after Betel Geese, yes. RGB is a good name. You missed a, lo a lot, Tubasa. You missed everybody being incredibly uh, cool in this game. Um, okay, so we did that. Let's go get our new potions real fast. We're going to go to our brewer. We're going to grab those. We're going to go see how our adventure with Mint went. I should, probably should have led off with that, but whatever. Um, Sue fucking Perb. Let's go. One more time. We're gonna brew one more set of health potions. I know it's a lot of health potions and we could use more variety, but I don't have time for that, so. Bye. All right, so if I head out into town, I've got enough time to travel a little bit. Ooh, that's right, Muktuk's Forge. Uh, let's go check on Mint. If you knock down a boss monster in the forest, it sure does make a sound. Okay, woo! Two pixie dust diamonds. That's a B and C magimins with four of each. This tiny diamond is a product of fairy magic. Uh, some fairy flower bulbs. This dormant bulb protected, uh, protects the developing flower within. Uh, a serpent's slippery tongue. Lead us not into temptation. Instead, add magic to our potion. It does have a bad smell, unfortunately. So that's a negative to smell, but this is a good to smell. Flower bulb goes good smell. Uh, and mandrake... Roots and another fairy flower bulb. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice loot. She killed a pixie? Well, she maybe just gathered some pixie dust while she was out there. Mm -mm. Just one chance, man. Please. <laughs> the enchanted forest is no sweat. I actually enjoyed being out there. I knew you could handle it. And I'm excited to use those ingredients you brought back. I found some other goodies, too. I set them aside for you. These are glamours. They'll change the look of your shop. They're purely cosmetic, so don't expect any tangible benefits. Still, they're pretty cool, right? Thank you, Mint. Let's go! Night Sykes, good luck! Oh, I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you're interested in the game. Hey, thanks. I can see how it'd be nice to sw uh, switch things up every now and again. No problem. I'll keep an eye out for more. Apparently, some critters got into a shipment, and now they're spread all over the island. See you later, Sneetched Up. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me, I can return to the forest anytime, but I'm also up for more of a challenge. The Mushroom Mire and the Bone Waste are available to me now. They're a little more dangerous, but that means better rewards. And here's one more tip. You should introduce yourself to our guildmaster, Baptiste. He sends out daily expeditions, and if you invest in one, you'll get a share of what comes back. Oh, no. Here comes Gerard. I'll be sure to introduce myself, and I'll keep you in mind for further adventures, too. Sounds good, Sylvia. I'll be ready when you are. It's good to see you. It's so good to see you. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go meet Baptiste, so I will save hanging out for another time, but I do want to send you out on another adventure. Hmm. Mushroom mire? I'm a big sucker for mushrooms or the bone wastes. I'm going to go to the mire, I think. Can I afford to go to the... Uh oh I don't have any poison cures. We cannot afford to go there yet. We got going on here. Ooh, fire damage. Fire damage is really high if I don't have fire resist gear. Or fire resist potions, which I do not. Twenty health. I don't make it. Nah, nah. Let's go back to the forest. Fuck it. Oh, wait, I don't have any... Uh, I'm, oh, I'm too low on mana potions. Boo! That sucks. Damn it. Hmm. Very cool. Let's see. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess we'll skip the adventure today. Kind of a bummer. I got well, I could just send her on an adventure on her own and just say fuck it. Like I don't get a lot out of it, but it's only twenty five gold, and I still get something. And XP. Eh, fuck it. All right, hammer time. Okay, bye. And here we are with Baptiste, a Baptiste hero guild, the guild leader. Wow, this is bigger than I realized. Jesus, fuck. Greetings, fair patron. Greetings and welcome to the Heroes Guild. I'm Baptiste, esteemed guildmaster and fledgling barkeep. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sylvia. I'm new to town and I make potions. Then you'll certainly benefit from our services. Hiring a hero is a surefire way to get your hands on new ingredients. You can work directly with any hero you've acquainted yourself with or come to me. I always have a list of upcoming expeditions. Invest in one, and in return, you'll receive a portion of whatever loot is brought back. Wow. Sounds like the guild has a lot to offer. We aim to please, so if there's anything else I can do to be of service, just let me know. About sharing some potion pointers. Do you have any advice for a fellow merchant? Oh, <laughs> well, I, do know, uh, I don't know that I'm a merchant, per se. I'm more of a facilitator. A master administrator, if you will. <laughs> Holy shit. Hold on, I got a sip here. Azure PTSD, don't make me do it. <laughs> More of a facilitator, a master administrator, if you will. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. I keep everything running smoothly here while our town's great heroes seek glory, adventure, and resources. It almost sounds like you're bragging about being a bureaucrat. <laughs> don't you know? Bureaucrats are the very linchpin holding society together. We don't call ourselves heroes. But if making order of a chaotic world isn't heroic, I don't know what is. Blech. <laughs> it's Lavender. Uh, that's an interesting point of view. Isn't it? And in striking up conversation about it, I'm demonstrating that piece of advice you asked for. If you've got something to sell, then best to captivate your audience forthwith. Captivate! Increase patience by one. Ooh, we can reverse patience loss. If it's an opener, we increase it by two. Ooh, pretty strong. I think I can manage that. It's advice I've re recently taken to heart. I arrived here only a few months ago, intent on guiding this guild to greatness. And the heroes have greeted me with open arms. Although, some of their traditions are rather mystifying. Say, you look like a commoner. Maybe you could share some insights. Oh, no. Uh, you must be a noble, then. Shh. <laughs> I'm trying to downplay all that, you know. To help me fit in. Oh, no. Oh, no. This guy's a fucking idiot. He's a quirked up rich... Oh, no, he is Gerard. He's just a fucking... He's a boy failure. He doesn't realize how stupid he is. He says he's got that five charisma, and it's entirely by accident, because he has no idea how to read people. Insight score of negative five. But that brings us to my question. The only score of charisma this man has is that he's earnest, and he means it. He, he has charisma through raw earnestness alone, because he's got no social skills. <laughs> but that brings us to my question. Tell me, this charming little tradition of leaving gifts in a new friend's shoes. Gifts? Yes, you know, like shaving cream and rotten fruit, and at one time it was a scorpion. Is that really supposed to go on for months? I mean, I'm flattered, but it's starting to feel like overkill. Oh, no. <laughs> the tough adventurers are bullying this poor, poor rich boy. <laughs> Hmm. Do I want to lie to him or do I want to be honest? Could he handle being honest with him? Shit. Huh.
Tough love? Tough love? All right, we'll 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 do tough love. Fuck it. <sighs> this is good. I don't... I... Uh, okay. <sighs> They're taunting you, Baptiste. There is no tradition like that. Oh, really? Well, the joke's on them. Because I've been taunted by the best. It'll take more than a bit of tomfoolery to get my goat. At any rate, I shouldn't be too surprised. I knew coming here that there would be a period of adjustment. Finding yourself suddenly in a new land and in a new role. It can be challenging, can't it? Ooh, damn, leading off sh <laughs> you're a little flirting, huh? Whoa, uh oh. Oh my. He does like he does like a little bit of a ingratiation, doesn't he? Sure, we'll hit him with it. Let's let's hit him with it. Let's hit him with a flirt. Well, at least you're handsome. That's gotta make it a little easier. Tis a curse. I fear it only makes others feel resentful and insecure. Oh, wait. I meant, uh, th th thank you. Or should I say, N no, no, I'm terribly ugly. I haven't gotten the false modesty down yet, but I'm working on it. Wow, you really are an unsung hero. At any rate, it's been a pleasure making your acquaintance, Sylvia. I hope you decide to avail yourself of our services. And I trust we'll find the opportunity to chat again soon. <laughs> He's trying his best to have social skills and failing. Welcome back to the guild hall. Wow. I hate him. Okay, I do like him. There's a lot of energy going on here right now, guys. <laughs> He's got the spirit. Yeah, he does have the spirit. Let's invest. Okay, so... We can get the Mushroom Miasma Spore, which is a brand new type of Magimin that has 18 for B and 6 for D. This is a tiny spore as a sign of the Mushroom Meyer's aggressive expansion. We can get the Horned Jelly from the Bone Wastes. This slime has adapted the means to defend itself. Unfortunately, it makes the potion hurt. It feels bad to drink, but it looks really pretty. Hmm. It also has eight, uh, 18A, which is actually really, really good. Uh, there's also the Fairy Flower Bud. It hasn't reached its full potential, but this young flower is undeniably magic. 12 in the A department smells good, no downsides. Hmm. If I put 20 gold in, I have a 25% chance of a rare bonus ingredient, but I have a 10% chance to disrupt the ecosystem. Oh, uh, the more you put in, the higher a chance you have to disrupt, but the higher a chance you have a rare, of a rare bonus ingredient, and the more of that ingredient you actually get. I'm going to put in 60 gold. It's only a 30% chance, 75%. 30 to 75, I'll take those odds. I'll take those odds. I'll make sure they leave immediately. Okay, thanks, Baptiste. See you later. I'm not going to hang out with you yet because I'm not actually stressed out at all and we need to start min-maxing our time. Let's go check out our friend Muck Duck, shall we? Oh, Sylvia. You brighten my day. What do you got for me, champ? God, his music goes fucking hard. Holy shit. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, if you disrupt the ecosystem, things cost more from there because uh, animals there are rarer, so harder to hunt, etc., etc. So he's got a mud pack cauldron. Channels the macabre magic of things lost and buried in the mud. Six ingredients. 160 magimans. Uh, glass cauldron. Ooh, seven ingredients. But less magimans total. Uh. Though physically fragile, this cauldron of bone and glass has an impressive magical affinity for heat. Ooh, you sell shelves. Wait a minute. Potion capacity 3, 5% cr price increase, but... Oh, an additional 3% for potions. Wow. New fungal growth injects some life into your display versus the bone waste shelf. Ah, this one sells tonics. So tonics are things like fire resist or uh, poison curatives and stuff like that, where potions are things like healing potions, health potions, magic potions, that kind of stuff. See you later, pal, pal. Hmm... I can turn the music up in a second, gamers. Actually, I should probably do it now. Uh. 
Uh, I think I'm going to be making more potions than I am tonics for now. I want this. Craft that for me, champ. It's a good fucking game. I am honored by your decision to make a purchase. Honored and delighted. Hey, don't mention it. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it, so we're both benefiting. From your lips to the ears of other ancestors. However, it must be said that even this fine, fine work you have selected, it could be better. Do not mistake me. It is a work of art, and I am proud of it. But should you find yourself with surplus ingredients and disposable funds, then I would be able to enhance the item far beyond its current incarnation. You mean like an upgrade? An upgrade, yes! You could call it an upgrade, or a reimagining, or a revolutionary advancement in the corporeal manifestation of the arts. Mmm, upgrade's easier to remember. Very well! Remember this too. An upgrade to a cauldron can greatly increase the cauldron's maximum stable ingredients, or might even increase the number of ingredients you could place in it. An upgrade to a shell will increase its surface area and stability, allowing you to place more potions on it. Consider it, yes? It would bring me great joy to do this for you. And to you, it could bring great profit. Okay, bud. There she is. Upgrades. Okay, so we can upgrade the shell for one fancy mushroom. and 70 gold. It would increase the potion capacity to four. And it increases 6% for potions instead of 3%. I cannot do that yet. So bye. Bye-bye, buddy. Let's go check on our good friend here. We don't have much else we can do, so we're going to head out of here. He's fun. Pure Armstrong vibes. He does have very Armstrong slash um, Braum uh, vibes. But let's go check on Quinn, shall we? They're, they're also really sick. <clears throat> hey, Sylvia. I hear you've been busy. Uh-oh. What have you heard exactly? Not especially interesting. Man just mentioned you've been working with the Heroes Guild. She's too nice to give me the real gossip. <laughs> it's a major shortcoming, if I'm honest. I didn't realize you two knew each other. I know all the heroes. How do they go on their little adventures? They sell their trash items to me. It's basically my whole business model. Trash comes in, trash goes out. Of course, they keep the best stuff for their clients, so I'm guessing you got something decent in your inventory for once. Maybe something I've never seen before. Give it here. What? No, why would I do that? Suit yourself. I'm just trying to help you out. I know how this goes. You get your hands on a good ingredient, and you're all excited to use it in a potion, right? So you throw it in your cauldron, and poof. It's gone forever. But it doesn't have to be that way. Well, what's the alternative? Easy. Hand it over to me instead. My clairvoyance lets me hone in on specific ingredients. Meaning if you give me something good, I'll be able to find more of it. And then I could start offering that ingredient for sale in my shop. You miss out on the instant gratification, but you get guaranteed access to the ingredient in the future. Yeah, okay. I can see how that could come in handy. I'll let you know if I decide to take you up on it. There, see? You give me free stuff, and we all benefit. Mostly me, but still. I wouldn't expect you to operate in any other way. But hey, since you're chummy with all the heroes, does this mean I'll be running into you at the guild hall? Nah, despite the invaluable service I provide to the heroes, I'm not exactly welcome in their little clubhouse. You set one fire and suddenly everybody acts like you're a real liability. You set two fires? Eh, you get banned for life. <laughs> Consider yourself warned, I guess. Now, did you want to buy something? God damn, I love Quinn. <laughs> it's hard to feel attracted to Quinn because I feel like I'm looking in a mirror. <laughs> that attitude is perfect. <laughs> What do you got? Eat this. You willing to part with it? Let me do my thing. Do they just eat that? Yes, they do. They just, oh, wait. Quinn has my purple eyes. <gasps> what are your special eyes see, Quinn? Quinn just eats this shit, by the way, straight up. They just throw it in their mouth and they're like, mm, delicious, <laughs> like a freak. Come back tomorrow. 
I'll have the goods. Watch your fingers. Oh, this is Quinn's pet mimic, by the way. Ooh, these are cheaper today. Oh, fuck. I gotta buy all these. I'm buying everything. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. You gotta buy to sell, right? You gotta spend money to make money. Oh, yeah. Plant ingredients are cheaper today. That's right, because of the, um, uh, uh, the event that happened. Oh, fuck yeah. The slimes are not cheaper, but they're not as expensive as they were the other day, so I'm gonna buy them all. Okay, cool. Um, see you later, Quinn. Do I want to hang out? Mm. <sighs> really need to start making some money. All right, we've got one hangout slot. Here's the deal. Do we want to advance our friendship with Quinn or start our friendship with Baptiste or Muktuk? Hmm. Yeah, James, you can do more sales per thing. Muktuk, Muktuk, Muktuk. Quinn or Baptiste, Muktuk. There's a lot of Muktuks here. Hmm. I'm seeing a lot of Muktuks. I think it's going to be Muktuk, guys. Ah, solitude. All right, Muktuk, let's hang out. I will not be able to rank up, but I can hang out today. Uh, I don't have time to hang out because I do need to go back home, which is gonna eat up a turn. Weightlifting, okay. Lifting weights shall lift our spirits. Lift them to the skies. Muktuk has an impressive collection of dumbbells stashed within his sled. It's quick to tell Sylvia he forged them himself. Instead of pounds or kilograms, the weights are all labeled with icons of common animals. Muktuk lifts the equivalent of two wild boars over his head, and he laughs joyfully. Sylvia figures she'll start with squirrels and work her way up. It did not kill you, so it must have made you stronger, yes? Sylvia feels a little closer to Muktuk, and mildly less stressed. Good luck, Holly. Enjoy lunch. All right, let's get out of here. We gotta head home and get to brewing and selling. Uh-uh. I see you've acquired an ingredient with a trait. Huh? I, I did? Sylvia, you need to pay attention to what's going on in your inventory. An ingredient with a trait is an opportunity to strategize at the cauldron and to engage your customers' senses. Oh yeah, I have some notes on this actually. I just need a quick refresher. Some special ingredients have, uh, have not just magiments, but also traits. By placing these ingredients with traits into your brew, it'll impart those traits to the potions. Using an ingredient with a positive trait in your brew will boost the value of the final potion. Be careful, though. Some ingredients can also impart some less desirable traits that'll lower what customers are willing to pay for the potion. Okay, thanks. Uh, I need to rearrange first, James, yes. But I'm going to finish this first. Okay, so we boosted that all the way up to the next tier of potion, which is great because it was a perfect brew. Um, I don't have a new cauldron, so I'm going to leave this cauldron as is. Let me take a quick look at my recipe book because I do know that my quest... What is my quest? What is my quest? What is my quest? Okay, so I need to brew a common health potion of three stars or higher. So let's start by trying to do that. And we know that health potions, using our recipe, is uh, gonna be one to one A and B. Or, no, no. We're gonna need better ingredients. Okay, so let's wait on that. Let's check our recipe book again. What about mana potions? Mana potions are B and C. No, we still don't have strong enough. Okay, you know what? Let's just make some good mana potions. Next time I make health potions, remind me to drop one of these in for the smell. It's gonna take three turns, but we're doing it overnight, so it'll be fine.
You want a pot of guacamole gamer farts? I got you, Grey Nothing. I won't tell you what I'm drinking right now, but I won't say that it's not guacamole gamer farts 9000. <laughs> Hey, we did get a brand new Mushroom Meyer shelf, which is great. Uh, it doesn't have any more slots on it, but it does increase the value of potions when I sell those, so I will be doing that. Uh, we also got new walls. We're going to go ahead and drop those bad boys on there. Hell yeah. And we got a new polished wood wall. I think we got a new flooring. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Let's go. I'm going to leave this as old wood back here, but I'll leave stone out here on the customer uh, section where we deal with customers, because I think that's cute. And then, one, two. I'm gonna hold on to one of these because it does increase hero health by 10, meaning I could use this to boost health quite a bit on an adventure tomorrow, so I think that's a good idea. One, I can count to one. Two, I can count to two. Yeah, you can customize your shop. Oh, I am sold. Hell yeah. You must be eager to call it a night. I'll be quick. Sell me something. How about this? All right, then. Let's see. I'm going to draw three cards because I will not be starting this turn with nothing. We're going to... Oh, I was really hoping for a plant the seed. That's okay. Um, let us start with... No, set them up isn't going to work because it's not my lead. I'll lead with this and see if we can get it. Damn it. All right, that's fine. Still, eight is a lot. That's a heavy hit. That'd be really good. Or I could end my turn and gamble on getting plant the seed. She'll have five next turn, and then she'll lose two, so she'll go down to three, meaning I'm only going to get one turn out of plant the seed. Fuck. Uh, eight for two. Seven for two. Four for one. Realistically, I'm getting the most value out of these. If I use this and use this, that'll give me 16. And then I use this. That'll close out the sale, put her over three hearts, probably, and give me the extra 5% at the end. Nine. Yep. Yeah, I think that's the move. 38%, 43%, there it is, 51. Okay, not bad. Have a nice day. Step right up. Shut the fuck up. Um, it's just a heads up, but I noticed some dust bunnies in the corner. Mm. Shut the fuck up. Uh, we are going to ski. Oh, yeah, I gotta get some interest in before that debuff hits. Uh, let's steam. Come on. Oh, damn it, still no plant to see. This is such bad luck. Uh, let's hit with. We're gonna hit with sympathy. Press the attack for the extra six that it gives. Keep your guard up for the 10, because that uh, the sympathy is going to hit hard there. Down to five already. What if we hit with a reel him in, and then a close it out before he can hit the debuff? Reel him in, close it out, it'll be 11. That puts us just over what we need. That's exactly 16. So that'll put us to tier three, which is another 13%, plus the 5%, which brings us up to a whopping 52%. Bam! Hajime, thank you for the upgrade to exceptional. Whoa. Talk about doing quick mass. Thank you very much, Hajime. Uh, I question your taste in VTubers, but you know what? Thank you. Nyajime, <laughs> Nyajime. That sounds like Nyadahado. Are you sure you never went to school? I went to school. Once. Who's next? Oh, okay. Why, you're the very picture of a proper shopkeep. I might go for this one, if you can sell me on it. <laughs> Whoa! The passionate affluent. What do you got going on, buddy? Reduces all... Oh, stubborn, are you? Let's see what you got, gamer. All right, Blue Gerard. Uh, This will counter his stubbornness. So this will work. We'll do this. Oh, the temptation to close it out immediately is so strong. Woo! But I'll end my turn. 
Oh, wait, this only lasts one turn. That might not work, actually. Wait, does it last into my next turn or only that turn that I played it? Oh, that's a huge bummer. Okay, we fucked up, but that's fine. Um, So, how do I do this? Let's see, keep your guard up. I'm gonna stall with keep your guard up and end my turn immediately, I think, because he's gonna lose this debuff next turn and I don't want to burn all of these. So I'm just gonna keep my guard up, resist the stress in turn. Maybe you could bring on a consultant. Do I seem that flustered? Aw, oh, poor Sylvia. All right, I got you, I got you. Damn! Not all my real amends, this sucks. All right, what if I scheme though? Oh my God, I've got bad luck today. Uh, okay, we're just gonna go for the heavy handed approach. I'm gonna hit a sympathy. I'm gonna hit a keep your guard up for the 10, and then I'm gonna close it out. Damn, that was a really bad hand. That's all right though, we get an 11 out of this. I mean, it's still two hearts. That's 43%, it's, it's fair. Thank you for the boost. Take care. <sighs> That's all of them for now. All right, so that's the end of day three on week one. We are getting pretty scarily close. That's already a third of our time gone. Um, but I did make a profit this time. Even though I spent a lot, I did come out with more money than I lost. So that's pretty good. I'm down. Yeah, the way he left. <laughs> you flamboyant little fart, you. You decadent dandy. Six days before the competition. Thanks. I do what I can. Stocks! Glamorous life of a potions witch. It's not quite as I pictured it. Damn, I mean, even Sylvia's kind of... Oh. <laughs> Who's this? I... I like your hair. <clears throat> anyway, uh... Uh... What was that? Uh... Well, what do we have here? Hi, I'm Sylvia. What can I do for you? Oh, did you mistake me for a customer? That's adorable. I'm not a customer. My name is Roxanne, and I'm a potion maker of some renown around here. You know, I suppose that makes us rivals. Uh-oh. What? Oh, don't look so alarmed. I'm not here to sabotage you. And if I were, well, it appears someone else beat me to it. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's all right. You know what? I can bandy words. I like aggressive assholes. Let's go. What do you got? I'm simply here to wish you luck, dear. After all, just because we're rivals doesn't mean we have to be enemies. Really? Wow, that's... That's a huge relief, actually. I'm new here, and I could use a little friendly advice. Absolutely. Start with hot, soapy water and a vigorous scrubbing. What? Uh, no! I want to ask about the big competition that's coming up. Ah, yes, what a day that'll be. I can see it now. The adoring masses, the cries of adulation, the huge pile of gold soiled with the tears and viscera of my fallen opponent. I suppose I'll have to rinse it off before I spend it. <laughs> uh. So, will I see you there? Cheering, for, uh, cheering me on from the stands, perhaps? Actually, I'm planning on competing too. What a positively charming idea. Please disregard all that nonsense about me getting little pieces of you all over the winnings. How silly. Oh, good. I thought, no, I'll take great care to eviscerate you before you get anywhere near that gold. Wow. So much for making new friends. Oh, honey. I said we weren't enemies. I never said we were friends. Well, she went from good luck to I'm going to enjoy disemboweling you awfully fast. Well, she was right about one thing. Raptor's economy thrives on competition. We don't want to be the only potion shop in town. Right. Just the best one. Let's start with not the worst and work our way up from there. <laughs> Wait a minute. She kinda... She... <laughs> Fight back! Fight back! Okay, potion crafting. Celebrity chef Draven has revealed his reliance on potions, leading artisans of all sorts to wonder what potions might do for their own crafts. Increase in craftsmen, customers, fuck yeah. Salt in the wound. That was the old one. We already know what that one does. Now that you're finding your wet rhythm, you should try attracting more customers. We're stocking shelves. Ah, sorry. 
Potions placed on display won't be sellable, but they will draw in more customers. The more valuable the potion and the nicer the shelf, the more likely you'll see an increase in customers. So basically, now, I can set potions out on the outside to display them. Say, hey guys, guess what? I, uh, I've got all these in my shop. Come in and take a look at it, which will give me more valuable customers to sell more potions to. Win-win. Ruse likes them sassy. I don't like anybody or anything, uh, but I could see the appeal in all people. All of the characters in this game are incredibly appealing, and it's kind of frustrating, actually. Like, Mint's earnest charm and, like, genuine, naive, like, wonder for the world and fucking, like, Quinn's just full-on gremlin douchebag energy and and uh, whatever. Uh, Roxanne's, like, whew, Roxanne knows what she's got. <laughs> Muck Tuck's fucking pumped up energy. Let's go. I mean, even wannabe Gerard isn't too bad. Bisexual panic the game? Damn straight it is. All right, let's, uh, you know what? Let's get a good, let's put in some effort to make nice smelling potions here. Uh, hmm, how, hmm. Listen, that puts us at 18, which means I actually need to take this. No, hold on. I take this out, take this out, put another one of these in. That puts us at 8, 12, 14, 12. Ah. So now we have a stable balance that gives us a chance of one additional star in completion. It's also a three star minor health potion, has a chance to go up to four star, but it will smell good. I don't know if that's worth it yet. I don't think that's worth it yet. Let's hold off on that. We'll just make a regular health potion because this is going to put it up to three stars and give it a chance at two stars. Even though it doesn't have the good smell trait, it'll still have a really high tier, and that's probably worth it on its own. Shall we do a bit of selling today? Let's do it this way. Do I want to lead off selling? Yeah, I want to lead off selling. You'll find out in just a minute, James. Uh, we're going to have more characters introduced here shortly. Uh, let's start with selling, make a little bit of money, because I definitely need some before I head to the shops for the day. Uh, and I can also brew more potions on the way out, which will be great. Okay, we're already at 8% on that one, because it does have a star on it. Minimally interested. Four shields going immediately into... Ooh, that's annoying. Gain two shield, apply sympathy for one turn. I'll take it. I gotta rework my deck after this. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting no fucking luck. I really want to plant the seed, but I'm not getting any luck on the, that one, so uh, I guess it is what it is. Uh, all right, what are you doing this turn? You're gonna drop by two, drop by three. That puts you at five. If I can, dr if I, if I play this, I have a chance to plant the seed. However. That will drop me to the point where I only get one turn out of plant the seed, so it's probably better to do is set them up, set them up, reel them in, uh, press the attack for an extra card, set them up, and then I'm gonna close it out because they're gonna lose three this turn. Damn, I was too short. Ah, that was a bad play. That's all right. That's all right. Me, me neither, buddy. I got up early to show up on a fucking birthday cake. <laughs> Draw three cards. Ooh, this has a really high opportunity to give me a pl Ah, uh, yes! Plant the seed, baby. Now we just need to hold our ground here. You're going to lower the price of the potion, and that's totally fine. I'm just going to pass this turn. I'm not going to do anything. I could do this, which is a free eight, but it does burn two. And he's already going to burn one. Well, hmm. I don't really need the extra shield as the thing. Let me think. Eight or two is a pretty good trade-off. 
and then eight. Well, I get more value for the one cost by ending the turn immediately. I'm gonna end the turn. There's eight. Next turn will be another eight. I did get leader to call me a bastard, that's true. Set him up, reel him in, would put me at two. I just end my turn, I'd get some stress, but I think the stress is worth it for the eight. Nah, I'm not really a sports guy. I don't watch any sports. Okay, so we get a little stress, that's fine. Set him up, press the attack. I think press the attack, press the attack's the better move than close out. So press the attack, see what we draw. Then again, if I play, okay, hold on. So if I pray, pre, pray, if I play press the attack, I get five. And then I can close out for nine, which is gonna be 14. Or I can play sympathy, which will give me the sympathy debuff, which gives me a 25% increase. Okay, so it's better to press the attack and then close out. So we're gonna do that. Quinn's really carrying us here. Okay, not bad. I'll take that. 49% increase. That's pretty good. No special treatment from me. I insist. I might go for this one if you can sell me on it. Yeah, no special treatment for you is right, buddy. Um, I'll tell you what. How about we set a set him up. We set a sympathy immediately to gain two shield. We hit the press the attack for the extra from the sympathy. And then off. Ooh. Uh-oh. If in your hand at the end of the turn, increase stress by one. But I do have a shield, so I should be fine on that. Damn, on a 2%, I drew that. On a 2%, on a 2% chance, I drew a stress card. Do you believe in my negative one luck yet? <laughs> uh, damn. This is why I have to plan for every eventuality. This is why I've been flexing my brain muscle like since the day I was born. After I got cursed, I uh, just immediately started thinking, well, I'm gonna have to just pretend like every situation could go wrong and think of everything that could go wrong every time and plan around that as if it is going to happen. Set them up, which is gonna make reel them in better. But to do that, I'm gonna drop sympathy to cancel out the stubborn. And then we'll do a reel them in with the eight that cancels out the stubborn's negative 25%. I could close it out now, which would be nine, which would be enough to put me up to a 13, which is not what I need to get the very interested higher. I think I'm gonna gamble a turn away. No, I can't do that, because no matter what, next turn I'm only going to have one, so I can't play any cards, so I'll have to close it out either way. So we just close it out. Never mind. What were you cursed with? Negative one luck. <sighs> That's all of them for now. That just sounds like anxiety. Anxiety, negative one luck, it's all the same, really. Oh, enough stars to make it a... Yes, we upgraded it. Yeah. We're so fucking good at this game. Woo! Okay, more health, but... Wait a minute. I should get more. I should get more man mana potions. We're really low on mana potions right now. And sometimes those are worth more. So we're going to do that. It's going to cost... Ooh, did it does take three. Hold on. Good luck, Leah. Hmm. I'm debating. I'm debating. I've already been streaming for two and a half hours. Man, I really want to get to the first boss on this stream. I wish I had some fuel. I'm going to brew this. Okay, so we're okay on gold right now. So the plan for the day is I'm going to brew this. I'm going to go out. I'm going to hang out with some people. I'm gonna increase some relationship. I'm gonna do some shopping and burn some time out there. And then I'll come back with exactly this much time left so I can brew one more set of potions before I go to sleep. So it'll be a brewing day and a selling day tomorrow. Okay. Easy peasy. Funny luck is good, Luke. That's a good thing. Oh, let's fix our deck real quick. Pump up! Bucktog hopes that his enthusiasm for his crafts is persuasive and that Sylvia will choose to make use of his creations. Mm. 
Ah. Hey, Elira. 50% increase isn't bad at all. Um, things I've had enough of include... I still like set them up and reel them in, but I don't feel like I need that many of those. I think I'm gonna do a pump up. Well, I need some really hard hitters before I do pump up. I'll instead do Baptiste. Baptiste, as a noble, has asked for Sylvia's insight to help him better under understand the accommodators in his employ. That's a good card. That's charming looking. It's very good. Someone recolor that as Gerard. That's so Gerard Court hurts. So the potions in the window cannot be used for anything other than being in the window until I take them out of the window. I think I like Captivate. It also costs zero, which is always good to have in your deck. Zero cost cards, nothing wrong with those. Um, otherwise, I think I like my deck. Okay, I think I'm going to save an exit. Mint first. Mint, I know you died on your last quest. Sorry about that. I made some progress, but the monsters got the best of me. Woo! We got some imp stool mushrooms! A standard toad stool that's a bit on the small side. 4B, and it gives a good feeling. Oh, it feels, it's got a good mouth feel, that potion. Unless it's the type of potion you rub on your skin. Maybe it's like a salve. Do you want to hang out with you today, Mint? Do we want to keep pushing Mint's uh, personality or no? Or pu push our relationship with Mint, or push our relationship with Quinn, or push our relationship with Baptiste, or Muck Tuck. Hmm. Yes, nah, yes, Quinn, Mint, yes, Muck Tuck, yes to all. I, I don't know if I could do all. Baptiste, his cards are neat. Baptiste does have really cool cards. Mouthfeel? You you mean texture, right? No, I mean mouthfeel. I said what I said. Okay, everybody seems really torn right now. Um, You know what? Let's... Hold on. I need to think. Let's start. Let's, let's try to maximize our time. If I send Mint out on an adventure now... That means Mint will be back after a certain time period, right? So I could send Mint out now. One health potion is 21 HP. That's two, five, seven, 10, 15. That's enough to survive on one potion, which is actually pretty wild. Um, So really all I need now is just a single mana potion, right? That's five, perfect. Two potions, easy. Easy as that. Uh, test. It'll only take one turn for that, meaning I can hang out with somebody else and come back. What does the black void where your heart used to be say? Um, it says... Roxanne! Or... Mint. Or Quinn. Or Bapti... Oh, oh, oh no, it's too much. It says too much. It says too much is what it says. Um... Anyway, let's go. Get out there. I'll come back for you. That answer is nothing. I know. Baptiste, how did my investment go? The quest was a success. Here are the spoils. Woo! We got a frog leg, baby. And that is a rare flesh ingredient. See how it's blue? That's rare tier. It's 24 C Magimans. 12 D, but it does look ugly. It makes your potion look gross. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a classic. Unless you leave it out in the sun. Oh, that's right, I have gifts. Fuck, I could have been gifting these people. Uh, Fairy Flower Bud, 12A, smells nice. Okay. You probably want something the peasants would like, right? Because you want to fit in with the peasants. Do you like like a slime? It's nice enough. No, uh, it wasn't as nice as I hoped. Okay, well, um, let me invest in you. All right, we can get a Hydra Vertebrae, which is never let it be said that the Swamp Serpent is spineless. Uh, Manworm Root or a Sack of Hive Slime. Uh, 10, 10, 35 is a lot. Is it that good? Oh my God, it has A, B, and C and nines and no downsides. Wow, no wonder that's so expensive. Yeah, I'll invest in that. Fuck yeah, I will. See you later, Daffy. Uh, hanging out with you would take time. 
But I don't have any, uh, I don't have any Baptiste cards yet. You know what? Let's give Baptiste a chance. Let's get to know Baptiste just a little more. I want to get everybody up to at least one so far. Snipe hunt, huh? Okay. Let's track down this creature. Hands-on management. Various heroes have complained to Baptiste that a magical pest called a snipe has been spotted in the suburb or shrubs lining the training yard. Baptiste takes the task very seriously. He rifles through the bushes until his hands are pink with irritation and scratches. Sylvia notices a few heroes snickering on the sidelines, and she begins to suspect this whole thing is a wild goose chase. She doesn't have the heart to break it to Baptiste, so despite the futility of the hunt, she pulls her gloves tight and works right alongside him. Quite the elusive beast. Well, we'll find it next time. Sylvia feels a little closer to Baptiste and mildly less stressed. He really is Gerard. I'll be back to hang out with you and hang out with uh, Muck Duck later. Let me just go finish my quest here. His loser boy ways have captivated me. He's so pathetic. How could I resist? <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, gold tier. Three in A, B, and C. The slime's more shapely cousin is known for its indiscriminate eating habits. Hell yeah, we got a cubic ooze. We also got a river pixie shell. Abandoned dwelling of an upwardly mobile water fairy. Damn. Eight, uh, four and four, no downsides. That's just, if I just had a bunch of these, that would be free potions. Free health potions with no downsides. Uh, oh, wow, we got fuel. Cool. That was lucky. You probably also like slimes, right? Because that's adventurer shit. Here. Hell yeah, she does. Wow. Thanks so much. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go see what we got for sale over here real quick. Can Quinn eat wood? I doubt it. Yep, we're going to give some things to Quinn. So let's expand our repertoire. Smart thinking, Sylvia. Oh, purple eyes. Okay, so those will be in Quinn's stock now. And because I fed Quinn yesterday, they have a brand new set of things permanently available now. So this means I can always buy this flower to increase smell, which is great. Nothing's on sale today, which is a downside, but I do need to start grabbing things with higher amounts of Magimans so I can get higher tier potions soon. Welcome in, Carmezzi. Hmm. Okay. There's really no downside to just buying out everything that's low tier that doesn't cost a lot. I should probably wait on some of these, though. Are they really bad? They lower a percentile value, which can be pretty bad. It's not the end of the world, but it's annoying. You could counter it, though, by adding something that counters it. So, for example, if I put a serpent slippery tongue in along with two fairy bulbs, I would actually get something that does not smell bad. This is pretty affordable. Hmm. I really like that this has B and C together at all times, and you could just you could make mana potions out of just dropping these in and nothing else. That's actually really nice. A little pricey, but I'll take it. How about that? I did a thing. Good job, champ. Real proud of you, Quinn. Oh, Sylvia! You brightened my day. So then, what do you got for me? Okay, brand new shelves, I see. Oh, these are upgrades, right? Nope, these are new shelves. Interesting. Uh, mushroom. Oh, these are showcase ones for outside. Cool. Okay, so the Mushroom Meyer Showcase. 10% price increase, additional 5% for potions. 
Huh. I get the feeling Quinn's been banned from everywhere, Hex fan, which is probably why Quinn sleeps on their broom floating like above the city. Anyway, do we want to hang out with Muck Tuck or Baptiste today? I'm thinking, I'm, well, I could probably do both, right? I think I could do both. I'm going to try to do both. Here we go! I'm not doing any sales tonight because the potion's going to take three turns to brew, so there's no shot I can get both in. Uh, no sales. It's a brewing night. I can make time for a fellow artiste. Rafta is indeed strange and delightful. Do you not find it so? In all my many travels, I have seen no place like it. You traveled a lot then. I have, but that is not so unusual for a walrus. Those of us who seek excellence, who pursue mastery in our chosen field, must undertake a great pilgrimage, and mine has brought me here. Tell me more. I don't know much about walrus culture. Then I shall be glad to teach you. My homeland is a remote place marked by its harsh climate. We are welcoming of outsiders, yet receive few visitors. Hey, -o, Fenrir. And so we take it upon ourselves to send our best and brightest out into the larger world as emissaries and pilgrims. We travelers are charged with a great and holy purpose. We are meant to spread our expertise far and wide, to dedicate ourselves to service in foreign lands as a path to self-improvement and enlightenment. Some of us have devoted ourselves to medicine, some of us philosophy, while others have created artworks of such indescribable beauty, you would weep to look upon them. Have you seen the gates? Of, have you seen the white towers of Gondor? The spires shining gloriously above... <laughs> That's why you're here? To share your artistic talent? You are correct! My pilgrimage has brought me to Rasta's shores, and here I shall remain until I have crafted a masterpiece. See you, Brittany! But to create something more remarkable than the land itself, this will be a challenge. People will tell you that Rafter is a wild place. Chaotic. But in fact, the opposite is true. For this island was built with intention. It was shaped by the hand of a powerful witch. Maven carved out the mountains. She charted the course of the rivers. The very flora and fauna have their own origins in her lab. Uh, I think he'd like the idea of craftsmanship, even though I, I, I would say she had a god complex, right? <laughs> but I think he respects craftsmanship in all forms. So let's say she had the right idea, shall we? She had the right idea. I see the appeal of having a whole island to play with. I do as well. For the grander the canvas, the greater the impact. This, then, is what Rafta means to me. It is a living artwork. Upon its very surface, I see the mark of its maker. I like a guy who... Kn That's a little flirty. <laughs> oh. Are we going to get a little flirty with Muktut? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, we'll just flirt with everybody in town. Fuck it. We'll turn on our Crimson Riz just this once, because I want cards, damn it. Yeah, that's right. Alcariz I'm not above a little bit of... I'm not above a little flattery to get what I want. And what I want is never... <laughs> I, I'm not ever seeking uh, any uh, higher forms of relationship values with people. I just want the cards. <laughs> You've activated my special interest, idiot. Give me those cards. I like a guy who knows what he likes. Very passionate, aren't you? <laughs> I cannot hide my enthusiasm for such topics. And I think that I should not try. Enthusiasm is like love or beauty. It is not diminished when it is shared. Enthusiasm! Raise interest by 16. It does eat up three points, so it's the most expensive card we've ever had, but go! Damn! I'll try to remember that when I'm back at the shop. Routine can make it difficult, I know. But we must do all we can to master, muster enthusiasm for the beauty that is all around us. That is what travel teaches us in the end. To look around with hungry eyes. To truly see a place. And to find joy in all that is different and strange and new. The 
There she is! Right! You are very busy. I understand. Ah, I forgot to give a gift! Fuck! Go back! Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. Thank you, Star Creator. I also respect the way Muck Tuck thinks. I bet Muck Tuck likes minerals, right? Because Muck Tuck's a craftsman. So let's see if we can find something metal to give Muck Tuck. Um, slime, 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 flower. Well, maybe he likes gems. They're beautiful, and he could inlay those and things. Let's try a gem, shall we? Damn it. Not quite. I accept your gift. Ah, well. An okay gift is better than no gift, right? So he probably likes metal. With your departure, the fire dims. I think I forgot to gift Quinn today, too. I think Quinn likes gross things, so Quinn's gonna love this slime. Uh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, okay, pretty cool. Sure, sure, sure. Good luck on an A. I'm going for the infection points! I have to refuse, Sylvia. One gift's more than enough. Oh, I forgot I already gifted you. Okay, let's head over to Baptiste, shall we? Go get him. Gary Oak? <laughs> Smell you later. Why? Uh, you see, welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. My name is Gary Oak's uh, Rizable Granddad. <laughs> Stupid. All right, let's rank him up. Yeah, we're ranking up Baptiste. I trust you don't mind if I multitask. Your arrival can coincided with a package delivery, and mail from the mainland has proven so irregular. I find myself quite eager to see what's inside. I'm curious too. Baptiste rips open his package with the unrestrained joy of a little kid with a birthday present. <laughs> That's kind of adorable, actually. Oh, wow. This little fucking idiot really is the unabashed wannabe Gerard. Or maybe Gerard's a wannabe Baptiste. Hmm. His glee intensifies when he sees it's got this. <laughs> what a piece of shit. That little clap. Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, that's so funny. Would you look at that? My favorite brand of conditioner. You can't find this in Rafter. Oh, and the extra silky dental floss. I do have sensitive gums. This is from my mother. She must have known I'd be missing some of the comforts of home. Oh, that's kind of her. It is. Except now I feel her absence even more keenly than before. Tell me, Sylvia, what's your pedigree? My... what? Your pedigree, your background. Who are your people? Uh, what would he like? He wants to fit in with the peasantry, so saying I come from good stout folk would probably be good. Saying I'm a self-made woman isn't bad either, though, because he wants to make his own way in the world, clearly. Hmm. He does seem like a mama's boy. Yeah, okay, we could say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call, good call. I come from good stout folk. My parents started with basically nothing, but they've worked, their, worked hard their whole lives. They instilled that work ethic in me. So I put myself through college, and now here I am running a business. I love it! Your parents sound like respectable salt-of-the-earth types. My own background is quite different from yours. You don't say. My father is the Duke of Ambervale. He owes his fortune to his shrewd investment decisions. Concerning investments made with somewhat smaller fortune, he inherited from my grandfather, the previous Duke of Amber. Okay, settle down there, silver spoon motherfucker. He just goes to show the only way to be rich is to be born rich. <laughs> Ugh, you would. Anyway, my great-grandfather was a lowly bear- uh! All right, I hate you again. My great-grandfather was a lowly baron, a bit of a black sheep. But my great-great-great-grandfather actually established the very first Heroes Guild. Of course he did. So you're in the family business. That's right. Although it's been some time since any of us really got our hands dirty in the daily operations. My brothers ended up with cushy positions on the continent. They told me I was mad coming here. I say they don't know what they're missing. Lately, I've been thinking it's necessary, even 
desirable to get your hands dirty from time to time. How else can you truly get to know a place? Particularly a place like Rafter. This island is untidy. That's what makes it so fascinating. It filled to bursting with opportunity. <laughs> For riches? Or romance? Wink wonk. <laughs> <laughs> For riches or romance, or even a bit of both. Indeed, there's room in my life for more of each, and I can always use more allies too, particularly among the town's craftspeople. So I very much want you to succeed, Sylvia. In fact, I sympathize with you quite a bit. If you can establish a sort of rapport with your customers, you'll be off to a fine start. Build rapport. Wow, trying to charm them, huh? One month, Rusader. X. Uh, keep up the good work, Rus. You're awesome. Also, nice little voiceover right there. Sounds great. Thank you very much to the Comet King. The king of comments. Man, he really likes building sympathy, huh? Raise interest by eight. Damn. If it's an opener, you apply sympathy for two full turns. Damn. He loves starting strong, huh? He leads off powerful. Sure, I'll even make puppy dog eyes if that'll help open their wallets. Excellent! Now, if there's anything else I can help you with. If not, I should get back to the grindstones. Understand I'm being literal. We just received a large shipment of grindstones, and it falls to me to unload them all. I guess a guild master's work is never done. No, indeed! I wanted to get my hands dirty. Let's hope I don't come to regret that impulse. Damn, doing it all yourself, huh? Here's a gift, butt. I'm spoiled enough as is. Oh, I guess I already gave Maul's gifts. Okay, back home. Let's go collect our potions and start our next brew. Oh, shit. It auto ends the day? Oh, I didn't get to collect my brew and start a new brew. Blah. Hey there. Grindstone in all by yourself, handsome. Wink, wonk. He's got the right work attitude, so I, yeah, he does seem like he's got the right energy. He's just... He just was raised differently, and he's got to work around his background. But he's trying his best. You must have questions about your uncle. How he lived. How he died. <sighs> Where he hid his valuables. I'm afraid you're out of luck there. The shop was all he owned. He put everything he had into it. And not just his money. He put his whole heart into this place. If that's true, then why did he go out to explore the island? That's what happened to him, right? He broke the cardinal rule of potion making. He went out delving for his own ingredients. He should have stuck to the counter in the cauldron and left the dangerous work to the professionals. To be fair, I'm pretty certain he'd do things differently if he could. You have to remember, Rafta was basically a ghost town when your uncle arrived here. There were fewer heroes around, which meant fewer resources. So even basic ingredients were costly. He had no choice but to go out and forage from time to time. His mistake was in how far he traveled. He wasn't content to just pluck magic mushrooms in the forest. No, he was too bold for that. Too ambitious. Bye, Emily. Good luck. In fact, your uncle would not be happy with anything less than an expedition to Maven's castle. The haunted, crumbling citadel that was once home to the Witch Queen herself. See, that just sounds super dangerous to me. Oh, indeed. Everyone knows Maven's castle is a dangerous place. It's located at the heart of an ir irradiated disaster zone full of twisted creatures. The greater the danger, the greater the loot. So Oswald was hoping to find some kind of edge out there. A way to make his potion stand out. That's right. It was a desperate decision and made under great distress, but if you think about it, it was a rather daring plan. Your uncle... He blazed a trail into the poisoned heart of this perilous land. Bolstered by potions of his own making, he overcame serious dangers, fighting, sneaking, and bribing his way to the cursed sanctuary of a tyrannical madwoman. Uh, at least, we can assume that's what happened before he, uh, died. Could he still be out there somewhere? Maybe he's alive and waiting to be rescued. Nope, he's dead. Uh, definitely dead. Super dead. <sighs> I guess if Helena's soul binding is as foul -proof, uh, foolproof as you said it is, she would know if you were alive. It's a shame. I was a little uh, I was little when he moved here, so I never really knew him. Not really. But he remembered every birthday. 
He bought me my first Easy Mate cauldron, actually. I always sort of felt like I was following in his footsteps. Now more than ever, hmm? I mean, here you are. You remind me of him, you know? Yeah, I'm sure the pal Paul of Doom hanging over my head makes for a striking resemblance. I meant it as a compliment. Well, we're burning money, but it's okay. We're gonna get there. Next day. Oswald, Oswald, and Sad Owl, O W L S A D. Oswald's a sad owl. I've already listened to Hamilton. It wasn't bad. Uh, I'm not big on musicals, but I've heard a few. They're okay. No, we're not rizzing up our owl uncle. Uh, this, this isn't that kind of game. You do not riz up family members. You can't get closer. You can get a better relationship, but no rizzing. Now that the shop is up and running, you might think you know what to expect. But customers will find new ways to keep you on your toes. You'll probably have some of them asked to place a custom order soon. Oh. Like when I would order two dozen donuts in advance. Or an ice cream cake. Or both. Man. I miss having disposable income. Focus, would you? Because this could help with your cash flow, cash flow concerns. Custom orders allow a customer to submit a request for a specific combination of potions. But you have a choice as to whether you'd like to take the job or not. Accepting the request gives you an opportunity to sell multiple potions at once, as well as giving you time to gather whatever ingredients you need for the brew. Hmm. Sounds smart to me. I'll see what people come up with, uh, come up with and go from there. Excellent. Now, if only I could stop thinking about donuts. Damn, I also miss disposable income. <sighs> Gerard better pay us soon. <laughs> All right, so spa day. Oh, new stuff too. <clears throat> Here we go. The sudden popularity of hallucinogenic mineral baths has caused a run of uh, run on minerals and mushrooms of all kinds. Fungus ingredients cost more mineral. Oh God, that sucks. Fungus and minerals cost more. Damn. <sighs> Bye, Hex fan. Oh no, minerals are less. Woo! Safe. Okay, here we go. The Undercastle, a sunken fortress has been rediscovered beneath the muck of the mire. This promises to be a dank and dirty dungeon delve. Increased value for poison cure. Oh, I don't have any poison cures. Maybe I could burst some. The Mushroom Mire has stronger monsters and better loot. Damn! I, if I could get mint out there, this could be good. This could be good. Hmm. Harvest Festival. In Rafto, the traditional celebration of agricultural bounty is marked by joyful indulgence and decorative gourds. Increasing customers. Haggle customers will start with Sympathy Diba. Woo! That's really awesome. Increased value for basic po- God! Damn, that's good! Let's go. I have so many basic potions. We're five days out for the competition. If you don't have a game plan yet, now's the time. I strongly recommend brews of at least common quality with three stars or better. Remember, upgrading your equipment in the store will be key to success. I know, I know. Thank you. Give me my potions. Give me money, please. Bottle those bad boys up. Oh, oh. Woo! Let's go! They're worth a raw 90. Not bad at all. Let's see what we've got in our in our repertory here. We're definitely gonna start boosting things a bit. Uh hmm. It's not quite good enough. Should I save up for having two more crystals? Hmm. Think. Think. Two wouldn't be enough to boost this to the next level because I would need 60. I would only put it up to 48. Hmm.
<clears throat> okay, we're off balance here. And now we're off by four still. Uh, okay, what if I take one of these out, put another one of these in, and then we're off by two. So we're getting close. We're not quite there. And then we go up by 20. Two, that in. It's 14 to 18. It's close again. Still not quite there. It's annoying. Oh, there we go. I mean, I think I'll do this and see how this goes. We don't have to max out the ingredients necessarily. I could put this in. Oh, no, because I lose it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, here we go. B. Aha! And it'll feel good and smell good. Night, Estrella! Nice. My brain is massive. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're gonna start our day with a little bit of selling to get some spare change, because we are very, 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 very low on money. Um, now, common potions are gonna do way better today, so I think we sell as many common potions as we can. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's try this. Shut up, you. Oh, plant the seed. Starting right off in sympathy for the plant, which will put it up to 10. Woo! Oh, what a start. Bop, bop. That's juicy. That's a juicy potion. I mean, it's free. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Anyway, next. Okay. I could captivate. Oh, if he didn't have this debuff, I could have captivated to save this one, but I can't now. Um, so the question now is, do I want to set him up, press the attack, or s press the attack five, set him up four. Press the attack, give me another card. I can captivate to increase by two. So if I lead with this, I go up to four. I press the attack to draw one, and then I set him up to do another four. And then I close out to do nine and increase the value by five. Boom! See you, Muse! Bam, bam, 137. Yes, I am a, I am a, a, a mastermind of e economics. I am the potionomics king. What the hell just happened? I hope the heroes make use of this place. I got a good feeling about this potion. Okay, dude, uh, let's set them up. And then we're going to scheme them. Ba -ba -da -ba. No knock them down. Bummer, but we do have a plant the seed. Let's try this first. Oh my god, let's try this next. Oh my god, let's try this next. Can I survive one more turn if I just end the turn? Let's see, four. Yes, I can. But I'll get an annoyed debuff. Ooh. Captivate though. Ooh, I did have the set him up hookup for this. Hmm. This is eight. This is nine. Captivate could save me some trouble though. Let's try captivate first. So that's six. I could reel him in and end my turn if I wanted. How much shield are you gonna get? It doesn't say. Another eight's a little too hard to pass up.
We're almost maxed out. Ooh, but that four shield's probably gonna fuck us. Bummer. Unless we captivate. That's four again. Okay. And then I keep my guard up, which is two. God, I have one more patience. Oh, to have one more patience would be so good right now. Okay. And now we do nine plus eight is 17. We just maxed them out all the way to the top. And we're doing it with the closer, which gives another 5% at the end. So we're going to add a 13% on top. And then we add a 5% on that 13%. That's 149 gold. Let's go. Maxed out. Perfect play. I love mornings. So much possibility ahead of us. I think I not, might need something special. Oh, you want to do it? Okay, you're adding a request in. Two mana potions and no changes to any of the smell or cider sounds. Mint's been hitting the gym, and the gym's hitting back. She's a post-workout pick-me-up. Okay, 180 gold's pretty good for two mana potions. I'll take that. And they're low, low tier. I knew I could count on you. Do you think this potion will give me a boost? And you're buying. And on a 1% roll, I drew a stress card on my first turn. Holy shit. Whoo! All right. Uh, well, I got to make use of my turn one reel them in. Do I want to close this so I don't get more stress? Nah, I'm going to play it out. I'll take the stress. I hate to, uh, I hate having to choose before dinner. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. I could plant the seed. I can get 10 now in two cards, or I could plant the seed and buy time. Plant the seed. Cooking, I'm cooking, my brain's cooking. Hold on. I'll lose four this turn. That's a lot. I'm gonna s no, if I set him up. I'm gonna end my turn for the extra eight from Plant the Seed. Did I mention I got six active quests right now? Sorry, I know you're anxious to get to questing. Okay. And then we do a Captivate to allow me more time to plant. And then I do a set them up, reel them in. Ah, I want a card draw. How, how many? I'm losing five this turn. Okay, we have to close this turn. No time for anything else. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a sympathy into a set them up into a reel them in. Nope, I can't do that. So sympathy would be 25% increase, which would put this up to, wait, would put this up to, we get more out of this. Unfortunately, I don't get to end on a closer, but I make 107. I'll take it. All right. Look out, monsters. Take care. Woo. That's all of them for now. I see you've accepted your first custom order. Yep. I'll write down the details of any custom orders you currently have open. You can also mail the order directly to the client from this list. Thanks, bud. All right. So we need to make some regular mana potions. It's going well, Susu. How are you doing? Yes. Yes! Oh, smells good. Feels good. And it's a, a tier two potion. That's money. That's money right there. Um, Let's make some mana potions, shall we? I only need some cheap tier two mana potions. Or tier one mana potions. I really don't need anything at all. Uh, so I'm just going to drop that in there. And uh, we're just going to hit the... Hit the gas on it? No. I think I'm just going to brew it, right? Or, let me think for a second. I could, I could, hold on, check this out. What I could do is I could take 
this out. I could brew another health potion or something short. Let's take, find something that doesn't take that long to brew. Does he say, do they say how long they take to brew? No. Hmm. I have no D yet, so I need A and C. A, C, A, C, A, C. Okay, these only take two to brew, so we're gonna brew some of these, right? Uh, and then I'll brew the mana potions overnight, since that takes three turns, and it'll waste less of my time. So now, I could arrange those really, really, really good potions out front. There we go. And then I could sell these at a markup since these potions are on demand at the moment. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. And I'll skip out on... Uh... No, you know what? I'll, I'll do the shop. I'll start my next potions, which is gonna be my mana potions, and then I'll go out into the town and buy some ingredient stuff. Cool, cool. I waved you on the street yesterday, but I guess you didn't see me. Oh yeah, did you just get out of the anime convention too, buddy? No hug for you. Oh, we do. Oh, where's my hug? Yeah, that's how. Where's my hug? Energy, get out of here. I have my doubts. I thought I'd at least ask about this one. You piss me off, bro. And so I'm gonna smack you down while we still have sympathy. Let's go. Boom! I guess artistry is dead. Shut the fuck up. I'll captivate you. <laughs> Simply captivating. I'll block that too stress for my sympathy. Hmm. I think we're going to close it out on this turn either way. So let's do that and get a new card. See what we feel like. Okay, we can do another press the attack. Okay, we got attention, which we don't love. We're just gonna close it out here. Boom, bam. Not bad at all. We're making some really good money. Oh, a high tier merchant. Wait a minute, this guy's decked out. He's probably got money, right? I ran into a hero who had the nicest things to say about this shop. I have a request if it isn't too much trouble. Can you help make my party unforgettable? Ooh, these are all minor. I can do these. Yeah, 295? Yeah, I'm in, dude. You got it. Very kind of you. This one looks nice. What are you asking for it? Oh, I'm asking, all right. Uh... I end my turn, I get 10. That is a two cost, but it is while I still have sympathy. I think it's worth it. I'm going to save the scheme. I'm not going to burn that. Then again, if I get a really big one on scheme while I have sympathy still. Ooh, that's a tough one, but I want to make use of the plant the seeds. So I think I'm going to end the turn. We get 10 from plant the seed, and then I just need to buy time and add more sympathy. Mint's promoting the shop? I sure fucking hope, hope so. Um... Set them up. Reel them in. Okay. Uh. Okay. In turn. What do you got? Okay. So I have two points with which to get him to... Do I have any closers here? No. 
Okay, so my best bet here is to play press the attack and pray a closer comes, because that'll put us at five extra, which would be 18, and then nine on top of that would be the end. Here we go. Close it out, baby. Maxed out, played perfectly. There we go. 20%, 85%, 133. Boom. Are the battles in this on a timer? Nope, you can think as much as you want, Intra. No special treatment for me. <laughs> I insist. I might go for this one if you can sell me on it. Uh, you've been showing up a lot lately, buddy. You got something you want to tell me? Is something going on I should know about? Ugh. So the problem you'll notice with stress is that it's a cascading issue. The more stress cards you get, the more stress you get. Because it adds on at the end of the turn if it's still in your hand. Which is brutal. Um, Captivate. Buy some time. Okay. Maybe you could bring on a consultant. Hmm. Uh, we'll meet new people in just a bit, Miss Mercurial. They're still holding on to a few of them. Let's press the attack here. Okay, this is a weak turn. That's good. Oh my god. Fuck! Ah! All right, that's fine, I guess. Uh, I could close it out. Save myself the stress. On an 8%, I have drawn five stress cards and just this, uh, just this Baptiste interaction alone. Damn. And I'm out of close it outs. I think I only have three in my deck, so I either need to close it out now uh, let's see. I think I'm still better off trying to get him up to a 15% increase. I'll just close it out. 103 is fine. Ah, happiness. I like how it feels. Okay, let's get started on brewing ourselves some mana potions. Um, I actually just made fire tonics, which is great, because that means I'm, I think I'm done with one of my orders already on accident. These don't have to be good, so I'm just going to brew them. Boom. Done. Give me my fucking money! Let's go. All right, now I just need to make sure I get that order filled in for mint and we'll be ready to rock. That's really, we're doing really good right now. Actually, this is like a really, really, really strong start. I feel like, um, let's start off by going to mint. I think. Yeah, we'll go to mint. A gift for you, mint. What do you like? Uh, you probably don't give a shit about gems. Obviously, you don't care about slimes, because I tried that. Do you like flowers? Why would you like flowers? I mean, maybe. Fungus? Well, let's try gems. Nope. There's no such thing as a bad present. That wasn't it. I can rank you. Ooh, you're tempting me, Mint. You're tempting me, Mint. Fuck! I'm gonna send you on an adventure. You know I'm game. Ooh, zero damage, two damage, two damage. Ooh, nine damage though, holy shit. Uh, that is not enough. You are not gonna live that. Maybe not. That fire tonic's doing work though. 
Uh... Ooh, one HP. One HP in a dream. Let's do it. Get out there, Mint! All right, hammer time! Head over to Baptiste. Here we go. The quest was a success. Here are the spoils. All right. We didn't get any rare ingredients, but it doesn't seem like we uh, fucked up the environment at all either. Here is a... I don't fucking know what you want. You don't want slimes. Do you want flowers? You probably don't want flowers. Bones? Bones are kind of... Kind of metal. I may regrift this just to keep morale up. You understand. Okay, so it's not bones. He does not like bones at all. Got it. A figment palm. Grown in the desert oasis, this small fruit might be too good to be true. A bog beet. As root vegetables go, this one's basic, but don't beat yourself up about it. And a rot fly larva, which apparently tastes delicious, by the way. Grown in the freshest corpses for that plump, juicy quality. Well, I can afford some pretty rare ingredients right now. So, I think I want to go for, apparently this makes it sound really good. This is really strong. Oh, 40% chance is pretty rough. But I want the rare ingredients to feed the Quinn, so. Come back with quite the tail. I'm sure. Muktuk, I'm bringing you a gift. Uh, Muktuk does not want gems, which is a bummer. Muktuk must want medals. Actually, let's go to Quinn first, see if we can buy some medals. Jojo Voging, hell yeah, baby. Serving up those poses, those looks. We meet again. Hey, eat this. Smart thinking, Sylvia. Dude, the music here is kind of sick at night. This is nice. Should have some for sale starting tomorrow. You like gross shit, right? Do you want to... You, you like slimes, right? Sure do. This is pretty cool. Ooh, these are on sale. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't mind if I do. What else is on sale today? Uh-uh-uh. Nothing! Do you have any metal I can buy? I forget if I ever sold you any metal. I did not, which means I've got nothing to give. Ugh, I want metal. I want metal or a mineral or an ore. Wait, this is a mineral. <gasps> I can give him this. Yes. Yes. Mm, nothing's on sale, which is a bummer. These have really good A quality. They're pretty expensive, though. Oh, Shinri, you would love this game. I'll show you some of the characters real quick while we're hanging out. Uh, but right now, this is Quinn. Uh, they're really cool. They, uh, they remind me of myself being a little bastard all the time. I'm gonna grab this. So basically the concept of this game is you're running a dilapidated potion shop and it is part card battling system to negotiate prices, part romance game, trying to get people to like you more. Uh, and you know, you get better decks cause you pull cards from their decks by romancing them and part um, sales game slash math game by combining potions with different ingredients. It's a lot of fun. Would recommend. I think it's definitely up your alley. Uh... 230 is a lot. Maybe I'll just buy five for now. Ah, I might wait for those guns. I might wait for them to go on sale. That's like a lot. These are really good though. 16 isn't bad at all. And there's only two available. Let me go show you some of the other characters since we're here. Do we want to, all right, who are we rank it up first of all? That's what we need to know. I, I, I can rank up Quinn. Uh, I actually I think Quinn's my only option because I have to rank up somebody to bring Mint back. So do we want to rank up Quinn and rank up Mint as well? Okay, let's start with Quinn. So, Quinn, let's rank you up, gamer. If you really don't have anything better to do. 
I'm just gonna, uh, I'm, spoiler, I'm just voicing Gwen with my own voice because I'm lazy and they're the most, uh, most ruse-coded one here. <laughs> I was surprised you agreed to hang out. And here of all places. Yeah? Why is that? <laughs> I get the feeling this would maybe fluster the poor little, poor little thing quite a bit. But this one, this one's funnier. Then again, flustering could be funny too. Okay, I, I say this with a disclaimer. Quinn is very ruse coded minus being flusterable because I am not. Uh, moving on. It's sort of romantic, the two of us walking along the shore. Yeah, it's either romantic or an opportunity for the perfect murder. Maybe both, whatever. Pay attention, we're here on a mission. You're probably pretty strong, right? Uh, what? All that stirring's gotta be good for the upper body strength. Oh, okay. Now I'm worried. Relax. It's not a big thing. You notice all those pirates over there with the pointy ears and the cute little noses? I'm supposed to meet with one. He's got a rare ingredient for me. At least he does if he knows what's good for him. <laughs> I assume this is the answer he wants. I'm gonna answer it this way. You want me to rough him up? Teach him a thing or two? Hey, <laughs> I like the enthusiasm. Let's not escalate though, unless we have to. But you get the gist of the plan. You're the muscle, Sylvia. You're here in case things go wrong. So, just stand here and look tough? Tough and disturbed. Maybe you could twist the head off a teddy bear or something. Don't underestimate the shock factor. It pays to put some fear into him right off the bat. Shock factor. Raise interest by 10. Apply shocked for two turns. If it's your opener, you raise interest by 17 instead. <laughs> you want unhinged? I could do unhinged. Yeah, I figured. Now get your game face on. If things go to plan, you won't have to crack any heads open tonight. But things rarely go to plan. Sylvia watches as Quinn saunters up to a pirate in the distance. The pirate's tail flicks with agitation as they talk. The exchange grows heated. Sylvia tries to puff out her chest, but no one's watching her and she feels somewhat ridiculous. Finally, Quinn and the pirate trade envelopes. Look alive, Sylvia. I think they're onto us. Onto us? What does that mean? They can't catch us both and they'll never take me alive. <laughs> ah, I see Quinn fit has slipped him a fake envelope. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up and evil. I love it. How about that? I did a thing. If you knock down a boss monster in the forest, sure does make a set. Ooh. A river calamari and a unicorn horn. Wow. And more wood. Wow. I got to start burning that wood. Uh, let me roll back over to Quinn real quick and have Quinn eat these and then we'll come back here and we'll try to rank. Oh, no, I don't have the time to rank up. That's a bummer. Hey, eat these. Uh, oh, I should read them. This uh, this small freshwater squid makes its home in the forest rivers and lakes. It's worth 8A, but it does make it painful to eat the stuff. Um, and the unicorn horn is ethically sourced by the pure of heart. Makes it taste bad, but it gives you 8C. All right, time to head home. Ah, solitude. Halfway there. There, I hope. All right, we got four days left. We can do this. So I need to bring... I need to bring a tier two tonic all the way up to level three. A tier two tonic all the way up to level three and a tier two... So two tier two potions and one tier two tonic, huh? I can do that. I can do that. Prepare only your strongest potions. Potion seller, please. I I'm going into battle and I require your strongest potions. You're not fit for my strongest potions. My strongest potions aren't fit for a beast, let alone a man. Would it be weird to have ramen for breakfast? Hell no, it wouldn't. <gasps> Is that my what? <laughs> Is that my evil wife? There she is. Where else would I be? The way I've heard it, all over town. 
I have to admit I'm impressed with what you've accomplished. Still on track to enter that competition, are you? I had my doubts, but you've proven me wrong. Well, thanks. That's big of you to admit. Oh, nonsense. It's obvious to anyone how hard you're working. The bags under your eyes tell the tale. I know you're busy, dear, but there's always time for a bit of self-care. I... What? That came out wrong. Forgive me. I only meant to say you look utterly haggard. I know what you're doing, Roxanne. This isn't gonna work. If anything's haggard around here, it's your mean girl routine. Well, I certainly don't have to stand here and be insulted. I have work to do. It just so happens that I'm in the business of putting you out of business. Damn. Celebrity Crush. Following rumors that celebrity bard Zidriel has relocated to Rafta, townsfolk have taken to the streets in hopes of a sighting. I have more customers. When it rains, it spores. Accomplished uh, weather witch Sunny Drizzle has sent her, or lent her talents to the Heroes Guild, bringing rain, humidity, and new abundance to the Mushroom Mire. The mushroom Mire has increased loot drops, and the ingredients cost less. That's big. I love that. All right, so let's get started with our potions. Brr. Zidriel. That's pretty good for a trash tier potion. I barely put any of the ingredients in. All right, let's go ahead and get started with finding out whether or not I have what it takes to make a high tier health potion or a high tier mana potion. So... What does that make? Oh, a sight enhancer. Interesting. It's not bad, but 12's better. The devil works hard, but Ruse works harder. Ah, oh, so close. I could have got that to five stars. I could have had the chance to, ah, damn. I already finished up the uh, special order for the rich dude, so no worries there. Still, this will make it smell nice, so this might be worth making just to have it. But then I'd be out of fairy flower buds. Yeah, I could throw in one in that just has really high uh, base values, and that would give me a lot of extra points, basically, while offsetting the potential for higher stars. So like, for example, if I threw this in, it automatically jumps up to a common health potion, but it does unbalance the Magimens, which means I only get a chance of one extra star, which would only put it here, and that's not enough. I think I'm going to do this for extra money. These will sell well. Anyway, let's complete our order for mint so we can make a little extra cash on the side and hopefully make mint like us a little more possibly. Oh. Huh? I thought I... Didn't I just brew potions? What? I, I could have swore I brew, brewed mana potions overnight. Oh, it only made one. Oh. Huh. Well, my bad. The more you know. All right. Well, uh, I've got nothing to do other than sell, but I can't sell yet because I don't have enough stuff. So I guess I'm going to head out into town, right? Uh, I'll focus on grabbing ingredients. Hey, you found me. I did indeed find you. Let's rank you up uh, and keep it moving, shall we? I do still have one on the shelf. That's true, but nah. 
let's just focus on uh, getting some uh, relationships up, getting new cards. I swear I stepped in every puddle on the way over here. And half the chewing gum. That's something they don't tell you about city living. People just drop their gum wherever they want. Oh, but don't listen to me, Sylvia. I'm just in a mood today. Uh, no harm done. You want to talk about it? I'd rather do something. That's why I asked to come over. Is the fire under your cauldron getting hot? Sure. You want to brew some potions? I was thinking more along the lines of comfort food. Let's bake. While Sylvia gets the fire going, Mint dusts the countertop with flour. There are people in this town who have no co uh, who have no cookies, Sylvia, and that's an injustice I cannot allow to continue. Mint plops a massive cookie dough onto the counter and begins flattening it with her hammer. Sylvia almost asks whether that's sanitary, but she decides she doesn't really want to know the answer. Once the cookies are baking, Mint exhales in relief. You seem to be working out some aggression on that dough. <sighs> a little bit, yeah. The thing is, and I hate to admit this, after working so hard to get there, or get here, but I'm struggling to find my place in the guild. What if I never fit in? So don't try to fit in. Be your own person. Be cringe. Be free. It's all you, baby. So don't try to fit in. Carve out your own space. I'll have to make room for you. Say, that was basically my whole motto back home. It's somehow harder here, though. I'm not used to second-guessing myself. But I'm also not used to being surrounded by actual honest-to-goodness heroes. Some of whom are legends, doing the best work of their careers. We're all competing for the same qu quests, same loot. Talk about intimidating. I've wanted to join the guild since I was a little kid, but nothing in my childhood prepared me for this. I want to hear what sort of adventures you had as a kid. That's the thing, though. My hometown was way too quiet for adventures of any kind. We didn't even have a local chapter of the guild. The nearest heroes were leagues away. I read everything about them I could get my hands on, from dusty library tomes to trashy gossip magazines. I hounded every bard in town to sing the ballads until I'd memorized their exploits. The more I knew, the easier it was to daydream that I was one of them. So you were the kind of kid who had her head in the clouds. Literally. I was always looking out for dragons. But the whole area was monster free. No matter how hard I looked, I never found gremlins in the cookie jar or slimes in the shrubs. I couldn't even find any side quests. The closest I got was the time old man Harwell's walking stick broke. I had to track down some tape. And that's what passed for excitement back home. So, yeah... I'm feeling a little bit out of my depth here. But I've come up with a plan. I think it's a good one. <laughs> oh, cute and clever. Oh, cute and clever. The whole package. Nah, I'm just a tank. And tanks face problems head on. So, let's hear this out. Like all the best plans, it's simple. Every hero has the tools of the trade. And every famous hero I read about as a kid had a famous weapon. Wielding a one-of-a-kind legendary weapon's a surefire way of proving I deserve to be here. I mean, let's find you a hammer, baby! Or you don't need a legendary weapon. But I don't think she's ready to hear that yet. I don't think she's ready for the part of her character development to be like, you are the legendary weapon, Mint. It was you all along. So let's get you a hammer. Let's get you a hammer. Something epic. That is certainly my weapon of choice, but I may have to take whatever I can find. There aren't enough legendary weapons to go around. Everyone that's, uh, everyone that's accounted for has been claimed. However, plenty of weapons have gone missing over the years. Some of them right here on this island. They're out there, waiting to be discovered. I got I just gotta track one down. A great labor to win my place among the legends. Speaking of great labor, I should get back to work soon. But I have to say, I like this plan. Me too. I'm confident I got the skills to search for legendary loot and battle beasties at the same time. Fight, up, fight off enough slimes and you learn to let muscle memory guide you. Same for haggling with customers, probably. Muscle memory. Zero cost, raises interest by four, for free. Damn. I'm definitely picking up some good moves. You and me both. Let's show everybody what we got. Starting with these cookies. They smell ready to me. Yo! For free? For free. That is an OP card. All right, get out there. I've got nothing to give you. Sorry. Have fun. I probably should have given her a gift. Whoops. Oh, well, I'll do it when she comes back. 
The quest was a success. Here are your spoils. Ooh, we did get our rare ingredient. Golemite. This mineral only grows on the surface of a long neglected golem. 40 total Magimins, 18A, 12B. That's what we've been waiting for. This is what's going to give us our uh, high tier health potion, I think. 18B and 6C. That's not bad either. 24 total Magimins. All right, we got this. Hey, buddy, you don't seem to like gems. You don't seem to like slimes. Would you want plants? Would you want a flower fruit? Okay. From a certain angle, I quite like it. I mean, that's not bad. Let's invest while we're here. Ooh, swamp octopus. Wash thoroughly before use. 24A. Mm. Ooh, desert metal. That's a pretty good ore. It gives a good feel in 12B. 12B and no downsides. So it's not bad. I've already got this. I think this is pretty good. Damn, it's expensive, though. I mean, no wonder. I want that swamp octopus, too, though. Ah, just keep moving. We'll come back with quite a tail. Fare thee well. Bye, nerd. Ah, oh, Sylvia, you brightened my day. Hey, you want a mineral champ? Hell yeah, you do. I accept your gift. Ooh, maybe, maybe. Da -da 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 Being able to put seven ingredients in might be the buff I need. How much is this? Only a hundred? I'm going for it. Truly, you have an eye for quality. All right, Muck Tuck, I might be back to raise you up in a minute. We'll see. I do not like goodbyes. Sorry, Muck Tuck. You want a gross little slime? All right, Sylvia. Cheers. You know he's going to eat that slime. Sorry, they're going to eat that slime. I got a bit of everything. All right. Anything on sale today? Yes! That's big sales. That's big sales. Hydra bones? Oh, that's big sales. All right. Let's see what else we got. 8, 8, 4, 4. Not bad. These are cheap. Don't get me wrong. These, these ones are really cheap, which is great, but they both have very bad negative traits to them. Then again, having some on hand... Having some of them on hand would be good for completing orders for potions where they don't care if it's bad or good. Huh. Let's grab some. Just because they're so cheap. Why not, right? <sighs> Those are so good. So expensive, but so good. Give me a second, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Now, let's just buy back up the basics. That's enough for now. All right, so let's see. We're brewing back at the shop. By the time I make it back to the shop, it should be done brewing. So I don't have time to hang out with anybody. We should probably head home. Ah, solitude. 
Yeah, you're right. Blue Gerard might like flowers. That's a good point. Okay, so let's go back to our brew. We gotta brew more mana potions, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Woo! Perfect, and it smells good. Nice. That'll be good to put on the shelves today. What would I get if I put in a bunch of... Wait! Let me return. Hold on. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, bam! Brand new cauldron, baby! We got that glass cauldron. Let's go. Eighteen B and C, huh? I might be able to get that really high tier mana potion going. So if I could do that, and then I do a bunch of C, I need really high tier C. I don't love that this tastes bad. Is there anything that tastes good? I have nothing that tastes good. Okay, that's not good. Oh, I thought that would be a perfect balance, but it's not. Oh, what am I off by? Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Now it's a perfect balance, but I'm one shorter than I want to be. Oh, man. That's a shame. Well, I could gamble. Chance of the potion gaining one additional star, which would be exactly what I need to get it to the final tier here. Hmm. Good luck, Con Bunny. Hmm. Do we gamble on this and try to get the uh, tier two three star potion? I really got to get rocking on it. So I think we got to. I think we got to. I think there's no choice really. I really wish I had some hay. Three burrs is so annoying. Ugh. Okay, let's get back to work, shall we? Bum, bum, bum. How long do I have left on Mint's quest? Uh, two days. So that's more than enough time. I, I could still, I still have time to brew a shitty potion later. Let's go ahead and arrange our potions, and then we're gonna do a bit of shopkeeping. This is worth 82, which makes it worth more than that. Oop. And that goes there, and this goes here, and that goes there, and this goes here, and that goes there. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, cool. And our events today are... Basic potion value increase. Okay, let's open up. Here we go. Welcome back, Strawberry Dreams. Guards up, guards up. Bam, bam. Speed play. Okay. Oh, you gave me fuming. Increase stress by two at the start of Sylvia's turn. I don't think I want that. I think I'm going to do set him up, reel him in, press the attack, and then I'm going to end it. Set him in, reel him in. Press the attack and a closer. No closer, but I did get captivated, which is pretty good. And then, you know what? We just closed the deal. Fuck it. Boom. Give me that 125. No stress. No problem. Bam. Shut up. That guy's so sassy all the time for no reason. I forgot to adjust my deck before this. This sucks. I don't have my freebies. Oh, well. Well, I've got my guard up, so we're fine. He's kind of interested. Mm. Don't have time for plant the seed, really, because his patience is too low already, and he's going to give me a negative three this turn, so I probably have to end on this turn. So we're just going to do a couple press the attacks, try to draw some good cards. Nope, scheme's not going to do it. Uh, sympathy would have been nice earlier. Two shield, it's not bad. But if I end turn, he automatically wins. So we're just going to close the deal. All 
All right, one more. Here we go. Who do we got? Oh, your favorite customer has arrived. This potion. You must tell me about it. Do not make me beg. You are one of my favorite customers. And look, it smells delicious. It feels great to rub on your skin. You're going to love this muck tuck. Let me tell you about this one. Oh, she does have a wand. Wow. You're going to love this one. If you rub it on your muscles when you're done working out, muck tuck, you're going to feel you're going to feel so good. You're going to feel right at home. Set him up. Reel him in. Hit him with an early scheme so I get those three cards while we still have sympathy uh, going on. I'm going to hit him with a captivate. We hit him with another sympathy. Bam, boom, bam. Do I want to close this out? Nah, we got time. I must have this potion or my next masterpiece will suffer. Hit him with a captivate. Boom. Another sympathy. I want to hit another sympathy. Nah, I'm gonna hit him with. I'm gonna hit him with a. Mm. Reel him in to put him up to three. Nice. I have exactly exactly one patience left at the end of this. My forge is cooling down as we speak. Uh, I don't need to hurry. Close it out, baby. Bam! Give me that extra five percent. 53%, not bad. Ah, that is that is a sound deal. Woo, let's go. Haha, <laughs> rub it on your mu- <laughs> What if you rubbed it on your muscles? <laughs> Wink, wonk. Okay, and our potion should be done. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. Come on, please, please, please. Yes, we got that extra one star. So now we're ready for the competition with at least one of our potions. That's one competition potion ready. Uh, that is great to see. I'm happy to hear that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and brew a bunch of regular mana potions now just to have them set. Uh, that does take three. I don't love that that takes three to do. Where does it say how many potions are coming out of this? Oh, by three. Okay. Hmm... I guess that's worth it. See you later, Din. I'm not maximizing my time quite as well as I want to be. I think I'm going to do some shopkeeping here at the end. I think that's our move here, is to uh, arrange our potions and sell more, because these are worth more today than they usually are going to be. And I've still got one for the competition, so we'll hold on to the one for the competition. I'll sell... These are like really good potions. I could put them up on the display to draw in more customers. I'm brewing more potions, so I'll put this up here. Ah, and we'll open up our shop. Welcome back, X fan. Good point, Kinga. Actually, oh, we did attract a higher tier customer. Nice. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll do it. All right, what do we got here? So, it's a pretty bad start to the turn. Nervous, huh? Oh, I draw less cards. That's brutal. I'm gonna brace myself. Real immense as we have the extra points anyway. Uh, I could just close this out and take the money, but I think I still got a lot of play in me. There's 10 patients here. We've got time. We've got a lot to work with. What did I miss? Not a ton yet. We've raised some relationships. We're trying to work our way to the first boss. Captivate for sure. Keep your guard up for sure. Uh, we're gonna hit fuming soon, which is real bad. I'm gonna press the attack here for another card. Reel them in. Because I have so many points to burn. I'm gonna end my turn. And hopefully what I'll do is I'll draw a closer next turn. Because I don't want this to hit me. Hmm. 
I think the move here is sympathy, set him up, close it out. Yep. All right. Not bad. I need to go get myself a drink soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Another new adventurer type. Interesting. Okay, we're getting higher tier adventurers. They're not just a bunch of random peasants anymore. All right, banana. Good luck. How many more days till the first competition? I think four. Three after this one. Oh, yeah. I got you, champ. No problem. Yes, pizza tastes best just out of the oven. No, the human palate isn't built to handle molten cheese. Says you. Hank about my mouth. Oh, you want fire tonic so you can eat the pizza as soon as it comes out of the oven, and then you want a health potion just in case it burned you. Oh, very smart. I like it. All right, so leading off, do we want to captivate or set him up? I think we want to captivate because I don't have a knock him down to apply. Uh, and this will give me more time. And also, he's not giving me any stress, just a shield. So this is a real easy turn for me. How big is the shield going to be, though? Five? Hmm. He's using 100% of his brain with that one. What the fuck? The only good way to use fire potions, right? <laughs> this guy is cooking. That was a heavy hit. That was good. Uh, I really wish we would have gotten it to... This guy is the perfect target for a... Um... Uh, plant the seed. So it's a bummer we didn't get that. Hmm. Ooh, captivate. Lucky. I could do keep your guard up and then try to close it after that. Let's see. Oh, that's not going on. Oh, oh, reel him in. And then we close it. Bam. All right, we didn't max it, but we got close. Almost 200 for one potion. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I'll sort my deck right after we're done here so we don't forget. Oh, hey, good news. I freed up some room in my inventory. I'm sure this will help in my quest. I'm sure of it. Captivate. Captivate. Oh, this is our round. Plant the seed, double captivate. Oh, mint. You poor deer. You're about to pay me a lot of money for this potion. I want you to know that. <laughs> Welcome back, Jade. Oh, all my sun ups are already here. Uh oh. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do this. Uh, all my clothes and mouths are already here, but that's fine. No stress. No worries. I'm not missing a raid right now. You're not. Don't worry. We're going to get you to that raid. But I need to win this first. Uh, set him up. Keep your guard. Keep your guard up. Lead set him up. Drop scheme to burn deck. Reel him in with the eight. Huh. I could do a second reel him in. I could do a keep your guard up. Who knows, Honey Rena? Welcome back, Adane. Oh, yeah, this game's really cool. Recommend, like, 9 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10, at least. Uh, I guess we just have to end it without being able to drop a closer, but that's okay. We still did really good here. Uh, I'll still take that. Close deal. Nice. Look out, monsters. All right, that's everybody today. All right, three days left. I've already got a mana potion. I need to make a fire tonic and a health potion, and I need high tier ingredients to do that. I've got a lot of money stored up currently because I made a lot of money yesterday, even though I lost money today. Um, and I've got a couple custom orders I can get done too. So hopefully, I think we're all set for this, honestly. Hold on, I'm gonna have a little snack. Shin, thank you for being an axle. Bye, Hazel. Good luck. Hmm. 
Mm. Snack. I love the animations in this game. Oh, what's my snack? <clears throat> I'll never tell. <laughs> Hi, Alicia! That... That dirty snake! Who are we talking about? Roxanne! She keeps throwing curveballs at me! Perhaps. Although whether or not wicked intentions are afoot, the local economy is... turbulent. Hi, Yumi! How's it going? Night, James! Hope you enjoyed the game. If we have any hopes of surviving, we must be nimble, versatile, unfailingly vigilant. Vigilant. It'd be easier if I had a room for more cauldrons. Imagine if I could brew more than one type of potion at a time. Of course, if I were making more potions, I'd also want more shelving space. You're right. Carpentry could be a worthwhile investment. As long as you don't blow through your meager profits. Gotta spend it to make it. Only, where do I spend it? Do you know any carpenters? I've heard of one. A witch of great skill who lives at the very edge of the forest. Saffron is her name. Oh, Saffron, my beloved. All right, I'll fly out there and introduce myself. You know, in all my ample free time. And yet you still find time to complain to me. Saffron's got that super car cottage core vibe going perfectly. What the hell? Oh good, I just sold all my mana potions. I'm okay with that. Roxanne's irresistible allure. Roxanne's laying it on thick with the customers and flooding the market with mana potions. Decreased value for mana potions. Fine by me. Oh, detect! Thank you for the five gifted member chips. Um, num, 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 num. Action archaeologist Fedora Jones has discovered an old mine shaft, uh, mine shaft rich with unplundered resources. And creepy crawlies. Gym ingredients cost less. Ore ingredients cost less. Bug ingredients cost less. Holy shit, everything costs less. Fuck yeah, I'm in. I can't wait for you guys to meet the extra characters. There's still like five or six uh, different NPCs, not including the boss NPCs, that you guys need to meet. It's going to be great. Night Detect, thank you for the goodbye chips. Um, yum, yum, yum. Goodbye, green guy. Wow, perfect brew. Not bad at all. They're worth very little. Roxanne is not fucking around with flooding the market, I guess. Uh, let's brew ourselves some health potions, since we have a large amount of ingredients for that. Hold on. Snack time. Nom, 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 nom. Mmm, yummy. Not big on honey butter chips. Mostly because I haven't tried them. I like onions. Mmm, onions. What does that have to do with anything? Shrimpy shrimp? Why, what do you... What, the yummy thing? Oh, you're hungry. I'm making you hungry by talking about snacks. Sorry. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, Con Air, hit me with the soup to go with my chips. Thank you. Mmm, caramelized onions would go so hard. Oh my God, I love caramelized onions. I do not want ketchup chips. Goodbye, mad scientist. Good luck. Mm, yum. Man, bomb chicken noodle soup sounds good, too. Oh, man, stop. You're making me hungry. Go ahead, everybody stop. Everybody stop. Nom, 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 nom. Steak flavored chips? I think so. Yeah, I don't think I like steak flavored chips. 
I want onions, Doritos, uh, bugles, um, cool ranch, uh, sour cream and onion, barbecue, or just regular ass salted lays. I also do not like the ruffles. I do not like the wavy chips. No, thank you. Uh, What a coincidence. I'm always craving steak. Yeah, Pringles are pretty good. Mushroom chips sound okay. Nah, I hate kettle chips. They're too crispy. Oh, Taco from, from the, oh. Oh, hi, I'm Taco. You know, from TV. Thank you for the soup. I hate onion dip. I hate every dip. The only acceptable dip, period, and I do mean period, is salsa, and only if I'm using um, Fritos scoops or uh, Tostitos. Otherwise, I'm not interested. I hate cheese dip. I hate onion dip. I hate whatever else you got going on. Guacamole, disgusting. Spinach and artichoke, gross. No thank you. Queso, not on your fucking life. And the cleanup is horrible. I've never had fondue. I don't want fondue. I do not like restaurant salsa. I like cheap, nasty Tostino salsa. Bring it on, Ella! Not even ranch. Bleh. I don't even like ranch on my salad. You're breaking my heart, Ruza. Sorry about that. <laughs> How dare you disrespect guacamole? You didn't even spell it right. You tell me I'm disrespecting it? How dare you? How dare you, I say? Tartar sauce? What the fuck? Why would you ruin perfectly good fish with tartar sauce? I don't think so. You tear this family apart, Ruza. <laughs> Bring it on. You can't guacamole me into submission. I don't care. Please tell me you dip bread and stuff at least. No, I just eat the fucking bread. I, I, how many times do I have to tell you that I grew up with the fucking like uh, Midwestern Southern Elysium diet? For me, a delicious snack when I was poor and broke and sitting in my house was to ball up a single piece of bread and shove it in my mouth. Mm, I pretended it was a biscuit. What the hell is chimichurri? I don't know what that is. I like chimichangas. Does that count? Yeah, you ball it up. You take a piece of bread and you squeeze it into a ball. So then it seems like you're eating a treat instead of just like really thin bread. If, if You can get big bites out of it, you know? Yeah, nachos are pretty good depending on what's on top of them. Typically, I just like my nachos with like an absorbent amount of ground beef. And I do mean a ridiculous amount. Like, if you put a pound of ground beef down, I want like, I don't know, a, a tenth of that of cheese and like almost nothing else. Like, I'll put little like diced tomatoes on there. If you're getting funky with it, I would accept lettuce, I guess. I don't want any sour cream. I really just want seasoned beef. I just want taco seasoned beef, goddammit. I just want meat. Oh, so in short, you've got atrophy taste buds that can't tolerate any sort of actual flavor. Incorrect, Locust. I, I just do not like nasty things, and uh, I enjoy food for what it is. How do you feel about hot sauce? It's pretty good. I've recently taken to putting a lot of sriracha in my uh, yakisoba and in bibimbap. Guac is nasty. I'm not sorry. Yuck. Do you at least season your meat? No, dude. I just fucking go at it. I just suck that shit. Raw. No, yeah, of course I season my meat. Yes. You don't like putting goop on your food? No. Do you put any sauces on your steak? If your steak needs sauce, you made your steak wrong. You should be fine with just the seasonings you put on the outside when you were cooking it. If you need to put A1 or barbecue with your steak, you didn't make a good steak. Hot sauce is different. <laughs> Food 
is just a vehicle to transport sauce into my mouth? Uh, <laughs> no. No, thank you. Okay, listen. A little sauce is fine. If you really want to fuck around with A1 sauce or barbecue, it's okay. Listen, to each their own. Uh... I guess. It's not my thing, but I get why some people like it. Uh, we're gonna go travel today, by the way. <gasps> you guys wanna go meet Saffron? She's super cottagecore. You're gonna love her. What the hell is gochujang sauce? Gochujang? I've never tried that. I've only ever made bibimbap one way. What I do is I take, uh, I take, um, basically I strip carrots down so they make little strips so they cook better. They make like little ribbons, right? And then I dice onion and I put that in with the carrots and I cook that for a while in like a little bit of, um, sesame oil. And then I take cooled rice and I put that on top and then I do, uh, ground pork and garlic and, um... I pickle scallions or green onions beforehand. Like when I'm making it, I pickle these uh, scallions and then I pour the pickle juice and the scallions on top after I serve it on top of the rice. And then I put sriracha on top of that. So that's that's how I've always made it. Um, I don't know what gochujang is, unfortunately. I've only had it with sriracha, but I would try it. I will always try new stuff. Oh, it's like a chili hot sauce. Oh. Red chili paste. I would try that. That sounds tasty. Do you like ketchup? Depends on what it's on. Entirely depends on what it's on. Let's go eat saffron. More great animations. Oh, it's nice out here. Whoa, a wooden arm. That witch is chill as fuck. Uh, what do you sound like? Uh, uh, she's actually a fawn. I think she has, I think she has goat legs, dude. She's a, she's a, she's a fawn with a uh, prosthetic wooden arm. Very cool. Um, what do you sound like, Saffron? Uh, yes, you can be gay for all these women. And you should be gay for all these women. <laughs> Activate by panic. Um, hold on. Uh, does your pipe have an eye in it? I don't know how I feel about that, Saffron, but the rest is fine. Um, she seems chill. Okay, hold on. Chill, chill, chill. Uh, sorry about that. I was just securing the timber. I need to put the finishing touches on a new galleon. You're building a whole galleon? From scratch? Well, nothing's made from nothing. The forest provides everything I need for my projects. And every carpenter should build a fleet every now and then. Keeps you sharp. D okay, damn. Let's go, lesbians! My name's Saffron, by the way. Would you like to hear more about my services? That's why I'm here. I'm Sylvia. I run a potion shop in town. Hello, Sylvia. You're most welcome here. And if potions are your business, then sooner or later you'll need fuel for your cauldron's fire. I can supply whatever you need, from the magic-infused hardwood of this enchanted forest to more exotic fare. Chippy, chippy, choppa, choppa, dooby, dooby, daba, daba, kimmy, v, suki, suki. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Thank you for being a bruiser for a month. Welcome back in. I love a woman who could build me a house, right? Damn, we really be winning out here if we romance Saffron. You're going to scare her if you sing that. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I meant, uh, hey. <laughs> hey, uh, name's Ruse. Um, uh, I'm really chill and I like, uh, 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 wood and uh, goat legs, I guess. Um, uh, fuck, I gotta go. I gotta leave. <laughs> uh, Kitsune, welcome in. Thanks for being a bruiser. More exotic fare. <laughs> what are you talking about? Sounds amazing. Hold on now. That's only the half of it. I'm also a fully licensed carpenter of no small skill. Looking to make the most of your limited space? I'll fix her up in no time. Now, what did I miss? Was there anything else you were looking for? <sighs> Maybe some advice? I I'm still pretty new to running a business. And I've been at it a long time. Really? How old are you? <laughs> well, there's your advice, I suppose. Never ask a witch her age. Eep, sorry! 
Or there's no shame in getting older. Damn! The chibi chaba won me over. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm gonna say there's no shame, right? You want to do an eep? Sorry. You think she likes timid, timid girls? I think this is the move, right? She seems down to earth. Witches age like wine. Why do witches age like wine? What's that about? Hmm. I think we're doing no shame here. There's no shame in getting older. In fact, it's something to celebrate. I find it hard to argue with that. Even if the years can feel like a burden at times. Let's just say I've been around long enough to see some real sights. <laughs> if that's true, you must have some good advice to share. You're cute, Sylvia. I think I like you. <laughs> Damn! Ah! Ah! I gotta leave. I gotta... I gotta... I was pretty forward. I just... I gotta... I gotta... I gotta, I gotta uh, 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 I'm unreasonable. Uh. Whew, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Woo. Hold on. I'm gonna take a deep breath over here. Whew. All right. Take a little sip of water. So about not being flusterable, I'm not flustered. I, I, I got the, I got hiccups. Woo. All right. Hold on. Okay. <sighs> oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I, uh... I had to step away for... Uh... To throw up. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Uh, you're cute too. Yeah, sure. Smooth, smoother is. You're cute too. I like your hat. <laughs> I also like my hat. Keeps the sun out of my eyes. So maybe I do have some odd bits of wisdom to share. First, get a hat. Second, I can see that you're stressed. Oh, she has horns too. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa! Rizless Roost title lost. Get out, get, shut up. Shut up. Don't look at me. Don't even perceive me. Don't, 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 don't acknowledge me. Don't talk to me! Don't look at me! I'm... I'm, I'm fine! Ugh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> you carry tension in your... No, I'm not tense. I've never been tense in my life. I'm so fucking calm, dude. I'm always calm. I've never once been tense. Me? Anxiety? <laughs> but you mustn't let the trials of life, whether customers or dead or family drama, rule you. Instead, practice a bit of mental self-care in the form of meditation. Your business will only thrive when you yourself thrive. Okay. Meditate. Decrease stress by two. Okay. So, how'd I do? I can definitely use that. Thanks. Why don't you make it a point to come back soon, and I'll see what else I can come up with. I haven't had very many visitors lately, and a visitor who comes seeking wisdom is welcome indeed. Ooh. Anyway, moving on. Whew. See you later, guys. <laughs> Glad I kept calm that whole time. Cool outfit. I really like that butt skirt thing. Whew. Moving on. Cool legs, my guy. I've never been down bad in my life. Um, I'm going to give you bones. Do you like bones? No, you like plants. right? Wait, no. What if she hates plants? What if she's like, don't kill plants? Huh. Uh-oh. Uh, do, uh, you, uh, you probably like plants, right? Cause you like wood. You cut down trees. You must like plants. What a thoughtful present. Thank you. Oh, that was pretty cute. Mm. Ah. Ah. Okay, I'm normal. Anyway. What do you got going on for carpentry? Can I get an additional cauldron, please? No, I guess I cannot. Oh, no, I cannot. Okay, bye-bye. 
Can I at least buy some fuel? Oh, I can buy a ton of this shit. Hold on. Nice. Whew. Okay. Uh, do we want to rank up? What are we going for here? Uh, I can afford one rank up, right? I can come back and decide later. Do you guys want to rank up one time? Oh, little shoulder freckles. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway. Whew. Stay as long as you like. Oh, she's tall as fuck. <laughs> anyway. Make it slow but steady progress on a jigsaw puzzle. Would you care to pitch in? Saffron has laid out the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle on top of a tree stump. Well, I'm not a big jigsaw puzzle person, but I mean, whatever, to each their own. She already has the border of the puzzle completed. Based on the frame alone, Sylvia can't tell what image the puzzle will make. Is it just me, or does every piece look the same? Well, it's an image of foliage, so the entire puzzle's green. But green contains multitudes. Look closer and you'll see fern green, sage, juniper, moss... Success will require us to be mindful of the subtle variations. Sylvia thinks she spots a, spots a match. She takes up a piece. She describes it as booger green. Green, that's my favorite color. You're right. It doesn't fit. Maybe it does. Almost. She pushes harder. Maybe it's a slight manufacturing flaw. She slams the piece rapidly with her gloved fist. Ha! Got it. E yes, that's quite a technique you have. Maybe I should get you a hammer. I don't want to make too much noise. It's so quiet out here. I like it, but it must get lonely sometimes. I wouldn't say that. In fact, I very much enjoy the peace and quiet. And I keep busy. For instance, I spent most of the morning putting a bridge together. I made a whole bridge this morning? Well, sure. Lately, the Heroes Guild is spend uh, sending all sorts of greenhorns out into the forest. A well-placed footbridge ensures they stay on the path, which is safer for them. And safer for the forest, too. But I don't mean, I mean it as a jab when I say I enjoy the quiet. I like solitude, but I like your company, too. Nyar! Nyar! She is a smoker. And that is a little bit of a downside. I've never met a, I've never met a smoke I've liked the smell of. Cigarettes or, uh... Uh, other substances. Uh, all of them leave an annoying residue, so that's a bit of a downside, but maybe she's smoking, like, I don't know, fucking cinnamon or something. I don't know if there's some magical fantasy thing that smells great or whatever. Not even vapes? Nah, not really, but, eh. You can fix her? <gasps> I can help her stop. Or, maybe she's smoking something that smells great. I don't know. I don't know how fantasy smoke works. Maybe it's chill. The feeling's very mutual. There you go. The feeling's very mutual. I'm just, I'm not here just for my kindling, you know. That's right. After all, what good is kindling without a spark? Hmm? What? This early, ma'am? Damn! What is happening? We're like two hearts in. God! What? Why are you laying it on so thick? Do you talk to everybody like that? Fuck! What the hell? And sorry. What? Sorry. Yeah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm curious about something. You asked me if it gets lonely out here. I thought we were just at friendship level. We're literally just barely past friendship level. Excuse you. Woohoo! Anyway, let me turn your question around on you. Doesn't the hustle and bustle of town ever wear you down? Uh. 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 uh, uh I thrive on it, I get Man. Oh, you're right. Maybe she's trying to get us to move in. But she might like this, too. She might like differences in people. She might be like, differences are what makes the world beautiful, dude. Mm -hmm. Sheesh! <laughs> are you a fawn? Because I'm fawning. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I choked on Azure Ruse a little bit there. <sighs> Sorry, my bad. 
Vomit! <laughs> Sheesh! All right, hold on. I'm going to say no. I thrive on it. I think that's the move, right? Maybe? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to do it. No, I thrive on it. The energy and noise make me feel alive. Ah, it wasn't the right answer, but it's still, it's still good. It's still good. Whew! Was that a hiccup? No. Vomits cutely. Deuce. Eleven. Welcome in. Well, we're very different people in that respect. And it's worth keeping in mind that some of your customers are probably feeling overwhelmed by all the stimulation. With a soothing voice and a calm demeanor, you can make your shop an island of tranquility in the raging sea of life. Help guide their thoughts through the storm. And I bet you'll see some uh, I bet you'll see some results. Guess you could say you're fond of her. Ah! <laughs> I see what you did there, Rosie. Bye, Aura. Good luck. Thanks for hanging out. Guided thought. Raise interest by five. Decrease stress by one. Damn, she got a lot of stress decreasers. She's chilling. I could be a picture. Uh, I could be a perfect picture of placidness. Watch me. I believe it. In fact, I believe you can be anything you set your mind to. Now, have you seen a pine green piece with three Audis in a socket? It's gotta be here somewhere. Back to the puzzle, baby. My heart gladdens to see you. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Oh, Vigil. I'm going in peace, bye. I made some progress. The monsters got the best of me. That's okay, you did your best. I'm proud of you, man. Uh, you like bones? Fuck yeah, you do! Oh, this is so nice! Alright, I gotta speed run a few days because I want to get to the first competition. Debt? Debt's definitely moving along. I wouldn't say it's going great, but it's not going terrible. I really want to go to somewhere besides the forest. Mm, two, five, ten, fifteen. Damn it. Maybe here. Five, ten. Damn. Still, I could get some new stuff I haven't had before, so I'll go here. Fuck it. Uh, three days left. We're almost done here. We're almost done with our first round. Uh, we're gonna go head over to Baptiste to see how our investment went, shall we? The investment gets pricey pretty quick. I gotta be careful with my money. Here are the spoils. All right, we got another frog leg. Not bad. And some desert ore. That's great. Uh, here's a gift for you. Why don't we try flowers? You probably like flowers, right? Do I have any flowers? I don't have any flowers. <gasps> yes, I do. Wow, I'm very pleased with this. We did it, baby! We can rank up! We, that was really cute, by the way, the way he leaned back, holding his heart. Let's invent. Ooh, ghost light bloom. The spectral light of the swamp flower has turned many unwary adventurers to their- lured many unwary adventurers to their murky doom. And a salamander's fiery tongue- Ooh, 24 and B is not bad at all. The desert salamander eats its food raw, but swallows it well done. I think that's our move here. Altair, if he didn't go on walks at 3 a.m. Man, walks at 3 a.m. are great. I love my 3 a.m. walks. Uh, do we want to rank? Uh, my potion's going to be done by the time I get home. Is the thing. So I don't know if I have time to rank up with anybody else. Let's go check on Muktuk, shall we? Let's go, let's go. I could also rank up Mud Duck. That's ooh, tough. All right, let's go back this way. Late night walks are so peaceful, aren't they though? Aren't they though? We meet again. We sure do, bud. Eat this. Yum. Eat that metal. Let me do my thing. Purple eyes. Man, they're so cool. They're so cool. Uh, here is a gift for you. High tier slime. <laughs> All right, Sylvia. Cheers. All right, you got any sales today? I think there's a ton of sales today. So let's grab everything we can that's cheap.
I need more of this so bad. It's not cheap, but it's probably worth it. This is going to be really good too eventually. Ooh, I'm running short on gold. Uh, what I need is cheap ingredients that give a huge boost, but have a negative that I can counter with something else that has a positive. God, that's expensive. Sounds like you're a little flustered. Nope, never have been. Nice try, though. I'm glad you, it's been a fantastic stream. <laughs> when it gets dark early and it's an empty streak, street, I panic. Oh, bye, John. Good luck. Nah, I don't worry about it too much. I mean, I will say it's not... Okay, here's the thing. It's not a good idea to go on late night walks by yourself. However, I'm relatively convinced of my ability to stab the shit out of anybody who wants to start something. So it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, so I introduced my roommate to your streams, and she says you look part sparkle dog. Your thoughts... Uh, my thoughts are as follows. <clears throat> Riku Riku Rin, welcome in. What the fuck is a sparkle dog? What does that mean? Thank you for the soup. Tell your roommate that uh, uh, either thank you very much or fuck you very much, depending on whether or not I think that's a negative thing. Those are my thoughts. Sparkle dogs were the brain children of emo kids from the 2000s and memories. Oh, oh, you're talking about like the, uh, the, the furries with like the super colorful, like different hairstyles and stuff, right? Then I have this to say to your roommate. Clearly you lack color perception skills. You yourself may in fact be a dog because I know that dogs cannot perceive color well. And if you would look carefully upon my hair, you will notice a distinct lack of sparkly colors. In fact, you'll notice a distinct lack of many colors. The best I have is a delicious uh, cookies and cream uh, platinum blonde going on with like sort of a dark, 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 dark brown. So how dare you call me a sparkle dog? I think if anything, you must be projecting. I see it now behind that screen. You're standing there with your multicolored rainbow hair and you dare taunt me you're gonna have to take your muzzle a little further away and have to learn to perceive color <laughs> just kidding anyway i don't know i'm down for rainbow ruse oh that's true that's true oh my personality huh there I take it back, roommate. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I uh, I get too down my metaphorical train of thought, and I just start to pop off in the mouth, and I'm like, uh-oh. My language is certainly colorful. Yeah, I've been told that. What else do I want to buy today? I think I'm running low on slime. Yeah. Oh, I have eight slimes left. Run along on these and slimes. Let's just buy like eight of these. Buy ten slimes. And then I think that's all I really have money for now. Bye bye. Good night, Wolfster. Ah, uh, yes, my deck. Thank you. Uh, let's get rid of things we don't want. I don't like reel them up. I don't like set them up and reel them in. I feel like that's kind of a bad combo because at the end of the day, what this what this applies to this is not worth it for the three cost. Uh, I could get more out of, like, a pump-up enthusiasm, for example. Um, let's see. At maximum, this gives gives four, and then increases this to eight. 
So at its highest possible tier, assuming I drew them together every time, I would be getting a whopping 12. Well, I could just play this for the same cost and get 16, right? Jester Tamer! Thanks for the delicious gifted membership. So this is just better, objectively. Shock factor, raise interest by 10, apply shock for two turns. If opener, raise interest by 17. Now I do debuff myself with this one, but I do like 17, that's a huge bonus. Then again, 17 for a two cost might not be as valuable as I think it is. Uh, decrease stress, decrease stress, increase interest, decrease stress. I do like decrease stress, re increase interest. Oh, I've got a freebie one here too, muscle memory. Uh, muscle memory versus, I'll get rid of keep your guard up probably. All right, not bad. Giovanni, welcome in to being a Rusader. Yes, Quinn's in me. Uh, Quinn goes by they, them, I believe. Saffron's, oh, I forgot to look at Saffron's uh, thing. Ah! Anyway, an acquaintance. Although Saffron enjoys the peace and solitude of the forest, she's expressed that she also enjoys Sylvia's company. Everybody's so cute. <laughs> ah! Damn it, even Baptiste is cute. Fuck! Fuck! Muktaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Nope. Because this is giving it a C. Okay, hold on. So what if I drop that and I take this and now we do something with high A again, like this. And then we take something with a four and B, a four and a B, a four and a B, a four and a B, four B, four B, four B. Four and B. Huh? Damn, I'm like, whoa! I'm so close, dude. Ah! No problem, Riku Riku. I believe in you. You got this. Hmm. There's gotta be. God, I'm so fucking close. I'm so fucking close. I gotta get these. I gotta get this stupid potion bird. Ah! Yeah, I just don't have the materials to upgrade my cauldron right now. This one can hold seven, so it's probably my best bet. I just, I'm so stupidly close. Uh, uh, I do not think you can refine potions into a higher tier. It's whatever your broom has. Damn it. What if I... Mm, 12 total. 12 total. 12 total. 12 total, 12 total, 12 total. 4 and 8. 4 and 8. If I get rid of the 4 and the 8... Focus on something with high B content. No, that wouldn't work. Well, hold on. Shit. Fuck. I need one more ore is what I'm running at. I'm running low on. Okay, hold on. What if I take that out and I put in something with a... Uh, like an 8 in A? Do we have an 8? Six, twelve, nine, four, eight. Forty-one, forty-one, nine. CC. It has a chance of getting an extra star, which would make it what we need. If it gets the extra star, we did it. All right, well, we're gambling with some pretty rare ingredients here and most of my money, but, I mean, I got to make it in time for this uh, quest, so let's do it. Hey, Oris, welcome in. I would love to turn this in. Oh, these are so valuable, but I'll give them to you because I want that money. Want that money. Here you go. Here you go. All right, so I need to make some... I think I just gave away my three-star mana potion. I wasn't even thinking about it. So now I got to brew another three-star, don't I? Yep. I fucked up. Ah. Okay, fair enough. If I did it once, I could do it again. Okay. Let's go travel. I think. Because I have nothing to sell, do I? Well, I have some health potions to sell. They're not worth a lot today. Nah. Let's go travel. Hmm. Do we want to up Muttut? See what card we get, or do we want to do Baptiste today? What are we feeling? Yes? All right, we'll do Muttut. Let's go. I got to make it to day three. We can do this. I am pleased to have you here. Have we not worked hard in recent days, Sylvia? Do we not wear perspiration upon our brows? We have. Right you are! And it is therefore time for that most delightful of all breaks. An ice cream break. I am so on board with this. Muktuk has evidently made his selections in advance. When it's his turn, he requests two scoops. One mint chocolate chip and one... Buttered prawn. Hmm. It is an odd combination, I know. But I find the compl complimentary colors nearly as enjoyable as the treat itself. Interesting. I don't usually think about the colors. A snack is best when it engages all of our senses. And I know of what I speak. A 
I do not like to brag. Oh, his mustache curls up when he blushes. That's funny. That's adorable. I do not like to brag, but my people have elevated ice cream to an art form. Not merely in taste, but in presentation. Each scoop is a mathematically perfect sphere. Anything less is tossed to the dogs. Not that I am complaining about Rafter's offerings, of course. Ice cream is a marvel, even if these scoops are slightly oblate. It is strange, though. The things that make me think suddenly of home. Tell me, Sylvia, are you ever homesick? Nah, I live in the prisoner. Sure, it's only natural. We're gonna say this because I think that's what he wants to hear. Sure, it's only natural. When you've started over in any new place. Indeed! This is just one more thing we have in common, you and I. And yet, I may feel my connection to home a bit more keenly than most. For a walrus carries with him the voices of his ancestors. What do you mean? I mean just what I say. Our honored ancestors never leave us. Although their mortal forms expire, they live on within us, always. They guide us to our great works. They speak to us, and in doing so, offer an inexhaustible wellspring of inspiration. Hell yeah I am! What's up, Luke? Wow, that must come in handy. It is the ultimate purpose of my pilgrimage. I must live and breathe my craft so that I might reach a heightened spiritual state in which my ancestors may guide me in the creation of a singular work of such majesty. It leaves the world changed. Whatever more! Hell yeah! Oh, man, I really wanted to make it to the first boss. I don't know if I'm going to make it today. <laughs> we'll see. It is for this reason that I work so hard. And yet always I am keeping one ear to my muscles. Your muscles? Indeed, for that is where the ancestors reside. They give guidance not just through words, but through augmenting my natural strength each and every day. Uh, this is probably not what he wants to hear because it implies he's lying or wrong. Uh... We'll say this. Your ancestors must have been very impressive. I mean, look at those muscles. Nay, I bid you look at them. Look and dare not blink. Damn, whoa, ch whoa, <laughs> relax, buddy. Coming on a little strong there. Chill, 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 chill. And thus, I hope that you can understand my pursuit of superior artistry, although fervent, is not a matter of ego or avarice. It is, for me, a spiritual endeavor. I put a piece of myself into every creation. It's less spiritual for me, but I definitely put my heart into my work. Then let your customers know. Let them understand that you stand by your craftsmanship and that you could speak to the individual qualities of each and every potion you create. Craftsmanship! Raise interest by six, increase pi price of potion by 3%. Wow, flat increase, that's pretty wild. I'm invincible to so, I, I am invincible to stream attrition. I cannot be affected by it. I stop whenever I mean to. Uh, I could talk about potion craftsmanship all day, but I'm also happy to admire the artistry of this ice cream. Truly, it is well done. And I cannot help but think the taste is further elevated by the quality of your company. Wow, <laughs> a little flirting, huh? Let's go. Where's broke? Nah, we're at 470. We're doing all right. We're hanging in there. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da. Oh, do, 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 and a brew a new potion. Here we go. Certainly. He's making me tuck my hair behind my ear. Damn. Woo. Hi, Roos. Thanks for being our favorite per- What? Least favorite. Your least favorite. The person you hate the most, you mean. Can you give me a silly horoscope style wisdom for my Tuesday? Absolutely, Lynn. Here you go. Uh, Lynn Tendo, your horoscope wisdom is this. Beware false idols, for only you can guide your path forward. Ta-da! See you later, car kids. 
All right, here we go. <clears throat> Forgive the sheen of dampness upon my brow, Sylvia. I've been applying more than a little elbow grease around the guild hall today. <sighs> Don't hurt yourself. Oh, it isn't anything too arduous. At the moment, I'm just giving the heroes his achievements, achievements and overdue polish. Yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> I do make long vods. And here I was saying I was setting out to make shorter ones. That's on me, but I'm so close to getting to the first uh, tournament. I really want to do it. No pressure, but you can help out if you like. Baptiste shows Sylvia an array of trophies plated in gold, silver, bronze, and platinum. She takes a rag and works her way down the line, figuring she'll meet Baptiste at the midway point. As she polishes, she reads the various engravings. Slime Buster killed five slimes. Slime Slayer kills 50 slimes. Slime Bane kill 500 slimes. Man, that one must take ages to earn. It's a useful motivational tool. Some of these heroes are real trophy chasers. Sylvia notices that Baptiste has polished only a single trophy in the time she's polished three. Yeah, well, I'll try to keep it a little shorter sometimes, okay? Like, some things I can keep kind of short, like, uh, Hunt Showdown. <laughs> but that's about it. Oh my god, they're achievements. They really are. This dude has achievements in his hall. <laughs> nice job, Shin! Not that he's slacking. His one trophy gleams brighter than any of Sylvia's. It's probably shinier than the day it was made. Baptiste, it seems, is a perfectionist. If so, he has his work cut out for him here. Thank you for your assistance today, Sylvia. Although I can't help but feel this task is only the smallest drop in the bucket. Can I ask you, if you don't mind, to rate our cleanliness? Be brutally honest now. What do you think of the state of the guild hall? I could eat off these floors. Could be better. Could be worse. It's pretty filthy in here. This is the first third three option I've ever had. Huh. Hmm. Morning, T. Mm. Yeah, I mean, hitting him with honesty seems to help. I think he likes honesty, right? I think he probably deals with like a lot of schmoozes and suck ups in his life, and he appreciates the honesty of the 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 adventurers here, and is trying to be like trying to earn his place among them. But I think he'd appreciate honesty from like a colleague as well. It's pretty filthy in here. Adventure's tracking a lot of mud. Huh. I suppose you wiped off your boots at the door, did you? It's this place. It just seems to attract dirt no matter how much I clean it. But I've got bad news for dirt. I don't back down from a challenge. If I wanted things easy, I wouldn't have petitioned for this job. Tell me more. I guess he didn't like that one. We tried. We tried. I should have done the middle ground, maybe. Why did you want this job anyway? You must have had a lot of options. Fewer options than you might expect. For while it's true that I'm the son of a duke, I am, in fact, the third son of a duke. My father liked to call us the heir, the spare, and the stand over there. My brothers had ready-made roles waiting for them with the Heroes Guild's main office. Prestigious positions, but cushy to the point of being almost purely ceremonial. My choices were to be the third in command there, to be comfortable but utterly superfluous, or to come here, where the guild still faces legitimate and significant challenges. What sort of challenges? I had the impression things were going pretty smoothly. Damn, his dad's cold as ice, baby. That's the official line. This island is all but overrun with strange creatures, many of which don't appear in any bestiary. So we have our work cut out for us. And it is strange, dangerous work. Ruse! I went from never trying shooters because they're too hard to beating Ultra Kill just now. You inspired me so much. Thanks for being my least favorite. Fuck yeah, Lucian. Well done. I hear Ultra Kill is pretty hard, too. So well done. And thanks for the soup. My recruitment drive has attracted some well-known uh, well old-timers and a few promising up-and-comers. But we're losing people faster than we're gaining them. I didn't realize the mortality rate was so high. Oh, you misunderstand me. I'm not talking about anything so dire as that. I mean, certainly some of our recruits have been eaten or melted, but it's quite a small percentage. The real issue is retention. It's been difficult to attract good talent, and nearly impossible to hold on to it. But I remain undeterred. I'll fill our ranks with the best and the brightest. 
I'll achieve and surpass the standards set by generations of heroic endeavor. And blast it, I will get that stain out of the table runner. You just watch me. I like a man with conviction. Let's go, baby. I like a man with conviction. I can see you're very passionate. And I'm more than willing to share my passions with others. Whoa! A little bl blush you. People think they know what to expect from someone of my demeanor. That only makes it easier to pull the rug out. I know that feeling, Baptiste. I feel you. Himbo, they say when I walk into the room, and I say to them, yeah. Keep thinking that. <laughs> Maybe you could try a bit of subversion in your own negotiations. Hmm. Ooh, that is a smug smile, baby. <laughs> Raise interest by four. Remove one random customer buff. Oh. Flipping the script. Hmm. Sounds fun. It can be. So get out there and put the screws to your customers. Unless you're in the mood for a bit more scrubbing first. No, I'm good. See ya. I cannot give him any more gifts. All right. Let's head home. We're going to head back to home. We're going to take our potion. We're going to pray it got one extra star because I need it desperately. Uh, and then I need to figure out if I can brew a three-star blue potion again. And I need to brew a three-star um, fire tonic. Please, 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 please! Ugh. <laughs> uh... uh... Wow, that music got mournful. Sleep well, Poulet. No saves coming. Yeah, I remember my mana potion. Oopsie. I'm trying my best to fix it right now. Uh, Well, if I do a 12 and an 8. If I do a 12. Oh, I don't have room for a 12 and an 8. I see. That's the problem. I need a B that's higher tier than that. I need Bs that are really high tier. Ooh, wait a minute. I put this in and take this out. Then I could put a B in. Not quite level. But I am above four stars. Wait, I'm above four stars. Wait, wait. I, I'm passively above four stars, I think, right? Yeah. I don't have to save. I, I don't have to fix this. I could just do this. Huh. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, what? Why is it unstable? No. Oh, because these are too high. No! Bye, loan. Damn it. 
Okay, well, let's not waste our Impstool Fungus. Then again, this could be a pretty good potion to show off in the competition if it smells good. Or if it feels good, because this can, can uh, smells bad, smells good, cancel each other. Feels good would be good to have, even if I don't get anything else, but it's just a four-star tier two potion. I think this is a win, right? I think we just won. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do this, right? Wait, hold on. Do I need a health potion? Does anybody remember? Oh, here we go. I do, because mine didn't come out. Okay, yeah, we're just going to brew this overnight. Here we go. Okay, so tonight I finish my health potions. I guaranteedly am getting a three-star health potion out of this. So now I need to get a three-star uh, tier two mana potion and a three-star tier two fire tonic. Uh, last shot. Here we go. Um, I guess I'm going to travel. Wait, I can't do anything. I guess I just end the day. Damn, what a waste of a day. This hasn't been great. Oh, well. Oh, I should sleep, but I want to know what happens. You could always just watch the VOD, Jester. Uh, but we're only two days away. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Increased value of mana potions. Increased value for health potions. Nice. Stronger monsters and better loot in the forest. Perfect. Two days until the competition. If you aren't prepared yet, now's the time. I'm working on it, bud. Remember, you must craft the prior required potions prior to the contest. Do not put it off. I'm working on it, buddy. Chill. What? Oh, shit. Three times. Oh, it only passes three overnight. Uh oh, that's not good. Well. Um. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, we start off by turning a profit today, I think. These are no longer of exceptional value, unfortunately, since they cannot be used during the tournament. I think I'm going to go ahead and burn them. We're going to turn and burn these bad, bad boys. Uh, I've got a better deck now, so let's see how our new deck works out, shall we? Good morning, Astra. We're learning important lessons about potionomics. Here we go. Oh, whoa, that's a really high tier looking merchant. Uh, what do you got, buddy? Plus 20%? Whoa, that is a high tier merchant. Hold on. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gain two shield, yep, apply sympathy, perfect. Press the attack again. Okay, 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 well, mm, I thought I took these out. I'm going to keep pushing it. 20% every time I get a heart is really high. It takes work, but being able to get all the way up there is going to be solid. Plant the seed. Intern. Uh, I'm going to get three stress out of this, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, okay, this turn, he's gonna lose a total of four, which means I need to muscle memory. Oh. What if I sympathy into enthusiasm, into muscle memory and to close it out? Bam! Okay, so sympathy into enthusiasm, that's 20. Boom. Into muscle memory, that's five. And to close it out, that's, I think it's one short, isn't it? No, wait, 11, because we have a sympathy. <gasps> Yes, did I max it? No, it's one short fuck. Still very good. Still very good. Still very good. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Fuck. That would have been. Ooh. That would have been so good. Pump it up. Let's end our turn here. Ah, damn. I was really hoping I would get a, uh... Oh, well. Uh... We're gonna use this first. 
Sympathy. Good. Sympathy plus... Okay, let's do sympathy, plant the seed, and muscle memory is a freebie, so of course we're going to do muscle memory. And then we'll end our turn here. It's only two down. Bye, Sarah. Good luck. Sorry, I'm like really deep in the sauce here. Very focused. Okay, so next turn you're going to get me annoyed. Oh, I already have it. Ooh, increase stress by one whenever a card's played? That's pretty brutal. Uh, let's just get out of here then. Let's call it even. We're done. Ah, here we are. Ugh, it's way too early for small talk. This one actually looks edible. <laughs> Good. I love your energy. Uh, here you go. Oh, you're gonna give me three stress immediately and shield yourself? You're a little fucker, you know that? <laughs> Ah, Quinn, you bastard. I'm going to gamble on this one, though, because there's 11 patients here. We got time. I don't know who you think you're fooling, but it's not me. Oh, yeah? Fool these nuts. Ah, I'm going to draw three cards and pray that I get... Ah, I was hoping for a pump it up. Um, All right. I could close it out here. I think we close. Well, uh, uh, damn it. Morning, kit. Hmm. Uh, damn. Think, 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 think. That 20% is definitely worth gambling for. But I will get an extra stress. Ah, let's gamble for it. Are you sure gouging me is a good business move? I'm doing my best. That would put me at one short. Fuck, that's annoying. If I have a uh, Captivate next turn, I can bounce him up to one, which would only allow me one more play, and this is my last close it out. So I've, I've, I'm trapped. I got screwed. I'm going to be one short again. Yep. Fuck. You got yourself a sale. Damn. Man, it's weird how fast this game can swing sometimes. I was doing so good like a day ago. Flawed brew. Chance of potion losing a star. Oh shit! Well, I guess it's still three star, but fuck, that sucks. Uh, man, I was really hoping to use that in that uh in the competition. Man. Okay, okay, okay. If I do it this way. 
Ah, shit. It's one too high. Fuck. Okay, what about this then? So now it'll smell good. It'll smell good. It'll look bad. But it'll smell good. That's pretty nice. Uh, cannot brew. Balance of management is too unstable. Real. Hmm. Is it because I added this into it? Probably. No. Too much B? Too much B. What? Huh. huh. Okay, that's bad. Can't brew. Hmm. Yeah, my negative one luck really manifesting hard, huh? Forty-one, forty-one, nine, nine. Might lose a star and is not even. Oh, fuck me, man. Ah, please. I'm so close, dude. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Night, Shuri. All right. Uh, I got. I just want to get this done so I can go to the competition. Uh, so what I need is more management total. I need more total. So I need to take out something and put in another vertebrae, probably. What if I took... If I took that out... Can we put in another one of these? No. Okay, let's try a different approach. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to max out my C and my A in very few of these, and then we're gonna drop A and pick up more C. Like so. What do you mean it's too unstable? Fuck off. That's stable. Is it too much D? Too much D. Okay. Well, no. Damn. Fuck. 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 Good night, maniac. Uh, yeah, too much D. Buy more ingredients? I could, but then I'd have to leave, and then I'm not brewing anything. It's a waste of time. Fuck me. All right, I'm going to have to get more ingredients. I can't do it. I can't make the fire tonic without more ingredients, which means I need C and A ingredients, and ingredients that share those and have a high management count. Uh, in the meantime, I guess we could just brew a double potion, or a potion that's only going to take two turns to complete. Uh, do we want to stick with classic? You know what? Let's see if we can make something a little wacky here. Let's make a... Yeah, we'll make a poison potion. Why not? Huh. That's actually really close immediately. Now I just need a bunch of A. Shrimp. 
sure. Yeah, common poison cure times three. That's a tier two potion. Three stars. Bounce magma is unstable. Chance of losing a star on completion. Fuck, I'm down for that. Let's do it. Uh, it's going to smell bad, but hey, I don't care. Maybe I can feed it to adventurers and we'll call it even. Bam, we're out of here. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to do that. Wait, I can do that? Okay, this is for my competition. But I do have one of these. Okay, wait. Nice! We're making a little money before we go. All right! Hell yeah! And we completed all our orders. Wow, we didn't miss one. Yeah, monsters got the better of you. It's about whoa! The desert salamander eats its food raw, but swallows it well done. And also a sphinx flea. Riddle me this. Why are you scratching? It has A and B, and this has just B. That's pretty useful. Hmm. Interesting. Here's a gift for you. Uh, you like bones? Enjoy. Indeed, salamander. Ah, oh, I can level up. Ooh, do you want to level up mint? <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I didn't finish my poison potions. Never mind. Bye. Ha, psych. Uh... Unfortunately, I have no mana potions, so have fun. Bye-bye. See you later, Thorn. All right, we're almost done here. We're almost done. We're almost done. The quest was a success. Thanks, bud. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Here's a gift. Uh, you want a little flower? You like a little flower? Huh? Ta-da! I scarcely deserve such a thoughtful gift. I know. I know. Glass or whoa, straight D. Do not mind if I do. D not mind if I do. <gasps> I could put in for multiple. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fuck yeah. Did not know I could do that. I gotta go do my rounds, give away my uh, presents. Are we gonna riz up? Uh, bap again? I don't think so. Not yet. Okay, you like plants, right? How many high tier plants? Flower. Flesh. Uh, I don't really. Anyway, here you go. What a thoughtful present. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. D not mine. Whoa. I thought I got some ore I could give you, but I guess not. You like bugs? Probably not. Uh, how about bones? You like bones? Yes! Tis perfect. How did you know? Nice. Okay, so bones are good for him. Got it. Saffron, our beloved. First of all, eat these. Mm, when you eat a salamander's tongue with a giant flea, just a big, thick, juicy, fucking engorged flea. <laughs> Yummy! Uh, he's a slime for you, bud. I'm not above an occasional bribe. Ooh, we could rank up again? Damn! All right, hold on. So... As far as our potions go. We need A and C. Okay, that's not good. So we have no ingredients that uh, are A and C specifically. Okay, what about ones that are just A or just C? Huh? of this.
Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We might be fucked. Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. I fucking love bugs. Don't worry, I'll figure us a way out of this. I will figure us a way out of this uh, using my gigantic brain. <coughs> Shit. Just a few C ingredients. <sighs> Alright, who we rank it up before we go home? We can either rank up, I believe. I think our only one we can rank up is Quinn, right? Let's go find out. Oh no, we can do mint when mint gets back. Oh, but then we'd have to. Uh, I wouldn't be able to sell again today, which isn't like the end of the world, but. Okay, so here's the deal. I can either hang out with Saffron and probably get to a point where I can rank up Saffron. Or I could rank up Quinn and then go rank up Mint when Mint gets back and then go home and then brew a new potion. Thoughts? Quinn? Quinn? Are Rosaders bugs? Who knows? You'll have to wait until the design drops. Saffron. Uh oh. Saffron, Quinn, Quinn, Quinn. Uh, it looks like Quinn's winning so far, so we'll just go with Quinn. Save some time. Here we go. Woo! Let's get this done. If you were anyone else, I'd say no. Why must we choose? Check it out. Got my hands on some squid vine. The hero I bought it off of said she relied on your potions while she was out on the reef. I was skeptical. It seems our little ecosystem is developing nicely. Normal Mar! Thank you for the gift chip. Yum, 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 yum. I got you something. Seeing as how you're will, uh, pulling your own weight after all. Okay, I wish I would've got that a second ago, but we've got a decreased cost of ingredients coupon by 10%. Oh, this is great, thanks. Whoa, you sure get excited easy. Before you get too excited, I have to break it to you that the squid vine isn't for sale. I'm curious what sort of vision it might give me. So I'm taking it out of circulation. Stick around and watch if you want. I give her the chip. I hope you know what you're doing. What fun would that be? <laughs> Quinn slurps down the vine as if it were a strand of spaghetti. It could take a few minutes sometimes. I gotta sort of let my mind go blank. Lose track of my surroundings a little. Mm, careful. It's a long way down. Eh, that only makes it more of a rush. Wait. Oh. There it is. What do you see? You don't see it? It's so clear. There's a woman tending her garden. Her hair is floating. I can't make out her face. Lights weird. All refracted like a prism. I know her. Is she? No. Never mind. For a second, I thought I recognized her. Aww. Who knows, Hellish? We'll find out. Flirt! 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 All right, we'll flirt. Huh? You're cute when you're woozy, you know? Shut up. No, I'm not. Ugh. This was a waste of time. What were you hoping to see? Or there's always next time. I'm going to say what were you hoping to see, honestly. What were you hoping to see? Oh, wait. Wrong. 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 <clears throat> what were you hoping to see? Something in particular? Butts, Sylvia. I was hoping to see some butts. It's too bad I can't exert any kind of control over these visions. But that's not on you. I appreciate you sticking around. I need to get back to work, though. 
I'll bet you do too. Yeah. There's bound to be some sort of calamity at the shop before long. <laughs> Don't need to be psychic to figure that out. I think the butts was sarcastic, gamers. Judge it from the expression on their face. <laughs> Hey, oh, lonely night. All right, 10% discount on everything. Love it. Now, how do I dig myself out of this fucking hole I'm in? There's just not enough C materials. And all of them have B for some reason. Ugh. Well, 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 well. We might be screwed. I'm not going to lie to you. We may be in trouble here. It is a forever discount. Yes, 10% off forever. Uh, uh, not much, Jimmy. I'm trying to get to the first uh, competition. We're almost there. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think it's Crim's over. It's just not looking great yet. Ah, uh, solitude. Oh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Let's get our rank up, though. Then we'll go to Quinn, then we'll go home and brew our potion. Ready? All right. I could use the break. Potions have been a huge help out in the field, Sylvia. You're so good at what you do. Thank you, Con Air, for the delicious member chips. Does that mean you found a legendary weapon? Uh, not yet, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time. Anyway, I thought I'd get you something as a thank you. Here's a guild approved coupon just for you. Yes! Decrease the cost of adventures by 25%, baby. I love a bargain. How do you feel about free ice cream? Because I have a craving, and ice cream's always better with company. Come on, it'll be my treat. Wow, we get coupons and gift member chips? Delicious. What a moment. We're so I'm so immersed. Don't forget to say thank you to Con Air. <laughs> See you later, Irish. City living's the best. Our ice cream parlor back home had exactly three flavors. But here, a variety. Almost overwhelming, but in like a really good way. Nothing yet, Lumi Bubs. Last time I had the Fayberry vanilla, it was totally swoony. What's caught your eye? Sylvia considers her options. There's a lot to choose from, and it's all made from ingredients familiar to her from potion making. That realization is slightly unappetizing, but Mint's enthusiasm is hard to deny. Ah. Uh... Anyway. Let's try something new. Let's try something new. We should be adventurous. That's what I like to hear. Mint orders the slime-based gelatinous gelato, while Sylvia opts for a banana peel and eel ice cream. Whoa. The first taste is off-putting, but by the third lick, Sylvia finds herself enjoying it. Or maybe it's just the mild electric current of the dessert that has numbed her taste buds. Mint is evidently pleased with her own selection. She shovels gelato into her mouth with unabashed enthusiasm. Finished, she watches Sylvia eat for a moment. They lock eyes. <laughs> Don't look me in my eyes. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, and Mint look, turns away, smiling bashfully. <laughs> Don't you look me in my eyes, strong lady. Anyway, moving on. Celia's surprised at the hero's sudden reticence. But the silence lasts only a moment. I'm really happy to be here. I mean... I miss my family, but I always dreamed of leaving my sleepy little hometown and ending up in a real city. Somewhere that my world would be... bigger. The <laughs> closer. Oh, man! Oh, man. All right, anyway. Just fucking... <laughs> Part of me 
was a first. Not playing with her little bray. Oh. Ah. Oh. All right, hold on. Part of me was afraid, though. Afraid that the more people I was surrounded by, the lonelier I'd feel. But I don't feel lonely. I feel like I found a real friend in you. Hoppital. <laughs> Hoppital. I won't. I can't. I won't. I can't do that. I can't say that. I cannot say that. I can't say that. Oh. All right. God, I hate dating sims. Uh, okay, it may be something more. It may be something more than just a friend. Maybe. I mean, I don't give out coupons to just anybody. Okay, that's a lie. I hand out coupons like they're going out of style. But hey, you're the only person I've taken out for ice cream. Or whatever that's worth. Stick around, Sylvia. The best is yet to come. Ugh. Ugh. It okay, bye. Uh, why don't you go on a Mushroom Meyer quest and pray that it gives me enough, any, anything new that's C-based. Anything new with a C. I could go further if you had a health potion to spare. Good news, I've got a health potion to spare, but it's kind of a waste. You know what? Just go two. Just go two. It's fine. Do I want to throw up? A little bit, yeah. Um, but it's okay. <gasps> Whew. Let's go, lesbians! All right, we're home. We're going to brew our new brew, and then we're going to go to bed. Okay, cool. We got a really gross poison potion. Oh, man. There's got to be something I'm missing, something I didn't think of here that could do this. now could I throw one more of these in and keep it balanced we made it we did it okay 54 42 18 12 I have a chance of losing a star to completion but I'm at a four star so we're gonna go down to three stars so that's what we needed we're done that's a three star of that oh wait fuck I need a fucking mana punch fuck ah okay this is fine this is fine uh, I'm gonna put one of these in so it's done overnight, and then we'll finish the last one tomorrow on the day before the competition. We can do this. We can still do this. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Here we go. Uh, I believe there is only the one true pair angle, Atrus. Okay, last day, here we go. Mmm, bone broth. I wonder if Al knows how to sweep. Oh, hey. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, man. Need a potion? Uh, maybe later. I'm actually here to talk about something a little awkward. I don't like to gossip about people, but I also don't believe in keeping secrets. Sometimes it can be impo an impossible bind. Whatever you need to tell me, I can keep it in confidence. It's about Roxanne. I know you're scheduled to go up against her in the competition, and I think she's up to something. She definitely has an up to no good air about her, but it sounds like you're talking about something specific. Yeah, one of my guildmates bought some healing potions from her recently. He paid a pretty sum. He paid a pretty sum for him, but when he shared one with an injured colleague, it didn't work. It didn't do anything at all. Yikes! Big yikes! We got us a pretty dangerous situation, so a faulty health potion's a big deal. It could have been really bad, Sylvia. Fortunately, this time, the injury in question was just a paper cut. There are a lot of paper cuts since Baptiste started routing so many forms. So you're saying that Roxanne's potions aren't very effective? Mm -mm -mm. Uh-oh, we're getting the tea! We're getting the tea. It's more than that. After what happened, I'm not sure they even are potions. 
I brought my concerns to Baptiste, but he said an inquiry would take weeks. It wouldn't be done in time to help you. You helped me just by coming to me with this. Now I'm sure I'm the better potion maker. And I refuse to lose to a phony. So if I wasn't fired up before, I sure am now. Well, good, because I'm rooting for you, Sylvia, and I'm not the only one. Hell yeah, baby, we got this. Easy win. All right, we got one more day. I got to get those mana potions ready to go. Hey, I actually made money today. Not bad. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a six-hour stream, isn't it? Oh, no. Draco Phobia. Increased value for fire. Oh, cool. I just made fire tonics. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hold on. <gasps> oh, no. Uh oh I got hiccups. Please. Uh, please. Uh... 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 Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Dragon sight is on the rise, and so is the average citizen's fear of unexpected combustion. The whole town's talking about tomorrow's big contest, and the festive atmosphere is good for business. Increase the customers, increase value for basic potions. Let's get it done. Nothing to say to me today, Al? Okay. So, we're going to start our day by grabbing our fire potions and pray we did not lose a star. Please don't lose a star. Hey, good brew. Nice. No star lost. Uh, so, now I've got to try to make a th three star tier two mana potion. Let's do this. So we need B and C. I do have a lot of B, Cs, actually. Ooh, just a high B, huh? Hmm. Not enough. Not enough. And may lose a star upon completion. Hmm. What if I just had another one of these? Nah, okay, okay, I was getting a little, I was getting a little rowdy there. I was like, maybe I could game this a bit. Okay, so now that we did that, uh, we know that it's going to smell and taste fine so far. Uh, I just need to add enough to get it above. Hmm, so 24, oh, and 24 and, do I have a 24? 24. Oh, uh, okay, okay, hold on. What about that? Chance of losing a star upon completion, but it is still good to go. It's gonna taste really bad or smell really bad though. So is there anything I could do that smells good? Yeah, a little fairy flower, but oh, too high tier. Okay, well, I'll just drop that in there. Oh, that's so sad. It unbalances it too much because it's a, uh, it puts it too far toward A. I think we have to accept that it's gonna be unstable. As much as I don't want to accept that. It has a chance to lose a star, but we do know that it's at least three and a half. See you later, Aura. Hmm. We are making the smelliest of potions. Oh, they're gonna stink so good. It's gonna look ugly and uh, smell horrible, but I'm still gonna do it. Uh, do I really need to fuel this? I mean, I feel like burning fuel on this is pointless because it's gonna be done by the end of the day. And I'm gonna spend the day going to make friends. So I'm just gonna cook it. We're just gonna cook. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay, let's put up a few things to sell. I think that's just normal water in there. I sure fucking hope so. So I can sell that, I can sell that. I cannot sell the last one. I can sell regular potions because they're worth a good amount right now, like so.
So I still have my three star. I still have my three star and I still have my... No, that's not a three star, but it will be one day. Okay, cool. That being said, I can sell this for more than this. But if I hold on to this, I can use it in a quest today. So I'll hold on to this. And I will not, do not let me use this last three star potion. I'm going to be in a bad spot. You know, maybe just for the sake of safety, fuck it. We'll just sell a regular potion. Just in case. I really don't want to fuck that up. Okay, shopping time. And then we're going to go make friends. Mr. White, we need to cook. Okay, cool, cool. You're looking good. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Plus 15% per thing. Okay, easy peasy. We start with sympathy. We slide the press the attack. We hit him with a plant, the seed. And then that's going to cook on the sympathy. And then we're going to end our turn. And I lay a trap card face down in defense position. <laughs> hey, Haley. Welcome in. All right, let's do this. So, we need another 15%. We've already got to plant the seed. I'm going to do a pump it up, and then I do... Hold on. So, I press the attack. No. Wait a minute. What if I did... What if I schemed first? Yes. 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 Yes! 24! Ah, uh, we close it out. Ba bam I summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. Ooh, why did that glow like that? I want to scheme. Yes, perfect. Hit you with one of these, hit you with one of those, and then I'm gonna hit you, damn! Hit you with one of those, and one of those. I'm gonna end my turn at three hearts in the first turn. Damn! Hi, Rizzi Chat. Oh, is this actually a deck building game? So it's sort of a deck builder slash romance slash uh, mathematical potion equation game, if that makes sense. We're gonna pump it up and close it out. Oh, it's one short fuck. Oh, well. 782, not bad at all. I can tell your hard work's paying off. I think I need something special. This is one of our romantic interests. Interest, interests? Interests. Okay. I knew I could count on you. Do you think this potion will give me a boost? I sure hope so. Uh, let's hit the sympathy, and then we're gonna do a press the attack real quick, and then we'll hit a... I don't really want to close it out yet. I feel like I've still got a lot of patience to work with. We're gonna keep going. Girl math! Sylvia, I gotta get back there. There's monsters, Sylvia. Sorry, I know you're anxious to get back to questing. Okay, so we want pump it up into enthusiasm, I believe, would be the move. Ooh, wait a minute. Sympathy. Pump it up. Enthusiasm for 30 points! I am insane. I am going just absolutely buck wild right now. Close the deal. Give me that. All right. Time to do some quests. Have a nice day. This has three more turns on it. So let's go travel. We get to do one more day out in the wild before we uh, do our tournament. So this is going to be great. This will be great. That's fine, Bent. I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just pulled these out of nowhere after failing? You failed and you got this? Crocodile's Tooth. Sharper consumers demand sharper ingredients. It has A and C, which is exactly what I was struggling for earlier. It's a shame I didn't find that sooner. And a Keelan's Trihorn. Keelan, Keelan's Trihorn. More impressive than a unicorn's horn. And more dangerous to obtain. Okay, man. Damn. Do -do -do. You like bones? Hey, thanks, friend. You want to go on an adventure for me? Yeah, you do. Let's plan my next adventure. So here's poison resist, so you can deal with that. I put you up to 23 health. That's four, five, that's nine, plus four is 13, plus seven is 20, plus seven. So we need a second health potion which is pretty brutal, actually. But 
five, one, two, three, four, five. You're not actually gonna make it to the end no matter what, huh? Unless this doesn't count. Oh, it does count. Well. We're not making it to the end either way, so fuck it, let's go. I did not use any of my important potions. We're good to go. I still have my three-star fire tonic, my three-star health potion, and I'm making the mana potions back at home. I'll report back ASAP. Bye. Let's see how our quest went with Baptiste. Damn straight, the quest was a success. Gimme, 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 gimme everything. Woo! Swamp Octopus. We also got a rare Raven's Shadow. Act fast before this small shadow flies right off the shelves. You bottled a shadow? Very cool. Glass or Mandra. Okay, not bad. A gift for you. A flower. Well, I'm very pleased with this. Ooh, that's expensive. Still, I want it. They bottled Haka. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh man, I can't wait to get to this tournament. I'm just trying to speed through this day. Oh no, they bottled Haka. Uh, you like plants? Do you want? Do you want? Uh, uh, I. Uh, I. Uh. Uh. Do you wanna? I got a, I got you a, I brought, uh, I got, uh, I, br I brought, I brought you, uh, just, I br here's a plan. What a thoughtful present. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, oh, but uh, you want to rank up? I want to rank up. All right, let's do this. <laughs> here's a root. Friendly chat's always welcome. <clears throat> oh, biddle. Let me put my tools aside and give you my full attention. What are you working on? A bit of everything. At the moment, I'm putting the finishing touches on a set of wooden tongs for a pickle merchant. But in the last few days, I've had more commissions than ever before. I'd heard the Heroes Guild, new, Hero, Heroes Guild's new ringleader was having some success with his recruitment drive. For better or worse. I suppose I should have realized that more heroes meant more civilians too. And now, for the first time in decades, town's booming. Wait a minute, decades? Hmm. I mean, it's gotta be if they need a whole merchant just to sell pickles. It sounds like you're pretty busy. I could come back later. Don't be silly. If we didn't make time for pleasant diversions, we'd both be working too much. That might be a lesson for your own shop. Sometimes the customer prefers a bit of casual conversation to speedy service. Casual conversation. Look at her. Raise interest by one for every current point of patience. Oh, that'd be a really good, like, lead off. Like, a really strong lead off, especially with people who start out with, like, 13 patients at times. That'd be really wild. You're so right. That personal touch is important. Speaking of which, I should probably deliver those tongs in person. But I don't quite know my way around town. How'd you feel about showing me around? I like the little creak of wood on her arm when it moves. Goodness, so many people. Where did they all come from? It's almost overwhelming. Ah, uh, let's ask if she wants to head back. Yeah, I think that's the nice thing, right? Just in case. Just in case. Do you want to head back? I understand if so. That's kind, but no. My curiosity is peaked. Did you see how many booths are selling ready-to-wear clothing? Doesn't anyone sew at home anymore? Next thing you know, people will be paying money to have strangers prepare their meals or cut their hair. <laughs> oh shit, she's a boomer. You're losing points with me here, Savra. <laughs> this place has changed quite a lot. When I first set, uh, set hoof to shore, the livestock here outnumbered the people. Tell me more. She predicted cap. Listen, no, 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 no. Age isn't the problem here. Boomers can be hot. It's not moving with the times or like being annoyed or conflicted that like society continues to move forward. <laughs> what 
Wait, but aren't you a boomer? I'm older than that. I'm a big boomer. I'm, I was here at like the dawn of time. Unless, unless it's convenient to be younger than that. In which case, if, uh, you know, if somebody says the youngest go first, then I'm the youngest in the group. Wink, wonk. <laughs> what brought you here originally, Saffron? Oh, that's a long story. Let's just say I'm, an uh, I'm another link in a chain of those who came to Rafta expecting glory. Only to find something else entirely. But that was years ago. <gasps> what if she was a fucking adventurer and her arm got lopped off in combat and then she decided to become like a, a carpenter to kind of settle down? Huh? Today, I'm content to simply take in the sights. Damn, she was a badass adventurer. She won points right back, goddammit. As Spike Spiegel might say, <clears throat> I love a woman that can kick my ass. <laughs> but that's just a theory. Oh, we do a little flirting? Okay, let's try it. You're the nicest sight around. I'm sure I'm not the only one here, here who thinks so either. Even more alluring than a jar of pickles, am I? You're fun, Sylvia. I like a gal who knows how to flirt. In fact, it's been such a pleasant outing, I almost forgot we were here on an errand. So thank you, Sylvia, for the gift you've given me today. The gift of your company. Yeah. Let's go! Okay, we did a bit of flirting. Let's go talk to our boy. I'll see you again. Da -da, da -da. You like bones, right? Yeah, you do. Have a bone, my friend. Tis perfect. How did you know? Ah, yeah, well, <laughs> I'm a bit of an empath. Who else do we got? Okay, let's go over to... Wait, did I already talk? Wait, hold on. I think I talked to Baptiste today. Yep. Okay, last but not least, we got Quinn. Your tent's kind of made a tusk, so... Have we met? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, wait a minute before I do that. Will you eat this goop I found? Thank you. Eat that raven shadow. Eat the whole shadow. Yum, 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 yum. <gasps> Purple eyes. I could do that too. See, your magic's not that special, Quinn. <laughs> All right, what do you got for me? Nothing super wild. I wouldn't mind this actually. That's pretty good. We've got some disposable income. Apparently, if I put fleas in it, it makes it feel really good. Crush those fleas on your body. really good. I'm just going to buy some of these. I know I'm burning money fast, but it's good. Ooh, I didn't know that this gave me that. Okay. Nice. All right, Quinn, uh, I'm going to go now after I give you a gift. Would you like a delicious slime? Yum. No strings attached. Really? Uh, I don't think there's anything else I could do today. I could go hang out with somebody and then go home. Do you want to hang out with somebody to boost their... Wait, this is... oh, wait, wait. Let's check to make sure nobody has any relationship boostables. Hold on. Hello, Kaizen. Uh, uh, uh... Ah, Adi, Adi, no, no, ah, uh, Ohio, is that Ohio? I 
I'm still streaming. Don't worry. But I'm almost done. Okay, we can't rank you up. Uh, and I can't go talk to Mint yet. Uh, you know what? Let's go do a little time spending with Saffron since we haven't done that one yet. Oh, no, we did, didn't we? We got a puzzle. Hmm. I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, no, we haven't done this one yet. Oh, we can do a two. Uh, I don't want to do a two because it's going to take one to go home. So we'll do enjoy the silence. Boost relationship slightly and release a bit of stress. The earth is soft and welcoming here. Saffron lowers herself onto the grass, sitting with her legs crossed. She closes her eyes and lifts her chin. Sylvia mimics Saffron's stance, eyes closed tightly. She tries to focus on her breathing, but her mind races, her thoughts spiral. She can't stop thinking about all the items on her to-do list. She begins vibrating in place and tapping her knees with her fingers. I appreciate the effort you made, Sylvia, but I know this isn't for everyone. I release you back to the end of the world. Go in peace and take some of this tranquility with you if you can. Yay, we did it. All right, time to head home. I'm going in peace. Let's gather our brew, shall we? Ta-da! Ooh, we lost a star. That's okay. Ta-da! All right, this is going to be a difficult sell. That one has two negatives, so it's going to be a bit of a problem. What the hell did I just read? Can I make soup in that thing? And can I have some? Yes. Yes, you may. All right, let's do this, gamers. Time to take a little nap. And uh, tomorrow we're going to party. Mana potion. Two mana potions. Hey, listen, I would love to give you some of my mana potions. But uh, they're too high quality to sell. Let me just make sure I have everything I need. That's a three star. Or sorry, four star, four star. Three star. We got this. Let's do this. All right, tomorrow's the big day, gamers. I'm going to save real quick. Save over this one. And here we go. Let's see what we got. I can scarcely believe how fast the week has gone. You're prepared for tomorrow's challenge? Yeah. I'm ready to show this town what I've got. I certainly wouldn't be won't be betting against you. Oh, uh-oh. I see you haven't burned the place down yet. Pity. Uh Hi, hi, Roxanne. I'm, I'm just gonna... I'll, I'll talk this way. I'll talk over here. <clears throat> Roxanne, welcome back to my humble shop. You don't need to wheel out the folksy charm for me, dear. I know where we stand. Do you? Because I've never really been sure. Ah, it's always the same with you. The false humility, the feigned politeness, while all this time you've been poaching my customers. That's not how I see it. I'd like to think this town, this market, is big enough for the both of us. If your business is suffering, maybe it's because there's less to your potions than meets the eye. Ooh, Celia firing back? God damn! There is a rival per competition, Rupoki, yes. I don't know what you think you're implying. My potions are completely legitimate. And even if you'd somehow figured out that they weren't, who would believe your sour belly aching over my natural charms? Whoa, 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 relax there. You can't, listen, I will not deny. You're a beautiful lady, but no amount of charm can stop me when someone dares, dares, think that they can use charisma to get out of the truth. I will take you down. I don't need to win a popularity contest. I just need to show everybody the truth. I'm the better potion maker and the better negotiator. And it's a contest of substance versus style. I know which side I'd bet on. Get some sleep, Sylvia. Tomorrow, we tango. And I've got moves like you've never seen before. Oh, whoa. The nerve of that woman. Don't let her get under your skin. Whatever she has planned for tomorrow, you are equal to it. Thanks, Al. I hope you're right. I am right. I'm sure of it. Now, get some rest, for tomorrow will be a day unlike any other.
Hell yeah! Congratulations on your freshly browned pants. Perfect. All right, we lost money that day. Um, yeah, but we're gonna try for this ten thousand dollar or dollar gold grand prize. Here we go. It's time for the big competition, baby. Come one, come all, and welcome to Raptor's inaugural market inaugural market competition. Nope, not good enough. Come one, come all, and welcome to Raptor's inaugural market competition. Two fine competitors stand before us this day, but only one can triumph. The other will be fed to the Griffins! I'm joking, of course. There was no budget for Griffins. I'm Baptiste, Guildmaster of the local chapter of the Heroes Guild, and your esteemable Master of Ceremonies for today's historic contest. The rules are simple. Each contestant was asked to prepare potions in advance. The potions will be considered one at a time. We'll see two potions from each contestant, and in the event of a tie, a third potion will be evaluated. Contestants may use their negotiation skills to argue for a better price. The winner of each round is the person whose potion fetches the greatest sum. The first to win two rounds is the victor. Now, let's meet our contestants. Baptiste, get off the screen, I want my wife back! Hold on, wait a minute, chill. You can't just rush Ger Gerard off the screen like that. First up is a woman who does not have time for your nonsense, hailing from, and I quote, someplace very hot. She's known for making potions of tremendous beauty. Give it up for the beguiling, the sophisticated Roxanne! Oh, I'd hate to be in your shoes right now, Sylvia. I mean, I wouldn't want to be mistaken for a clown. Damn, savage. Our next competitor is new to Rafter, but she's already made quite an impression. A recent college graduate, what she lacks in experience she makes up for with pluck. Customers describe her as doing the best she can, probably, and in my price range. Let's give a warm Rafter welcome to Sylvia! Hey, Roxanne. Let's give her the you're a fraud. Let her know we know, dude. Let her know we know. You're a fraud. And your phony potions aren't worth the bottles you put them in. Maybe. But the trouncing you're about to get, that's the real deal. Ahem. <laughs> Of course, we mustn't neglect the season's judge. It is my genuine honor to introduce... Robin! That's right, Robin the Witch Slayer. Robin the Tastemaker. He's Raptor's homegrown hero, and he's here to decide today's winner. It's a privilege, truly. I'm eager to see what the contestants can do. I think that's our cue. Places, everyone! Oh, we'll take our places, all right. Oh, shit! Oh, ho! The ho 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 laugh! No shot? Sylvia's place is right here beneath my fashionable boots. And we're off! Round one. Start. Have you ever seen such a beauty? Hmm. It certainly is alluring, but how effective is it? I assure you, this is the one potion you can judge by appearances. Hmm. In that case, it's a treasure. I'll value it at... Oh, you flatterer. Oh, yeah, I got this. This is easy. Now, let's hear from contestant number two. Oh, this is mine. This is my round. Um, let's lead straw... Yin. Let's lead with this. I want to lead with my most valuable baseline potion and then rock it with the uh, cards here. Uh, one potion! Coming up! Hmm, you're not off to a great start. We were looking for a health potion. Oh, shit! I didn't realize it had to be the one-to-one. Uh-oh! Sylvia forfeits. This round goes to Roxanne. Uh-oh! Okay, now we have to win the next two. <laughs> you're making me look good. Not that I need the help. Let's hope round two is a bit more of a contest. 
Don't worry, guys. Well, I'm role playing. I'm role playing. Sylvia's nervous. I'm 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 role playing. Sylvia's nervous. It's her first competition. Uh, her bad, but we got this. Roxanne, what do you have for us? What this old thing? Why, it's just a gorgeous little potion. I'll agree, it's easy on the eyes, but how well does it work? Oh, it does all the standard potion stuff. Plus, it whitens your teeth, strengthens your nails, and makes you popular at parties. Hmm, does it now? Sounds awfully impressive. Let's value it at. Okay, 77, I can beat this. <sighs> I accept all major forms of payment. Think you can beat it, Sylvia? Yeah, I do think I can beat it. All right, let's do this. I've got a winner here. Looks like a fire tonic to me. The color and clarity look just right. That's a quality submission. I'd say it's worth... No, 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 no. Did you have something to add? Do I need to rethink my strategy? No, I'm ready, dude. I'm ready to win you over. And win the round. Take a deep breath. We got this, baby. 25 patients? Oh, don't make it too easy for... Oh, my God. That's a lot of... Okay, we can get a... What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're the one complaining. You son of a bitch. God damn, you are... Ah, oh, she is a... Oh, damn. Fuck you for being pretty. I hate your guts. Anyway, moving on. I can't afford to get stressed this early, so we are going to drop a shield. Let's go. He's going to see right through you. Ha, see that hard to please? Oh, yeah? Watch this. See through these nuts! Hmm. I may have judged too hastily. Unbelievable! <laughs> I think I know the winner. It's looking like a comeback. Sylvia takes the round. All right! I'm still in this thing! Why, you... You sloppy little upstart! You have no idea who you're messing with. But I'll show you. I'll show everyone! I'm sick to death of dimming my flame. What the hell? Uh. Hmm, that's much better. Did anyone see that coming? We don't normally get the sort of excitement in the lower circuits, folks. I'm done holding back. So why don't we try that again? Uh, uh, all right, focus time. Here we go. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Uh, all right, let's go, baby. You certainly have my full attention now, Roxanne. That's as it should be. But do spare a sliver of your regard for my concoction here. We asked for a mana potion, and you did deliver. And as a magical being, I can guarantee this one is positively oozing with supernatural vigor. You won't find that in the bargain bin. <laughs> I should say not. I'm going to price this one at... I can beat that. We got this. I can live with that. Not sure Sylvia can. Dude, I want whatever Robin's little shoulder dude has. Same, Atreus. Same. Thanks for one month. Sylvia, are you feeling the pressure? Nah. Nah. I'd win. I'm gonna do my own thing. I've got faith in this potion. A mana potion. Excellent. This is precisely what we were looking for. Very well. Very nice. I can price this one at... Yay! Fuck, dude! What say you? <laughs> Last chance to review my strategy. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to fight for this victory. Damn, all my closeouts early. That sucks. All right, hit him with an enthusiasm. What does that do? Draw a competitor stress card. Fuck. That's not good. You are playing with fire, Sylvia. Yeah, that's nice. Anyway, uh, what are you at? 85 I need to beat? Mm, I could beat that. Uh, I do have to draw a stress card, but that's not the end of the world. We have 22. We've got more than enough time. Easy. She's got bangs, too. Ooh. Ah! I'm going to win. I'm going to focus on winning. Anyway, 
Let's use our old standby combo, Sympathy Enthusiasm. Hell yeah, 85. Get fucked. You suck. I win. Woo! You'll all be sorry. What an incredible match. You're both winners in my book. But we need to crown a, champ crown a champion. And that champion is... Sylvia. I did it! Did I do it? I won! This is absurd. I demand a recount. Woo! We are so normal. We're so fucking normal, dude. 10,000 gold. Get this blush off my cheeks. I've had enough. <sighs> well, I suppose the cat's out of the bag. There's no taking that back. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's better not awaken anything in me. And it's just as well. That false form was beginning to feel so stuffy. Sometimes a demon needs to stretch a tail a little. I, I don't understand. We are so normal right now, Les. Why pretend to be something you're not? First rule of business. Image is everything. People see all this diabolical fabulousness. And they make, su make assumptions. I decided it would be easier to sell them on the idea I'm an average, everyday potion witch if I looked the part. Now that the dullards have gotten wise, so to speak, I've got no choice but to pull up stakes and move on. I didn't mean to put you out of business. Thank you, Shannon. <sighs> Don't give yourself too much credit, dear. My shop's been on borrowed time from the start. Maybe. Maybe I could help you out somehow? Oh, Sylvia. Envy me. Emulate me. Desire me. But never pity me. Don't you dare. Oh shit, what an exit. Okay. Damn, girl. Sell it. Bye. Fuck. Oh, wow. Damn. Okay. That was stressful. If only I had a huge sum of money to take my mind off it. Oh, that's right. I totally do. <laughs> Can I go with her? Can I leave the shop? Al, you got this, right? And then Roxanne said something snarky and just sort of swaggered away. I can swear she actually swaggers more when she loses. So, you really won. Baptiste gave you the prize and everything? Nah, Mint and Saver and Quinn are more my taste. Listen, everybody's my fucking taste. This game is the... Oh, oh my god, this game, this game be testing me. Yes, Owl, keep up. Are you really so surprised that I won? Not at all, not at all. I'm delighted, Sylvia. It's the best news I've had. And it's also, I should think, an important lesson for you. When you find a move you think is nice, make a point to use it twice. Two is better than one. Choose a card in your hand to duplicate. The duplicate in your hand. Uh, put the, uh, the duplicate is put into your deck and lasts until the end of a current haggle session. Oh, that's pretty good. By Roxanne, I mean loser queen. <laughs> I'm not afraid to repeat myself, or to repeat myself. Say, do you feel a sudden chill? Oh, there goes Al. Oh, yeah, Helena, I forgot about you. God damn, her music when she comes in, and that fucking stance, she stands that, oh, fuck. Maybe, maybe I do want to work for the company. Maybe I want to work for the company. Maybe Helena's right. Congratulations are in order, Sylvia. The whole town is abuzz, abuzz with the news of your victory. Thank you, Anto. Yeah, sure. Congratulations, and now pay up, right? You don't waste any time, do you? I thought I'd at least get to cuddle with it for a little while. Time is money. That's true for both of us. The sooner I have your payment, the sooner you can return to your endeavors. <sighs> In that case, I'd like to make a deposit. A most satisfactory trans transaction. I will say that lady sure can make an exit, and Helena can make a fucking entrance. God damn! It's true what they say, isn't it? Easy come, easy go. <sighs> Not that it was particularly easy. Well, it was nice being flush while it lasted, but it sure didn't last long. Don't let it get you down, and don't let her spoil your night. We're still in business, and that's no small thing. And there it is, gamers. We did our first competition day, and we won. Gold earned, 10,000. Gold lost, 10,000.
Hate to see her leave, but love to watch her. <laughs> All right, Cosmos, relax. Thanks for the soup. You guys cannot use soup to, to like, fucking vicariously flirt with video game characters through me. How dare you? The cycle begins anew. It's time to start working toward the next competition. <sighs> I did it before. I could do it again. Yes, you did it before. On the lowest circuit. This time, the challenges will be even greater. But I have good news. I submitted some paperwork, greased a few palms, and got your professional license upgraded. You are now clear to use, utilize new ingredients, which will allow you to craft more advanced and more valuable potions. With this, you'll have access to new potion recipes, and you can send heroes to entirely new regions. That'll come in handy, I bet. The second competition probably requires more complex potions. In fact, I have that information right here. At a glance, you'll notice... Wait a minute, who scribbled on that? <laughs> that was me. I did that. <laughs> Is that supposed to be Roxanne's face? Oh, that's very mature. At any rate, the potions you'll be required to brew are right here. As is the not insignificant reward. Whoa. Hey, let's go. That's a million gold right there, baby. The stakes, of course, are as high as ever. I'm no artist, but I thought it was a pretty good likeness. Perhaps if you spent less time doodling, then... Who the fuck? Uh... 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 uh. That's a fine-looking owl. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Damn! Watch this! Quinn, Mint, Roxanne, Helena, call me- How dare you! Thank you for becoming an axle, hot grandma! <laughs> uh... Who? Strange. I don't recognize his dialect. Uh, sadly, Yal's not for sale. But can I get you a potion? Not here to buy. Just wanted to do some recon. Your potions don't look like much, but I can smell they're the real deal. Are you serious? Usually, yes. Dude, his eyes are so silvery and... Like pools of mercury laid upon the sunset. Damn. Magic's got a stink to it and a natural funk. Obvious to the trained nose. Maybe I should get some incense. Or start perfuming the owl. <laughs> God damn, he is not one for jokes. Uh, so my name's Sylvia. This is my shop, Funk and all. Noted. God damn, you were awkward, bud. Fuck, I thought, I thought fucking Baptiste was awkward. Holy shit. Oh, right. People trade names. I'm Corsac, and you look to be my rival in the coming competition. Is that so? Well, I should warn you, Corsac. I'm good at what I do. I won yesterday's contest, contest, and I've, I've been studying potion making for years. Graduated at the top of my class. Sounds impressive, but there isn't an ivory tower in the world that can teach what I've learned in Mother Nature's thorny embrace. I've started making potions out of necessity, for survival, not for grades or profit. Now I run a fully independent and sustainable operation. My potions are all natural, brewed from ingredients that I gather with my own two hands. Huh, you think that would make it harder to applaud yourself? Listen, you talk a good game, but I'm getting the hang of this, and it'll take a lot more than a lecture to scare me. Good on you. Talking's overrated anyway. We'll let the people of Rafta decide who's got the right idea. Be seeing you. Huh, that's my next competitor. What do you think? Should I be worried? He lacks a certain social grace, but all that talk about sustainability could certainly win people over. I'd say he bears watching closely. Hoot. Hoot, hoot, hoot. You're hilarious, you know that? <laughs> oh, you don't think we can riz them, Kata Phoenix? Uh, tune in next time to see maybe a little bit more Roxanne. No promises, but I'll give you a little hint. Why is everyone in this game hot? Good question. We can raise anything if we put our minds to it. <laughs> All right, everybody, that has been Potionomics. How do we feel about it? What do you think? Uh, it is a very cute game, very good graphics, or good graphics sounds so fucking stupid. That sounds like the most like, I've never played a video game in my life. Uh, I love the art style. I love the animations. I have the hiccups again. It's got so much character. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> ah! 
<laughs> oh no. Hold on. Uh. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. That was rough. I had to mute for a minute. Anyway, that was Potionomics. I don't know when I'll be playing this again. It probably won't be like a weekly game or anything like that, but I do want to come back to it before people start forgetting what I was doing. Uh, I am now going to roll over to... What am I going to do? 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 I do believe uh, Altair Senpai is doing an unarchived, unarchived birthday karaoke, so that's probably where I'm going to take you guys over to. More chances to riz. Nope, impossible. Random video game characters, thank you for the delicious soup. I am still unrizable, and that has not changed, nor will it ever. Moving on, uh, this has been By Panic, the video game. I will see you guys in hell. Thank you, SN, for the delicious goodbye soup. Uh, get your soups out of your system now, because we are heading over to Altair Senpai. It is Altair Senpai's birthday. This is an unarchived birthday karaoke stream so actually save that soup toss it over to him he definitely deserves it thanks for hanging out um i will see you on the next stream which is going to be our minchi tomorrow uh the minchi i will be doing some drawing for actually so uh keep an eye out for that okay okay awesome uh and then i am off the day after no i'm not actually i lied i, I forget what i'm doing the day after that i'm doing something Oh, I'm doing my own karaoke the day after that. It's going to be a little bit earlier than you're used to. I've got to fix the JST time on that one, but just keep in mind that the JST time on the actual schedule is wrong. Uh, I should probably, like, at some point pick out what songs I'm going to do for karaoke, but I'm an idiot, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, you have no raid messages. Rusaders, raid! Uh, don't spam chat too much or whatever. Uh, I will catch you guys in hell. Do not forget we have Armist D&D one-shot later this week. Okay, bye!